1987, teen actors Corey Haim and Corey Feldman appeared in a vampire movie that catapulted them to fame, fortune, and a string of roles that made the two Coreys a household name. Unfortunately, fame was fleeting, and the Coreys left the public eye with bad headlines and bad habits. Twenty years later, here's Corey Feldman. He's married. He's a working actor. He's a neat freak. Here is Corey Haim. He's single. He's unemployed. He's a slob. Now, Haim is staying with Feldman while he jumpstarts his career and his life. Can two former heartthrobs and a wife share a house without driving each other crazy? This is Corey Feldman and his wife, Susie. They have a great life, a beautiful house, a wonderful marriage. And they're going to put it all to the test when they get a visit from a long-lost friend. His name is Corey Haim. You know what? I really love Corey. He's great. But there have been problems in the past when he's come to stay with us. Well, you have to understand, honey, he, he had a bit of a, a, a drug problem and he had a weight problem. He wasn't a very happy person, but he's come a long way. He's grown. He's clean and sober now. He's done a lot of work on himself. Mr. Haim, how are you? You have any anti-jitter pills in here, sir? No, I'm sorry, I don't. All right, to me, this is more than just a visit, okay? I mean, this is a perfect opportunity to reinvent the two Corys. When we were on top of our game, we were unstoppable. I mean, granted, we've been out of the limelight for a minute or two, you know? Anyway, 20 years later, I'm thinking it's time for a comeback. Did you, do you know I'm an actor, or is the hint to I do know you're an actor. I'm yeah. just uh, having trouble remembering what shows you were in. And I think it's going to go well. I mean, he's, he's only staying for a few weeks, so oh. what could possibly go wrong? Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Jake, let's see who it is. Come on, Jake. Who is it? Dog. Hey! What up, brother? Oh, man. <laughs> Look at you, dude. Look at you, skinny boy. Look, 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 look. Yeah, I'm just lucky. What the hell, man? Where's the good? Look at you. You look awesome, dude. Thank you, boss. How are look you? Look at you. How are you? How are you? Thank you. You're sexy. You look great. Thanks, honey. Wow. Dude, amazing. Dude, all I can say to you is, welcome to the Feld Mansion. All right, so here's the living room. Look at you guys, an updated Bonnie and Clyde. I can't believe you've never been to this house. Look, had to have a couple pictures of, you know, the man up, because... Thanks, kid. <laughs> of course you have the nice, dude. Us boys. Excellent. When I, Jason, way back when we were in Westwood, he goes, hey, man. You, oh, good job. there we go already. It's really well <laughs> known. Tell Susie about that. I, I guess it was silly puttied on there. Walk in here and break stuff. Dog. Wow. <laughs> Don't make a big deal. I smoke, so can I smoke out here while of talking, course. but in here talking, but out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, you light it that way, but I mean, you really got to... Totally for the... Oh, oh my God, God. you like smoking. Smoke. You should probably go. So what are you saying now, like, I'm out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smoking. Corey and Susie quit smoking once again about six weeks ago. All right, now let me ask you a question. What is worse... Then an ex-smoker, two. Well, this is really nice seeing you guys. And this meat is great. It's good, I'm just not used to it. It's a vegetarian, at the end of it, it all tastes like sawdust. Disrespecting me all over the place. It's good, but it's just awful. I just don't like vegetarian food, man, that's just me. We have someone coming over. You better yeah. not say that kind of stuff around, because it's going to be... She's one of the head people at PETA. 
She's a vegan. So don't like cut Jake's ear off and eat it in front of her. <laughs> it's kind of serious. One of the head representatives from PETA, which is People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, is coming over for the first time. This took four months to set up. And first impressions are everything. I don't even know if I want to meet her. Well, maybe it'll yeah, help I'm enlighten sure. you to some things. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've been doing a lot of work with this organization called Farm Sanctuary. Farm Sanctuary, PETA, Last Chance for Animals, and the Humane Society. To get the duck's liver, they fatten it by stuffing a bunch of seed and grain down his throat through a tube while it's alive. Right. Gestation crates. Yeah. So a baby calf or a pig in like four by four yeah. crates that they can't turn around yeah. in. And they fatten oh, him up like this. Susie writes letters. They made phone calls and they changed their policy. No cigs, no meat. Look at all the fun we're having. Ooh. The soup dinner was great. Tasted excellent. Of course. What? Spots on the carpet. Okay. From me. Well, I, I mean, who else would they be from? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been outside. All right. Been outside. So, but there's no mud outside, man. Just green pastures no, no, of mud. And we have sprinklers. So, this is all me? A little bit. Oh my no. Oh, Take a Valium or Three. something. I'm sorry about the mud on the floor. Did you ash on the floor? I haven't smoked. Dude, this is a f This is not. This is. No, 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 no. Take it back an inch. I'm kind of discombobulated from the Look pool. at this. All right, I'll wash the carpet for you. Come on, yeah. man. What the f is this? Dude, if you're this anal, I'm oh, going to break you right here, right now. What, what is it? Probably mud. You picked it up. Just pick it up. Oh, oh my God. The vacuum? I'm done. Yeah. Make you feel better if you hit me. No, it's uh, fine. No, no, I love, I love you. I love you. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. I love you too. Stop it. No, I'm just... I'm going to try know. to go to bed with I, you. You have to understand something. Listen, your anal? Get out of here. Well, I'm happy you're here with us. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> you seem really excited. It's just... It's just I am. I will make sure. Have we not had a great time? We've great had a great time. time. Great. First day, it's been awesome. It was great. I'm stuffed. Dinner's great. <laughs> I mean, it was good. I love you. You look good. You look great. Thanks, man. I had a great day. Don't touch me with your foot. I'm sorry. I'm lonely. Talking about lonely, I haven't dated in a long time, Susan. Well, you're going to need, like, a boot camp. Yeah. Well, experience it, I guess, is meeting somebody, which is where you Hi. come. You're Corey f***ing Hame, okay? And? That means you can get laid. Do I look like I've been laid lately? <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Hi. Thanks. Good talk. Uh, gotta get laid. Coming up on the two Corys. What is this? Oh my god. That's disgusting. Susie is freaking out. She person. treats me like a brother. She's pissed off that all the time. Dude, she's crying right now. into the music room is on the bar what do you want me to do about it take it to him and talk to him about it i'll talk to him what the f is this oh my god that's disgusting he's just not gonna make this easy on me is he oh no dude what's wrong what's wrong fight with Susie? Uh, she's just a little upset about a few things. Um, I guess fighting again, man? Mm, no, uh... You want your chair? I'm using your... Chair. No, 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 it's good, it's good, sit, it's fine. Um, what's up? Were you smoking in the house? What's night? Well, in the house, but where you were and I was, at the back door there, kept the door open. I just... <laughs> I can't have you smoking in the house, buddy. Oh, what the hell, man, what the hell? 
it's hard for us. We're still, you know, we're still fresh non-smokers. So we just kind of need to talk about like some guidelines. For example, if you're gonna smoke, okay, core. Yeah, I'm listening. All right, so, you know. No, 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 I'm not giving you half to you, man. You got enough of it, it sounds like. Okay. Oh. The other thing, Shit. and yeah, is if you're gonna eat like ice cream, yeah, don't put it down on a bed. I didn't throw it out yet. That's the tired ham. I just don't sleep. So it's still up there. Yeah. How about it? She's just reading you. You're like pale. No, it's just I don't want to have to get between the two of you and deal with this kind of shit because I love you both and I respect both. Love you too, man. I don't want to start any problems with you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, I don't. You know me. I don't really eat breakfast, Mr. Glasses, man. Hey Hello. guys, I need to call Nicole, the pita girl. It's veg bacon and you want eggs, right? Please. Hi Nicole, this is Susie Feldman. Hi Susie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm so excited to see you guys. Tell her this is a really big deal for us. It's a really big deal for us that you're coming up here. I mean, we can't wait. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, um, I would just wanted to make sure um, you are vegan, right? A vegan. Yes, okay. Indeed. Okay, great. <laughs> vegan? You can't even say it. Oh my God. We're gonna convince Corey Haim to become a vegetarian. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. It's hard to have a conversation with a respectable person with you two around. Jeez. Corey Haim tends to not take things seriously. I'm just worried, you know, that he's gonna ruin this dinner. Baby, do you have that grocery list ready for me? Just get the best roll off, please. Okay. Mommy and Daddy are freaks, but Uncle Corey's okay. Yeah. I need you guys to get back in time to help me. This means everything to me. I know. I got Thank it. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Love you. Feldman has become so boring since he's got married. His whole life's a schedule. I mean, he probably even schedules when they have sex. Well, at least someone's having sex. Gourmet, grocer, natural foods. Don't cook anything on the pots. You want a big slab of dead animal? You just go for it. Is this real or not? Ugh. Dude, I'm gonna puke. Are these like regular olives? Or are they like vegetarian olives? You ready? I've been ready. All right, good, let's go. I'm riding the pony. Is there any places like we used to hang around? Oh, dude, I, I gotta get home. Again. Hey, man, you gotta pause for the cause, brother. Get married, man. I don't know what that's gonna be like. Well, no, marriage is good, man. You know, I love Susie to death. I know you do. Hi! Oh my gosh! Come on in. Mom. Eating Smelly. turkeys and seeing their little faces. Now I'll never eat you because they're oh. Honey, I'm home. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Just went shopping. Flowers. You must be Nicole. Yes, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. When I'm thinking like a Peter girl, I'm thinking hairy armpits and really, really angry. But this chick is hot. Mmm. Nice to meet you. I'm going to go just get ready for dinner and go ahead and talk to you too. Cool? Sorry. Well, I love your hair. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Extra large pizza, pepperoni. Green peppers, mushrooms. Just ask your driver to call me when he's like two minutes out. Well, she's really cute, by the way, this girl. The Pita girl? Yeah, she's yes, like really the cute. The Pita girl. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks so much for having me. I don't think she'd even let you eat meat in her house, so. Okay. You know, she's a little more intelligent than that. It's not like we're engaged or anything yet, Sus. Norfolk, Virginia, where our headquarters is based, is lovely. Is that? Yeah. Love to it's go. It's nice there. You guys should really take a tour of the building and meet all of the staffers. We really need to do that. It's I want to go. It's wonderful. If we're married, right, for instance, just... Oh, my... Would you freak out if I didn't turn vegan? Oh, my, yes. I find that a lot of times people really miss is the spice of the food, not necessarily the flesh. Well, my body likes that food sometimes. I hate to say it, but like... But what do you really gain by eating meat? 
That's what I want. What you Energy, eat? just n red meat and blood, man. When you eat whatever animal that you're eating, yes. you are ingesting that karma, that energy, the pain that it felt before it died. Stop talking about it. I'm shaking, man. The world evolves. That is the purpose of life, is for us to learn from our mistakes and for us to evolve as, as a, a race. I'm not at that Neither level. Is bliss. You married him, I know. That's proven, honey. Coming up on the two Corys. It is him crossing boundaries he should not cross. PETA is so good about their campaigns and spreading that message yeah. to all kinds of different Sorry, demographics. Sorry, it's the closest thing we get like, to more like the alcohol. <laughs> One second, we're trying to work. Anyway, uh, we really like that campaign with like the naked people and vegetables. I mean, obviously we do our parts behind the scenes. Yeah. If you can maybe tell us a little bit more about like what campaigns might be good for us to get involved in. We actually just got these things called garden protein. And people have actually, my friends for Thanksgiving served them instead of a turkey. It's kind of like the Tofurky. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Sounds like a horror movie. Tofurky. <laughs> Coming to theater soon. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah. Hey, she laughed, man. So Thank you. Amazing. She's being polite. How's the food, by the way? It's wonderful. To me, it tastes like sawdust. I'm not gonna, I don't want to sugarcoat oh, no, it because the lady from Peter's I, here. I, I ate meat in it. for the majority of my life, so I completely understand that. That's the taste what interests for me. Uh, Did you invite somebody over? Uh, Good evening. Well, you should hey, deliver. Oh, shy, okay. Oh, man. You just killed me, bro. Have a good night, man. You too, boss. Hey, Jakers. Hey. Just a uh, Hare Krishna guy. What? Partner? What? You can eat your pizza, that's fine. Are you sure? I ordered a pizza, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to bring in all this beautiful food here. I'm sorry, I just, I need to start it. I know, no, but really? I'm sorry. Susan, I can't just come out and say to you, sweetheart, I need a pizza. I just, especially in front of, like, the queen vegetarian. Just no, 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 it's fine. Let's just, I'd rather you sorry. go get your pizza and we can all hang out. Okay. <sighs> Hang's pizza. You can ring me out later, yes. Should I show you around? Do you want to see that? Sure. Yeah. These pictures over here. Paul McCartney with filming. Wow. So it's just crazy. Paul McCartney, vegetarian. Is he? Because this is outside. You're welcome. Oh, this is uh, actually around. No, it's hot tub. Oh, wow. It's like around nothing. So, you want to take one of these with me? If you cook for me while I'm in town, I'll come to your place. What? <laughs> He's out there. He's out there trying to get her in the jacuzzi. There's no one this is supposed to be about. Like, I don't mind finding him a chick to hang out with. But she came over here for a real cause and for shit that means a lot to me. And that is gonna... Dude, he okay. takes her out there and it's gonna cheapen everything that we just accomplished. Are you single? You're not no. single. So how can you possibly cook me dinner? You're supposed to say me and my boyfriend will cook you dinner. My boyfriend and I will have you over to our so house and I go. will cook you dinner. Okay, good. There you go. Yeah. Unless I make you give him up by dinner. <laughs> but she obviously like, is responding. Or she wouldn't be going out in the jacuzzi oh, with him. It's not her. It is him crossing boundaries he should not cross. Now how do we handle it? I tell him it's not cool. Okay. Okay. What's up? Man. What is that? Susie is freaking up out. Whether or not he's really open to it or he just wants to get in a jacuzzi with you is my issue with it. Dude, just talk to her. It's fine. Susie. Susie's my wife. I she's understand that, dude. She treats me like a f***ing She's pissed off that all the time. Dude, she's crying right now. I'm freaked out right now. I'm the cause of it. What do you want me to do? Now you're telling me this is about me. It's my problem's not with you. I'm just very upset that he would do that to me. How do you want me it's to patch this up with your what's it's about, man? It's about this. Okay? She loves you. Yeah. She loves what she cares about. And? Okay? That's her cause. I'm trying to get along with her, and she's mad at me all the time. What it is about... Hi. We can Susie along for a minute, please. You gotta talk to me, honey. Just talk. Just talk. 
all, all I'm saying is that right now it just seems a little selfish. Okay, I'm sorry. So, it's okay. I'm not, it's just... Jay's going to okay. tell you who to like or not no, to like no, if you guys, not. you know, it's found some problem. chemistry that's awesome. It's 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 Nicole is here. Well, I know, as a business. Peter, I understand that. And if you guys want to get together so, again, that's awesome. Her and her boyfriend are going to cook me dinner and all that, so that's good. <laughs> she has a boyfriend? <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, was there a problem taking the like jacuzzi and talking? Oh no, I just thought we could all just relax and you know talk a little bit more about the serious issues we're here to discuss. Well, then let's all go take a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you later. your boyfriend. I will. <laughs> Thank just you. Just a piece of advice. Next time a guy asks you if you want a jacuzzi, you say no if you're going out with a guy. <laughs> I was totally kidding. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Forget I'm Canadian, dude. Is that is that what it is with you? Did you forget that you suck? Watch, 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 watch. Thank you so much for calling, and I'll see you in a couple days. Thank you. Bye. Oh, hurting you right now. Oh, what was that? That was a little guy going in the dressing room. Watch, 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 watch. Guess what? Oh, brought it back. Hello. Hi. Guess what I just got on the phone with? What? Stuff Magazine. They called. You want me to be in the magazine? How awesome. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes. Yes, 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 no. I mean, when is it? Is like soon. In the next couple days? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna need your help. Does it conflict with our thing now? So, wait, you think I'm gonna miss it? All right, one of the major reasons I'm here and I'm staying with Corey and Susie is because Lost Boy's 20th year anniversary, which Corey and myself are gonna promote Together, I mean, this is the movie that launched us, that made us the two Corys. So I figure, if we play our cards right, well, why not have a comeback? When is that? You're forgetting already about this stuff. Tomorrow morning, we have to go and show up at the radio thing. Uh, uh, this is for both of us, man. You know that, right? I will do both. I will find a way to do both. You I gotta can. do the Susie thing you just found out about? She's finding out more details. When I find out more details, I'll let you know which way it goes. You know, I take some promotional stuff really seriously. So I got up early, I went to the gym, I got pumped. Boom, went right to the radio station. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, Good. It's supposed to be me and two other, Corey Thelman and his wife are coming, but I'm on time, he's late. Corey! Hi. Hi. Really good. Sorry, yeah, uh, he is late. Corey Haynes in studio. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Corey Haynes is here. Hi, uh, yeah. Corey Feldman is yeah, usually late like this, but... You know, man, I don't need him to be here, man. I don't need him. Let's just move on without him, man, and play that sad song. Are you supposed to be at the radio show? Stuff Magazine. Hi, nice to talk to you. You too. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to come there and shoot Susie as the hottest Where is Mr. Feldman? He's probably, uh, you know, just something, maybe a flat top. I don't uh, know, man. Name the other seven movies you did with... Uh, wow, uh, man. Well, it started with Lost Boys and License to Drive, Dream a Little Dream, one and two. Um, we did a National Lampoon one in there in uh, Last Resort. Lost Boys, great film. You're going to do a sequel? Going to do a sequel to it? Uh, hopefully, we'll do a sequel or see a Lost Girls. All right, there's always this question, is there going to be a sequel? I mean, my plan... Oof. My plan is, like, to write this with Feldman and get this thing off the ground now. We want it to be sexy. We want it to be risky. We want to definitely push the envelope. This, this is a cool opportunity for me, so thank you. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Sorry. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Right. All right, take a look at you. Hi, Kimmy. Yeah. Well, I'll save you, Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, I'd like to meet your pharmacist. <laughs> yeah, right. He's in jail now, sir. <laughs> You know, a lot of times they'll do stuff where you're, like, naked, just, like, holding something to cover you, or, like... As long as you're out there, I don't, you know. Hey, Flake! Hi. Oh, hi. Where the hell were you? Oh, we've just been caught up with this photo shoot, man. Man, you better get your game on, kid. We got the Lost Boys thing coming up. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I That's couldn't right. make it. You know what? It's unprofessional. It's not cool. 
It's not just me, man. I'm sure those guys have questions for you, dude. My wife is about to do like a four-page spread and stuff Boy, magazine. Get your head on straight. She's gonna be. But on we the have cover, business right? plans to make a radio show. Like I'll do radio if I have. A dude, you know what? You want to be like that for the rest of your life, dude. I'm gonna show up on time, even early, like I did today. You know what? I'm really happy that all of a sudden you have this sense of responsibility. But dude, I, I don't think that you've been Mr. Oh, I'm going to show You guys got to keep bringing stuff up about my past and stuff because not, you know what? That's just, just gone, Susan. You're dude, getting you so oh, worked yeah. up, man. You want to keep it real? That's real. Oh, you know what? You're flaked. You I'm know happy for real? Your you are acting like a little kid. Why can't we just be happy? Because we're not allowed to fix my life, dude. And all I f it up. And the core is. But my life doesn't need a fix. Right it's now. a radio when show, Blake. It affects my Dude, me, bad it's, me. it's a radio show. Okay. I am agreeing 100%. Be at the premiere and do whatever is asked of us. And I want to have fun, too. First of all, what do you have to do with any of it, Suze? You know what You're I have to do? You're not part of Lost Boys. She's my wife. And so I anything I have to do is she has to do it. She's not part of the Corys. She never will be. Coming up Hi. on the two Corys. There. That's better. Seuss. Why do you guys go everywhere with each other? Why are you here? Corey, get over it, dude. Get over it. <sighs> Death by Feldman. Is this what you're going to do? Yeah. yeah. Some stuff like so you're going to be almost naked, but not really yeah, professionally much. cool with, like, ropes as clothing? Well, we don't, Susie, I don't you know floss, if you floss with these clothes. Sure, okay, wait, Suze, let's see how well you know me. Out of these four girls, who, are, who do you think? We're trying to figure out fashions and styles and, like, what we're going to do in the pictures, man. I'm just trying to help. Well, <laughs> let's not talk about what kind of girls you like. we got to talk about what she's going to Well, then let's talk about what... Why am I even... All right. Baby? Baby? Kate. Photoshop time. Yeah, sorry. Susan, have I written you a death threat yet today? What kind of a... F thing is that to say to your best friend's wife, dude? It's all good. Right. What are you trying to do to me? You're fumigating me right now. All right, it's finally here. The 20th anniversary of the Lost Boys. I'm stoked. Now, I'm going to do everything I can do to promote the shit out of this thing. If all this goes well, this could be uh, a new chapter in my career. You guys think there's got to be a lot of people there? Um, probably not. Really? Well, Nobody knows. No, I'm hoping there are. We probably not. Well, I mean, I... Every time you guys do anything, we'll there's a out. ton of people. Look, 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 look. There is some people. Boom. Jameson Newlander played the other frog brother. It was really like the dynamic trio. All right, sir, the three of us. Hey, hey, it's good. All right, guys. All right, we'll see you inside. It's a nice little crowd, kid. You all get to enjoy a special screening of The Lost Boys today. We have some very special guests, gentlemen. It looks like we found the Lost Boys. Hi. Does anybody have any questions for our stars here today? Are you both single? Uh, well, he is. I am I'm single. actually a He's... married man. I, I am married. Sorry. <laughs> so, ladies, there's a one out of three chance. Does somebody else have a question? What's your favorite memory you uh, made making the Lost Boys? I had to take my own fall three times and. I was like, I don't need pads for this, knee pads or anything. So I had two, three times ended all bloodied up, and but um, that's the fun of it. And Corey later realized that he would need knee pads for the rest of his career. <laughs> <laughs> Death by Feldman. <laughs> we are back. Again, back in the saddle slowly but surely, just because it is the Corey thing, and it's a tricky, tricky thing to do. That we'll actually do another movie together or not? We'd that like to, is yet to we'll be seen. Yeah. Will you guys please make a sequel to Lost Boys? Uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, you know what, man? The beans on that one. We want to do Lost Boys too. The only way we would do it is if it was done the right way. And, and uh, with Joel. 
We need Joel. Yeah. We need, you know. He was the director of the first one. He'd have to direct the sequel. But I would do it regardless of anything. You know, I would just, <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> so a big round of applause for Corey. Corey and Jameson. Enjoy, Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the movie, people. <laughs> Wow, that was completely awesome. I can't believe our fans. I mean, when they see us together, they go nuts. It's really cool. Man, I've got to do a sequel with Feldman and Jameson. You know what? I love everything about The Lost Boys. I always will. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hey, you enjoy the movie? Oh, it was awesome. Good, 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 man. Thank you. Man! Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you. No, 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 no. There. That's better. Why do you guys go everywhere with each other? Why? Why? Why are you because here? Why was Yoko Ono in the uh, studio? You guys aren't Yoko, and you guys are not John and Yoko Ono. You guys are not the Beatle people. Corey, get over it, dude. Get over it. You know what? People are not in line to see Susie. They're in line to see Corey and myself. I'm going to let it rest right there. I just don't know why you're attached to the umbilical, man. I'm just a little concerned, man, for Susie. Spend too much time with this guy, you're going to kill yourself. Hey, we need to, um, we need to, like, catch up or something. Yeah. yeah. Let's hang out. Let's, what's up? Yeah, right. What's up with you guys? You guys want to go out? Let's go out. Let's catch up with Jameson, man. Um, I would love to, um, tomorrow. Okay, Don't be man. mad at me, I'm though. Jameson, why don't you come over tomorrow for breakfast? You got it. Okay, okay got good. It. I would love to. You know, he sees Susie anytime he wants, every night. Jameson's in town for, like, what, 10, 12 hours, and he blows him off? That's lame. And you guys go have fun tonight. Be yeah. the, uh, crazy yeah, boys that you are. I'm good. Let's go. Good night, you guys. Ugh. Dude, that's That's where I lost boys, too, man. I think we should. I think we should. Honestly, I think, uh... I know we should. Jameson's here. I got Fellman. You know what? I'm feeling this. It is time to write the sequel to Lost Boys. And a story. I spell Oscar. Yeah. Hey, honey. Yeah. You know, is there something missing? The smell of hay. <laughs> The whole competition thing constantly just gets a little annoying. I don't want him feeling like he's, you know, second best in your life. But he does also have to realize that, like... It's not a competition. It's not a competition between him and I. You do a very good job on your own to balance your family, your work, and your friends. I don't know if he'll ever see that, honey. I don't know if he will either. Sorry Feldman's not here, dude. Yeah. I swear to God, every time I just want to go umbilical. Cut the umbilical. It's like Susan and him and him and Su it's just always together, but today yeah. it's weird. Yeah. It's like the umbilical house, man. Coming up on the two Corys. There's something I need to talk to you about, dude. Yeah. It's fine, man. There's a future somewhere. He's just not looking really queer at the second kid. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Susie, what's up? Just cooking eggs, veggie bacon. Man, me and Jameson were talking yesterday about sequels. You gotta do it, dude. It's gonna take all three of us to write this sequel, okay? I know I have some ideas, Jameson and Corey, but if we put all of our heads together, I'm sure we'll come up with something great. What is your idea? All right, we're basically this. You guys, um, all of us, we're being hunted by vampires. Nobody takes us seriously. They think that we're just trying to get our careers rolling, you know, based in reality. And then, uh, and Haim is uh, teaching yoga in Big Bear. <laughs> Good. And then we, uh, uh, you know, but then Haim dies. That's a great story. How about this? So I'm just thinking, you know how like vampires have like those weird powers and they're all differ, like, they differentiate from each other, the powers? So I'm just saying, like maybe they feel that they're the cousins or the brothers and just boom. There's been a killing going on, or slaying of vampires, and then we like just go out and he could read his mind, and then the other vampire couldn't read his mind, but he can do other things. I have one other cool idea besides that. The point yeah. is, whenever they try to do something 20 years later, if yeah, you're not it's doing always, it right, exactly. then it shouldn't be done at all. What is wrong with you, dude? 
It was good to hang with you guys. Yeah, you too. Dude, I'm, uh, I'm sorry it was so brief. It was good to see you, man. You too. You too. It was fun to watch well the movie with you guys. We'll hang out. We'll get together once a year. And then we'll talk about why we didn't do the right sequel for Lost Boys. I love it. Love you, man. We're missing you already, you boss. Bye. See you guys, Jameson. See you Thanks later. Thanks for coming. There you little frog. Brother, He's you. He's the big frog. Come on. Bye. <laughs> We gotta write the sequel, man. Like we literally got, we gotta write. I'm oh, telling you, we should do this. There's something I need to talk to you about, dude. Yeah. Sit down for me. What's up, kiddo? It's something I've been wanting to talk to you about, dude. Um, Is something I did now again? No, dude. It's just the whole Lost Boys thing. Yeah, you don't want to do it. It's not that. Spit it out, man. It can't be all that bad, right? Well, what's up? They're making a sequel to Lost Boys. They're making this. Who's they? Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers Home Video is doing some crappy sequel. Are we in it? No. Nope. Are you in it? No. Nope. They asked me to be in it, but... Um, Who are me? They just asked me to come do a cameo. So they're doing Lost Boys too. And I said, I, I told them that there's no way I'm doing it. I wouldn't do it without you. And, um... There's no mention me, nothing in the flick. Dude, okay. don't. You can't take it personal. It's not personal, dude. It's just I love everyone in that movie. And everyone loved you. It's not them. You just just put it into perspective. Would you perspective want Perspective is, man, I f***ed up one too many times, like, so to speak, on the strip, man. Burned too many bridges, and I'm not working because of it. You know this. When I found this out, and I knew that I was going to have to break this to you, it killed me, dude. Dude, it was really uncomfortable no, no, no. for me, the whole I thing, the, the, the screening. It's all right, kid. It's fine, man. There's a future somewhere. It's just not looking really clear right this second, kid. Dude, you're an amazing f actor. You deserve the world. Look, at both of us are kids who got raised in an industry before we knew what the f we were doing. And both of us have had our problems. Ninja Turtles, you know, when they did the second one without me, do you know how much that hurt? You know, it happens. Cora, I'm single. I've been a girlfriend in a long time. I turned to 35 and you just told me I'm doing Lost Boys 2, man. It's a pretty f bad day so far. But you're alive. I understand it. Both of us made our mistakes, okay, but we grew up. And now we got to make it right. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for not doing this without me. No way. Thanks for telling me privately. You're a good friend. My best friend. You know, I know it's been hard for you, Court, and, 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 you know, being here and stuff, and, and us. You guys are fine, man. I, thanks for telling me, Court. Rather you tell me than, like, someone else tell me in different circumstances, and... <sighs> gotta go jump in the shower, man. Yeah, we gotta go get ready for this shoot, dude. I'll get through this. Yes, you will. You're strong. Baby, you think he's okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. I don't know. I'm just kind of worried about him. Hey. Hey, guys. What's I'm, uh, I'm going to take a walk, okay? Yeah. You all right, dude? Sure. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just want to go for a walk, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Perfectly fine. I swear to you, I promise. I swear to God, I'm fine. Okay. Yep. See you in a little bit. He's acting a little weird. Really? Right. Why does he go out for walks? Hi. Come on in. Hi. I'm Troyan. I'm with Stuff Hi. Magazine. Hi. Susie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Finally. Wow. Hi. Hi, Karen. Corey, nice how are you? Hi. Hi. Susie. Hello. How are you? Hi. Hi. Susie. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Susie. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Amanda Hare. How are you? Hi. Wardrobe? Digital. 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 Wow. You guys have a huge posse. Hi. Susie. Hi. Nice Hi. Hi. Susie. Hi. Susie. Hi. Hi. Corey. How are you? Nice to meet you. All right. Well, come on in, guys. That's it, beautiful. Throw your legs a little bit wider apart. Just give me dirty looks. That's it, good, there you go. Can we get Corey in one of these? Can you grab your, can you grab your heels? Oh, Jesus. You get too, way too big a grin on the back there, bro. Beautiful, bro, sexy. Beautiful. Just keep the curve for me. That's it. Good. 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 
Yeah. Wait, there's a picture of Corey Haim in there. How did that happen? Oh, no. There's something very, very wrong about her laying on Corey Haim. Good, good, good. All right, we got it. That's a wrap. Great job, Susie. I'm fine. I'm, uh, I didn't get you guys a wedding present yet. So I just wanted to get you something. A wedding present? Dude, that was four years ago, man. Don't worry about it. Well, we're just, we worried that being out and being sad and like doing something bad, but you were out doing something very sweet. It's just a belated, I love you. I'm really happy you guys are married present. Oh. This will be hoping to last a long time forever. Wow. Wow. Tiffany vase. It's just a little vase. Great. I mean, dude, you could have gotten a $20 vase. Oh, you didn't have to go to Tiffany. But I'm not going to be in the sequels to Lost Boys. I'm bummed out about it, yeah, but something else will come around. It always does. I know we've had some complications and misunderstandings yep. since you've been but here. that's all they are, misunderstandings. But it's over with now. I know, buddy. So, which just pretty much leaves one question. When are you going home again? <laughs> Seriously, man, when do you want me to go home? No, I'm just here. You want me to go home? I want you to stay forever and ever and ever. All right, Salvatore. Oh, God, no way. <laughs> it smells in here, baby. Yeah, well, it's probably has something to do with the garbage disposal. Uh, it doesn't smell like garbage. It smells like... Really smells like smoke in here. Do you smell the smoke? You didn't smell it? Not really. No, but didn't you talk to him about smoking in here? I did. Because even if you stand right at the door, it just blows right in. Like he must have just gone to bed or something and just had a... I mean, I don't think one cigarette would cause that kind of smell in the house, right? When I'm around it, I want to smoke, and I know that you do too. It's like this is the second time in a row that I've come into this room and it smelled like smoke. I have to go. Okay. I love you. Have a good day. Why are you smoking? Dude, you know, you just smell that like all the way there. I don't know, man. I'm a little nervous today. A couple days before you got here, I had my first one. I was a little stressed out because of knowing that you were coming and worrying about how you and Susie were going to get along. She has no clue. She said she smelled smoke and she thought it was from you, and I didn't say it was morning. She was lying to her. I didn't lie to her. I just didn't tell her the truth. Would it help you if, like, because I've been wanting to quit for a while anyway, man, I'll quit with you. You could be like my support, I'll be here, so you can help me quit. If you quit, then it'll make me stronger. If we both quit. Okay. That's my last smoke right there, dude. I'm done. It's on. Bye-bye. That's it. Okay. Where are the cigars? <laughs> Raheem is gonna help me quit something. Does anybody else here get the irony? I have such a headache right now. Why? Corey Haim came to stay with us. He just, he comes over the house and he's, him and Corey are like little kids again. And they just make stupid jokes and they're loud and like... Jokes that are only funny to them. To them, yeah. right. Go ahead, break it. I don't know, man, I just kind of got sweaty. Just break the damn balls! What's with you? Sorry, I don't mean to be testy. We're not playing flukes. Actually, your whole career's been a fluke. Let's play flukes. Shut up! 
Oh, you I did. You, no, no, you're right, because I did have to work with you. I know. I stole that part in License to Drive from you in that great interview you did about me. God bless you. You mean like you didn't get the part in Goonies? The one. That no, part? Is that the part? Again, though, they said I was too good looking to play mouth. Right. You did it. Yeah. Swear to God, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever they got to tell you to make you feel better, because when you're crying, when you're crying on the steps of Amblin, and Steven Spielberg's like, "What's that on my shoe? What's that? It smells? Oh, it's Corey Haim. Never mind. Let's get him out of here." You know what? I do need a cigarette, dude. I don't. Don't even need a cigarette, but you had to go and bring it up. Now, well, you've I'm had thinking, like a week worth of I actually of, like, forgot about it. I forgot there. about it for oh, a while. been you smoked, honestly? I've had like maybe like a cigarette or two like every other day. For how long? Like a week, week and a half. No, it's 10 days. Two, now three. it's 40 days. <laughs> to say 21 days. A month. Over a month. Somewhere in there. Three months. Like dude. two weeks. No, that no, no. Three no. months. I know you. I wish I had a cigarette this big right now. You know what? I'm going to have a cigarette. I know you are. I'm trying to just psych you into it. Oh, is that what it is? It it's is. reverse psychology? You have to have psychology to reverse it. We need to go to the store and get some hatch gum. I got to get something. Okay, I'll get you gum. If you promise me to stop talking about cigarettes. Yeah. I'll be back, kiddo. All right, dude, don't forget. What? Listen, you want the coated... Minty kind. The coated minty kind. Yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. What? And you want to try and find, for me, it's two milligram, four milligram for you, because you're right. a real smoker. Did you get it? I did, I did, I did. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. <sighs> Give me two of them. Cheers, man. Four cheers. Cha ching, blinky. Mmm. 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 Right. Oh, I told you to get the two milligram, man. It's, oh. Oh, it's too strong. How would I explain nicotine gum? It's kind of like the morning after you had a long night drinking and you threw up in your mouth. Kind of like that, but worse. <laughs> this guy goes, Bleh. listen. <laughs> you, All right, like play some music. Come on. I am. <laughs> I feel so much better. I don't even need you a cigarette. Have to. Tell me you have one smoke. I don't. I really don't. I do. You do? I have one cigarette left that I stashed. <laughs> you want to? <laughs> <laughs> you have two pipes. I didn't smoke, and I said I wouldn't smoke unless you smoke. Dude, you know what, man? If I get for this. Hey, Corey, do you know what I'm. Wow. Hi. Hi. I, I can't deal with two people smoking. And well, I'm, I'm smoking. He's not. You're supposed to be like. I'm quitting. I quit. Yeah, that's just true. Did you think you weren't going to get caught? No, no, no. no. He listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Is that enough? Down. And I've already had like. Calm what down. do you mean? I should probably just no, go to the basement, no, no, stay there for no, a while, no. and let you two have your alone Arnie, time. Arnie, honey, I'm sorry. He's making me laugh right now. I'm not, not taking you seriously. My husband has regressed to a nine-year-old. I don't a know that. A smoking nine-year-old. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna go on the internet and I'm gonna try and figure out something that's gonna stop <laughs> the two of you from driving me crazy. Okay? That's it. <laughs> Have fun. I feel really bad. <laughs> I gotta stay here. <laughs> Coming up on the two Corys. You feel like monkey. Yeah. You feel like gorilla. I love and accept myself deeply. You guys are in, 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 in my head all day. You're trying to get rid of me. That's uh... what deal with two people smoking and you're supposed to be like I'm on quitting. my side I quit. that's just true i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna find you some alternatives you guys don't break anything i'll be in here it's good <laughs> i feel really bad <laughs> I <gotta stay> here. <laughs> so hypnosis so you go in to a guy's office and he hypnotizes you to get to your subconscious to make you stop smoking I'll that. Try That's it. not gonna work. I'll try it. Come on. You've got to be like open it. to it for it to work, though. You know how hypnosis I'll works. I'll try that. I'll try. That just sounds cool. <laughs> so you're open to whatever. Yeah, I'm open to that. All right, fine. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. We do whatever Susie tells us to do. That's a deal. Deal. Says deal. Okay. I'm Dr. Paul Sabina, and I do a lot of work on helping people with their various cravings, such as nicotine. Both interventions that we're going to make are hypnotherapeutic. One may not look like it, but it is. Okay, zero to ten, how 
badly do you crave cigarette now? Eleven. That's Eleven. Crazy. Okay, like okay, it's a crazy emotion. No, hang on to that, because that's what we're gonna have to turn on. Okay. I'll lead you through this and just do it. Sure, right? sure, sure, sure. Okay, tap, 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 tap. Think about your craving for cigarettes. Craving for cigarettes. Keep thinking about your craving for cigarettes. Okay, here. Eyes open. Here. Craving for cigarettes. Yeah, craving for cigarettes. Mmm. Under your armpits. You feel like monkey. Yeah. You feel like gorilla. No, do monkey. They're no, doing do fine. Monkey. Firmly. Just That's get in there, huh? I need a smoke. Uh, okay, uh, good. Uh, uh, uh. Right Just now. Just one toke. Right now. Sir, yes, sir. Craving for cigarettes. Would you like a juggle of my zipper? Yeah. I love and accept myself deeply. I love and accept myself deeply. Even though I have this craving for cigarettes. Even though I have this craving for cigarettes. Feel your head against the pillow. Feel your body connect from head to toe. Feel your erect spine. <laughs> Feel your buttocks. As you sit. So we've done our session today. That was wonderful. Thank, Thank you, thank you so for much. coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for your time. And thank you Corey. Right now, this moment. Yes. Your number? Oh, I'm at a minus like four here. I'm at zero for sure. I'm at, you know, maybe one. He wanted me to say zero, and I'm sorry, I was like at a 15, but I said two to be polite to him. Honey, I'm home. How the heck is this go? He's like, you take that couch, you take this couch, and so we both laid down. And, and he said oh, something about erection, and we both were done. Your spinal cord. For is... hypnosis, you have to be like in that mindset, and right. you have he to couldn't allow even it. think about getting you in that mindset. We tried; it was unsuccessful. But I don't think that you tried that hard. Any new ideas? Big ideas? I was looking up some things for the two of you. What? It's called a sweat lodge. Ever. No, it's like a spiritual moving. Thing. Spiritual, cool, like sweat, not cool. Where you go and you have some sort of positive, spiritual thing together over this thing you're trying to conquer. I'm annoying you that much that you're trying to get rid of me. You guys are in my head all day and getting in my way. And you're trying to get rid of me. That's what you're saying. You make the appointment or tell us where to go and when to go. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Go. Well, I'd like a little... She I'm gonna go if he goes. You gotta okay. make him go. Whatever. I'm you gotta make him go. If he goes, I'll go. Come on, grab your stuff. Don't wanna be late. Corey, are you ready? Corey, come on. You're brushing my chicklets, kid. Well, you are trying to get rid of me off your face. No, but I, you guys are. I don't want you to be late. Corey, come on. Okay, 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 okay. He's trying to get us out of the house, dude. Yeah, I understand that. Let's take a chill, Sus. Come on, guys. All right. Bye. 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 Good luck. I hope it's really nice, dude. I hope there's a spa. Oh, dude, trust me, it's gonna be like an Indian guru guy in some, like, schmuck over his nutsack. And I'm finally alone. I had to get them out of the house. Let's go out, then. I can, I can do dinner. Are you stoked about this? No. You're a cranky bitch today, Mr. Feldman. Dude, I'm just... You're right. Just frustrated, dude. I mean, I'm not used to being without Susie. It's a little weird. Honest, we don't leave each other at all ever. Right. How long have we been away from Susie now? What? Ten minutes. Wait, look, see this? It's the littlest violin playing for my bestest of buddies. If you had a girlfriend right now, I'm just working on that, a movie. But dude, I'm not as possessive. Oh, or as, like, now I'm out. possessive. We're almost there, I hope. But... We're not even close, dude. It's sure. gonna be a girl's night. We're gonna hang out. And it's been so <laughs> long since I've seen it. I've just gone out with girls is this it this has to be it where's the hotel dude i told you man it's gonna be all wilderness sacred land dude is this sacred land probably corn where does the sacred land start at the trash cans probably when you pull down this driveway man <sighs> hi i'm Corey. terry pleasure to meet you terry you too Corey, this is terry nice to meet you where's the uh, hotel there is no hotel. We don't check in or... There's no hotel, but I don't think. A sweat lodge, they call it. It's a little kind of hot. Well, it's a hut. It's I thought there would be room service. service. <laughs> I no, thought... <laughs> they sold me on a sweat lodge. We ended up in a trash bag. And when you're in here, you need to speak the words that you're asking for. 
the tobacco is that offering of, of asking that help. If you like this, and I'll smell it, and I'll come and listen. You want to help? Quit smoking. That's what you need to say. Just like we're talking like this, that's how you're going to pray. Creator, here's the silent prayers. All the helpers need the words because they can't read. We'll, we'll follow your lead. Okay. Coming up on the two Corys. We're in a strange situation right now in a house that he's not comfortable and all kinds of weird energy. I just feel like there's a lot of times that uh, he's like bad on me to the press. Susie! Where's my wife, dude? And it's like, Friends. no, the night. You want to help? Quit smoking. That's what you need to say. That's how you're going to pray. Creator, here's the silent prayers. All the helpers need the words because they can't read. We'll, we'll follow your lead. We did what any good nicotine addict would do. We ended up half naked in a tent with an Indian. Okay. Each of you will have your own experience of what happens in here. We're not going to get pneumonia from this. No. Oh. So cute. Yeah. When was, when's the last time that you drank? Corey doesn't drink, and it's like he doesn't like it. You know, he doesn't like going out and having me smell like alcohol. <laughs> Definitely open up a wine list. <laughs> Cigarettes, the tobacco. I want you to concentrate and, and keep that in mind. Why, why you're here. This is uh, grizzly bear, Bruce. Okay. Uh, put it on some spots where you might be aching. Places we want to heal. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what kind of bear, Bruce? Grizzly bear. Grizzly bear Bruce. Uh, how did they get it? Shoot it. Grizzly bear, Grease? Me? Come on. That's just not right. <laughs> some charred lungs oh yeah from years and years of uh -huh. added experiences yeah of all the pollution that we put into our bodies we're having that pulled out at this time yes. turn your back on issues that you had between the two of you at this time we're in a strange situation right now in a house that he's not comfortable with and mm -hmm. all kinds of weird energy all right if he's here talk to him let him know what's going on. And you do the same with him. Okay. Last time, last time. You don't have to get into specifics about it. You just have to ask for that forgiveness. That and ask for forgiveness from you and a lot of other male people in my life. I just feel like there's a lot of times that uh, you like bagged on me on interviews on to the press. And, just like the other night, where we say we're hand, it makes me sound like an entity or like a magazine rather than a friend. I know that there's been things that have hurt me by you lashing out at me um, verbally, physically, because of your own demons. And the thing that I resent the most, if you can call it that, was all those times. I had to stick charcoal down your mouth when I had to help you come back. Bring me back from that place. And you would wake up and look at me like I didn't care. And I apologize if I was embarrassing to you or not be able to function as a human being around you and want to be around for those great times. Beyond that, I thank you for all the laughter, all the joy, all the great work the things that you've brought into my life that I wouldn't have had if we were part of his best friends. Nice kid, I love you. I love you too, man. This is sweet. It's 
done to begin that healing, I connect with this again. All in all, it ended up being a good thing. We were able to convey some things to each other, which he hadn't been open to receiving in a long, long time. Even if he doesn't quit smoking, at least he was able to hear me. And that's a big step. This is by far the coolest thing I've ever done. Mm. Just, just a little while. Just a little. We'll just go for a little bit. Off to the next place. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, I could break. I have to go home at some point. I shouldn't actually even be here. Dude, are you still, like, naturally high from whatever? I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Susie! Susie! Where's my wife, dude? She's not home. Maybe she's not home. Where would she be? I mean, it's like... Friends? Middle of the night. What do you always freak out so fast for, buddy? No, I'm just worried, dude. It's not like her. You don't understand. Normally, like, if she's gonna go somewhere, she'll leave a note, something. Take it easy. We'll find her, man. There you go. There's your answer. Baby. Hey. You get into sauce? I drank a couple glasses of wine. So you had a good time? The experience? Was good, I hope. Beyond cool. I mean, the whole thing was really, really cool. Corey, how'd you do? He's overcome many <laughs> obstacles and uh, dedicated myself to the cause. I'm done. How much did you knock back? I only had like a drink or two. And you're like this from two. two. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't take her upstairs. I'll hurt you. What's wrong with you? Wait, Here's the moment. I Here's thought you were going to push that. Take advantage How of the you? drunk girl? Wait. Is that what I'm supposed She's to do? Wet. Come on, drunk girl, let's go. Shabligi booby bow. Good night. Good night. Don't smoke. I won't. Come on, honey, let's go. Good night, you filthy oh. lovers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey guys, what? Check this out. It's the poster for my new movie, dude. Birthday. The birthday. Check it out, dude. So it just opened in Spain. That's this so guy cool. was great. Speaking of birthdays, though, I believe it's somebody oh. else's birthday. Corey Haim's 35th birthday, the fact that he made it to 35 is astounding. He's lost all his weight, he overcame a drug problem, he's happy, he's healthy. <laughs> and living in our house. What do you want for your birthday, besides um, a noose? I don't want anything for my birthday. I mean, I go back a year. You can't go back Can you here. buy that for me? Dude, you know what? I don't want anything. I'm gonna just want to go off on my own somewhere. We'll go out for your birthday. We'll have a nice little dinner. We'll go out to dinner. Sure, have you seen this? Oh, don't even show me gray hair. Do you know how much gray I have in my hair? And I'm 11 years old. Do you know I don't have any gray in my hair? I believe it's all perspective, dude. If you could believe that your physical age is the same as your mental age, you'd be in great shape because you'd still be 12. <laughs> Hey, kid, I got to uh, go to the store. Have um, fun. Can I borrow your car, man? It's just down the street, not no, store. Dude. You do not have a license to drive. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to get you your license? Yeah, this. you're getting older, because you're 35. You should have your license. 35 years old, no driver's license? Come on, dude, get it together. <laughs> I got mine at 34. My license is expired. I just am probably going to need to take the test again, because if I fail, you will never hear the end of this shit. Oh, I know. I guarantee you. 35 years old, can't get a driver's license? Get me some, some questions right now. What questions? I want some questions that you know the answer to that I can maybe answer okay, right now. you should know this one. This should be an easy one. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you do if you hit a puddle of water and your tires begin to hydroplane? Well, I pump my brakes very slowly. That's and correct. you would fail if you hit a puddle right. and your car begins to hydroplane. You just take your foot off the brakes. Hold the steering wheel as still as you can, and you let it glide through. But you should know that because that was what you failed on your so driver's test in the movie.
Do you ever see my Ferrari? Here's what number are you, dude? K25. Keep the tab. You had a, a Ferrari that you sold to Vince Neil. Don't, you know what? You know what he said to me? He's like, oh, didn't, didn't you sell me a Ferrari, dude? Yep. And I'm like, no. He's like, yeah, you did. See how everybody thinks that you do stupid things and then it's me? Sure. I but get when they laid with guilt forever. Then they know you did stupid they things. They just know you're ugly. V25. Oh, you better get up there, homie. Good. I need to get my license to drive. You have three years without getting the test over again and doing a road test, so you're off by two, two days. Dude, two days later, you would have had to take the test. You might have planned it that way just to meet you. You really are smoking beautiful. Can you bail for a second, man, so I can work on this? Please. No, no, I'm here for you. Don't be for my support. Team. I need my support so I can get it. You're not married, are you? Look at that. Look at that. Corey Ian Haim. Why do you have to see my middle name? Well, I said drive. it. Right? Boom, baby. Boom. Yeah, who's DJ now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I better put my seatbelt on for this. So did Corey get his license? Yes, but let's talk about his birthday. Well, I had this one idea. We tell him we're just going out to dinner or something. The door's open, and it's like all of his friends and family, and his mom's there. And then we have a stripper pop out of a cake. OK, so, so what's, then, your, what's another idea? Well, another idea is we just go to a strip club. And we like have a stripper like set up. He doesn't up. like the girl. <laughs> but he will. I'm talking to his mom about it. I think his mom will like it because, you know. Are you going to get her? Yeah. I have to do it really discreetly so that he doesn't find out. Of course. Because I do not want to ruin the surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should distract him for a while. Exactly. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Let's make out. <laughs> now you just want to cuddle? I'm so tired. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Jude. What's up? It's Corey. Hey, what's going on? So the deal is we're going to throw him a surprise party, and I just wanted to make sure if we need to fly you out, like, tomorrow, you can come in. Okay, I will Sounds do good. that. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Are you serious about the strip club for Corey's birthday? At this point in his life, he's looking for a girl. He obviously needs a little... Excited. Outside feminine attention, kind of all part of the surprise. Could you really see Judy in a strip club? I don't think she'd have an issue with it. But I, I mean, she's pretty cool. I mean, like... Well, I know she's cool, and that's not the question. It's just... I mean, he had some pretty crazy parties that she was at. Mm. And she looks good in leather. That's all I'm going to say. We're trying to throw a little surprise party for a friend of ours. Uh, it's his 35th birthday, and we figured since he's growing up now, better place to do it than a strip club, right? Well, let me show you guys the club. Okay, okay. sounds great. All right. You ready for this, honey? Oh, look at that. Her boobs are in your face. <laughs> I'll take my glasses off. Have a seat wherever. She's getting jiggy with it. Yeah. Oh, I think so. Coming up on the two Corys. What's going on? You know the heart thing I told you? I'm having a heart problem. Do laundry? I mean, I've done the occasional laundry and maybe a rehab or something, but. Okay, just remember that the blue is laundry detergent. This is the fabric softener. Don't ruin my clothing, please. I just need help. Okay. Oh, you need lots of help. Okay. There you go. 
Now, all you have to do, light wash. I know what everything factory. means, huh? I just, people's machines are people's machines. Well, there you go. Well, you should know how to do laundry, though. Oh, I do. I'm a pro. I'm a veteran. These are the dryer sheets. They're eco-friendly, reusable dryer sheets. Okay, eco. If you make fun of my vegetarianism or eco-friendly anything, whatever I'm trying to help, there's your freaking clothes. Bye. Not much is happening, Susan. If you need my help, like to tie your shoes or whatever, let me know. This is really boring. I finally snuck away from Corey, and I'm able to pick Judy up from the airport so that I can explain to her the master plan. Hey! Oh my God, I'm so happy to see you from Good God's to see you. Is that it? Dad and the little one. Don't worry, I'm not looking in. How come it in. took you so long? <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I can't take it anymore. It's a lot of presents. Really? <laughs> So, welcome to town. Thank right. you. Is that your phone? Yeah, it's your son. I don't think I'll be answering it right now. I don't think you should be answering it right now. Yeah. Well, I'm very, very excited. I don't think he's ever had a surprise party. I thought about it. I can't even remember a birthday that I've ever spent with him. How weird is that? I know. What's up with you? Well, he's never had a party. Suze, what do you think? You know the blonde, like, I've had for years? I want it out. You know what? Like, since we don't get to hang out very much, why don't we go tomorrow and get your hair done? I just don't want the streaks hair. anymore. All brown? Mm. Look nice. That's what I'm thinking. We'll go get your hair done. Okay. And, um, we'll do some job errands. We'll just hang out, because you and I never get to hang out. Tomorrow, it's my job to keep Corey Haim busy. How do I get the short end of the stick? It's all a matter of perspective, darling. Whoa. This looks like a large bugger. Where are you finding me? Help me! Help me! Oh. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh! <laughs> you got green slime all over you. You gotta do laundry for me again. Yeah. Susie and I have been working really hard on this now. Okay. Because he's been asking us, well, he's been asking us to meet a girl. Like, it's a big thing. You know, I gotta meet a girl. You gotta introduce me to somebody. Blah, 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 blah. So we thought it would be fun to take him to a strip club. A strip club. It's a green light. Yeah, thanks. I was just waiting on that. Long. Um... <laughs> Well, let me think about it. It's for Corey, you know? No, thank you for being understanding. Listen, you guys are planning it, so... Yeah, I don't want to ruin anything, you know? Cool. So, we need balloons? Balloons. We need to order the cake. What should we have on the cake, you think? Um... I mean, what are most 12-year-olds like? Um... Balloons, clowns, <laughs> frisbees. He does like frisbees. Let's get a big frisbee. Okay. We got it. <laughs> oh. Here we go again. Not again. Hey, Cor. You know what I call you sometimes, and I'm like, dude, if anything happens, like, with my heart, you know the heart thing I told you? I'm having a heart problem. What's going on? If I bend down to tie a shoelace, my heart. <laughs> it, no, 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 you, of course not for me, no. I just tell you, Corey, something really personal that's happening with me. My heart, it feels like everything's being filled up with, like, some thick something, cement. I don't know how to describe that. That's terrible. I think what we need to do is get you, like, on a heart monitor. I'm going to go call our doctor. And I just want to get this checked out. I'm 35. I'm not happy anyway today, it man. It's nothing we can take lightly. Right? I agree. All right. Well, hopefully we can get you an appointment. Let's get this handled. So tell me a little bit more about your heart murmur. I was just born with it. What, what's, what's been happening to you? I just went to pick something up and felt this rush of air pass through my heart and I went, and I totally lost breath. Well, you have to tell me about the whole past history. Well, past history is, God, man, like one point, whatever, however much money on drugs. I mean, it's just beyond crazy what I've done in my life to myself. 
Give me the name. Um, well, Oxycontins, Soma, Percodans, or Percocets, actually, Valium, Cocaine, which I'd gotten into at a really young age. Right. How many cigarettes a day? About a pack. In the old days, I'd be here trying to lie to you and get pills and stuff. I think what's happened is I've done so much to my body that it's like freaking out because there's nothing in it for so long now. I mean, he was he was at the point where he wasn't like functioning properly for a while. I think you really do need a, a proper workup of your heart. Okay, cool. And we need to get the records from a previous doctor. Corey's gone through so much. I just can't imagine now we run the risk of losing him after he gets his life together. It just doesn't make sense. I'm gonna be 35 years old and. This whole thing is weird to me now, man. Like, I'm off the drugs, and I feel like I'm going to die being clean now. I'm just worried I'm going to go out one of these times. Or if I go out, I don't know where I'm waking up, if I'm waking up. Coming up on the two Corys. Yeah, I mean, his heart seems really serious. Are you still in this party? I'm going to be 35 years old, and... This whole thing is weird to me now, man. Like, I'm off the drugs, and I feel like I'm going to die being clean now. Your heart's very steady. The pulse is very regular. In terms of whether or not this is going to be life-threatening, I don't think it's going to be anything. Okay. Um, are we still have this party? What do you mean? You think it's a good idea to surprise her? Well, yeah, I mean, I, it's not like he's not going to make it through the day. I, just, <laughs> I don't want to surprise him and give him, like, a heart attack. Like, seriously, though. I think it's more of a long-term problem than it is a short-term problem. Right? That's why I'm going ahead as planned, and mm. we'll continue on with the proceedings. Okay. Corey, we got to go. I'm given the job to distract Corey with a makeover day. I'll I'm call good. you later. Are you coming? Either All right, way. we'll touch base. Yeah. You guys have fun, though. Okay. I want you to bond. God, your head's gonna fall off if it's not attached to you today. Oh, like Just here? Let me take what, care no. of anything, will you? Corey and I don't spend a whole lot of time alone together. There's reasons for that. You and your husband are like mentally challenged. Oh, whatever. You told me. I guess my heart problem is because of him and you. Thanks. Can I buy you an Ayurvedic massage? It's like hot oil and stuff. It's really nice. Hot oil. Corey, be like, Susie, what the, what the f***? What are you doing with him? Dude, that's my wife, man. I, I don't think you and I have ever really hung out a lot. Judy. Hi, it's Corey. Hey, just want to let you know I'm going to be there in a few minutes. What would you like done? You see the great, you see how yeah, she yeah, yeah. I just don't want to look that old, like, right now. So why don't we just start with a solid color so we can get rid of the naturally light hair. Oh, naturally well, light. Saying it. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, why don't we do like a manic panic burgundy or something off the hook? Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Listen, I thought about it all night about this idea that you mentioned to me. The strippers are going to be great. I don't think he's going to want to see a bunch of... You know, naked women hanging yeah, out. Yeah, why would no. you want that? I don't mean to rain on you no, guys' no, no, parade, no, no, no. but... It's not even a parade. It's maybe a march. No, it was a real... <laughs> it was a really... That was an idea. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be happy. But I was thinking, you know, remember he used to play hockey on a lot of little leagues, you know, like when he was little. We'll just bring the strippers to the ice. No, no, It'll we're be not. Like Disney no, stripper we're on not. ice. How about going the way of an ice skating rink? So we need to rent out an ice hockey rink? Yeah. Well, that's easy to do. Because I think he's going to love that. Dude, we had the perfect party set up. Adult stuff, strippers. Now, Judy comes in, Haim on ice. Thank you, Corey. I, I was, like, not knowing exactly how you're going to take this. Do you have, um, um, a mini bar? Isoplex. Uh, I know it's very last minute, but I wanted to see if it would be possible for us to rent the rink tonight. We wanted to play broom ball. Maybe 7 o'clock. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. They can do it. That's an awesome thing. All right. Thank you. Wow. Miracle men. No, hold on. I'm right back. Hi, babe. 
What's up? Okay, well, listen, there's been a major change. We are not doing the strip club. What are we doing? We are going to an ice hockey rink. So I've already been on the phone trying to get everybody changed over. Here's what we need to do. You're going to have to make them think that we're just going to dinner, and then you're going to take them into the building, maybe blindfold them. How am I going to blindfold them? And make sure that he gets a pair of tennis shoes. Tennis shoes for what? Because we're playing broom ball. <laughs> Corey would like that, right? Wow. It's really red, man. No, you it's know not. It is, no, too. no, it's not. It's not. Red ears. There's something very sexy about it. It's red. 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 This is what I want. It's a little red for my taste, but I'm kind of like it. Nice. I love it. What? <gasps> very well done, Corey. Look at these. Same this is really cool. You I'm like this? I'm not a color kind of guy. I, I know you're not shirts. a color kind of guy. Under this. But this would look really nice. That's more your husband. We're going to walk him up the stairs. I'm going to bring him through the door, and everybody's going to scream. No, you've got that blue collar shirt that I would like you to wear tonight. Not right now. Yes, we're Why? you're getting I don't know if I'm nice wear now. blue shirt. I want you to wear the blue shirt. I don't know if I like the blue shirt, Susan. I I really like the blue shirt, and I think you should wear the blue shirt. It looks really good with your hair and those jeans. You look awesome. The shirt's great. It is fun. I need a jacket, buddy. I've had fun. Did you have fun? This whole damn thing's been so much fun. Burn, 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 rock. So, from this point on, you have to be blindfolded. What the f I knew some sh you, you guys suck. I said this. I didn't want this. I know that's what you said. But I mean. But that's not what you meant at all. We're a Chuck E. Cheese's in your house. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. I don't want this. I know. <laughs> Go through the doors. Two. One, two, three. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> I told you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you? Thanks. Guess what we're doing here? We're going to play broom ball. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, good play, dude. Oh my god, that is an awesome gift. Yeah, it all worked out perfect. Broom ball. What a great idea. <laughs> Go figure. Happy birthday, Corey. I hope you have many more that I don't have to plan. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. See what I'm thinking about? I think it's time for me to go on a date and get out of here for a minute. Whatever it takes to get you laid, we go for it. Let's no, make it happen. That's, this is not the point, man. It's just to go out and get laid. Well, what is the point? To cuddle with a girl for a week. That's the point. Finding the girl forever. When we were kids, I was going out with Alyssa. I was going out with Nicole, man. And then we got engaged and we broke up and blah, Milano? blah, blah. Yeah, man, we were kids. You were 15. I just said when we were really young kids. Okay. You're actually, just to go back to this topic, you're the problem of my love life. It's the truth. I mean, look, Corey introduced me to every bad relationship in my life. Who introduced me to Alyssa? I did. Right, who introduced me to Nicole? Not me. What? Scott Baio. Scott Baio? I only met him through Christy Swanson years later, man. Now, who introduced me to Nicole? Who introduced you to Christy Swanson? Right. Who introduced me to Holly? I didn't introduce you to Holly. What are you, what are you Oh, talking? yeah, I did introduce you to Holly. So, right. what's your point? Each one of these girls, man, when I broke up with them... Unbelievably hot girls. The fact that you couldn't make it work... You set me up with all these, like, high maintenance, not that they were, but, like, actresses, so to speak, and I'm not used to... Oh, so you're saying I jaded you. That's what you're trying to say. Dating a regular, like, not schoolgirl, but, like, a girl who... Teacher... What about Joe, nurse, dude? Uh... Joe was, was normal. Joe's in England, man. I'm here. Joanne and I met about a year ago in London. I was doing a Lost Boys signing. Boom. We just fell in love. I hung out with her for about a month and something, and then I had to go home. And, uh... The long distance relationship thing was just too hard to do. I'm done with the old ways. I don't go to bars anymore. I don't go to filthy clubs anymore. I can't. I don't want to meet a girl that way. I need to meet a girl another way. Maybe. Okay, so let's try something out of the box. You got to think out of the box? Yeah. My cousin Mike, he found a girl through speed dating that he ended up 
falling in love with, and she's now moved in with him. So he's that guy you hear about and that's one out of like a trillion. A serious he's yeah, wow. but it happens. It's like winning the lotto, the man. The point is that it can happen for you. There you go. Look, here it is. Eight There's o'clock no tonight. Way I'm doing this. Eight o'clock tonight. Listen, men, 25 to 32. Women, 22 to 28. It's only 30 bucks. You go in, you sign up, you do your thing, meet a bunch of chicks. Is that your pitch? That it looks solid to me. If you were not married to Susie, would you do this shit? No. That's besides the point. See, you put me in these situations, no, but you weren't it. doing yourself. Look, if I was single, and I was in a new town, and I didn't know any girls, and I was with a married hey, friend... dude, no! Any pointers at all? Pointers? Be funny, be nice, be yourself. Don't lie to him. Don't lie to who? Dude, what time are you supposed to be there? Okay, I'm gonna take one last look in the proper mirror, and then I'm going, speed dating, baby. Now, I know what you're thinking, all right? It's very, very, very hard for me to meet a normal, ordinary girl who doesn't, like, use me for a ticket into the industry. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Rendezvous with Speed Dating. Dates are four minutes long. When we gong the gong, it means that the women will get up and move over to the next seat. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I'm in marketing. Do you get Darren in the company or I know? Yeah. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to ask you how old you are. Right? No. I'm kind of doing this on a bet with, like, my friend. Sorry? On a bet? My sister. She's just the deaf right now. She's what? So I ended up working all the time and didn't just kind of spiraled into this place where I realized that I needed to save myself. Is it four minutes? Because a lot of it doesn't feel like four minutes. I actually wrote you a fan letter when I was 10 years old. Did I write back? You did, actually. I just wanted to meet somebody other than an actress. For once. So what's your name? Ying Yang. Ying Ying. Ying Ying. See, that's kind of the same. Yeah, but you're Ying Yang to me, girl. Uh, just because you're scared of me doesn't mean it's I'm not scared of you, it's just kind of freaking me out, Ying Ying. Where are you from? I'm from the middle of nowhere. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So can you keep a secret? Sure. I am not single. having sex nobody's having sex that's it how did it go weird four minutes to talk to somebody four minutes yeah oh my god <laughs> oh my god where did you guys send me come on jake come on jake good boy jake it's good for him to get out once in a while nice for us to get out feel the fresh air it's been nice for us to do a lot of things once in a while like have sex or have sex. You know, I don't know. I just don't feel very comfortable with him in our house. I think I got that point. I just know he'll, he's gonna walk in. Yeah, but honey, I mean, it's not like we can't lock the door. I don't want him to hear us in a sexy, but it just kind of creeps me out. Well, honey, we Earplugs. lock the door and we stick earplugs in his ears. Check this out. So yeah. what is this, like? Computer dating? Right, it's computer dating as opposed to speed dating. It's like the net dating, well, I, I mean, guess. at least you get to see what they Here, look female, like. female, she's 30 years old. Her goal is romance in a relationship. Can't be all that bad. She's a makeup artist. She's got some body art, though. Hey. Yeah, sexy. Danica. She's pretty. Wait, but did you see that? Piercings, ears, navel, and dot, dot, dot. dot, dot. dot. I would call this one. Hey, Susie, I gotta put my picture up and I gotta put my stats in and all that. Don't lie, because then she'll be disappointed. I'm a five foot seven funky white boy. What are you doing, man? I own a place in Frisbee, man. Frisbee. So... Oh, really? Where are you going? Are you going to the park? Uh, no, I have a date, actually. Oh. Yeah, someone I met. Someone you met? On the net, on the internet. All right, well, have a good time. Right, don't wait up for me, that's all I can say. Are you really gonna be gone, like, all night? Oh, <laughs> Coming up on the two Corys. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. You know, this is... What are you doing here? Hey, any 
Danica. Yeah, Corey. Danica. What's up? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, the computer thing works. Okay. Have you ever played Frisbee? No, you're going to have to explain everything to me because I'm completely... Wait, put your hands up for a sec. Hey, yeah, your reflexes are fine. I'm not going to test your knees. I think we're okay. Oh, my God. I think you'll do just fine. Come on. Well, are you going to play video games all day? You going to do laundry all day? I don't want to do laundry all day. Well, that's sexy. God, easy with the Frisbee. The Frisbee's your friend. You want to just... Friend. That's good. I'm gonna go upstairs and brush my teeth. Are you sure? Where are they? Suck. <laughs> my question, why do you need an internet date? Losing a bet. That's sad. What's sad? That I'm a lost bet. No, I don't mean you're like even, it's not a bet. It's just like, um, my good friends, well, Corey and his wife, want me to kind of like meet somebody. I'm getting late, I'm getting late. Nice. So. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'll aim for your head, okay? Headhunter? <laughs> What's wrong with you? We just met, girl. Easy, girl. You're trying to whack me out. I'll aim for somewhere in between that area. Oh, hey, those I need. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Well, I'm an actress too. I'm an actress. You and everyone else. Hey, she was a nice girl, but uh, she wants to be an actress. And I don't want to date any more actresses for me. That's a deal breaker. Kind of want to get back early, though, a little bit. You getting tired or no? Want to shower? Yeah. You know what I mean? some girl on the computer and I played frisbee with her. Okay, that kind of stuff's not working for me. I'm gonna go think about my life, man, and I'm gonna back plan. I've been thinking about this thing for a while. Dating sucks, right? But the frustrating part of this thing is, is I have a girl I'm in love with. She's 5,000 miles away. I really appreciate being here this morning, man. Here's what's going on with me. Joanne, she means a lot more to me than I think I've told you, or I even know. How much does she really mean to you? That's what I, I want to know. she means a lot. Is it just like man. because, you know, you haven't been late in a while, or is it because you really, really this care? This is what I thought about last night. That's how serious I'm about this girl. The only thing that I'm worried about, and the only thing I really want to know is, has she been there through one of your bad moments? Has she been there for me in the worst times of my life? Right. The worst time of my has life. Has she seen you in that bad, like, state when you're manic, when you're freaked out? She's felt Has it. she been there? If she's seen you at your worst, then you know that she'll make it through anything. Joe's seen me at, what, 275 pounds? I'm saying mentally, has she seen you at your worst? You have no idea. What I'm trying to say is... Joe's one of If you kind. have reached that pivotal moment of stress, an imbalance where you know that you guys are going to stick through anything, then you guys know that you'll be together no matter what. Take these. Let me tell you what I've been thinking about. What happens if I say to her, like, I really, really, really have been thinking about you every single night. Until you guys have talked things out, it ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Mm -hmm. I would love nothing more than to see you happy and to see you in a relationship that works. Period. Thanks, kid. Love you, bro. Jojo, it's Corey. Hey. Hey. Corey. 
How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? Better now. <laughs> are you doing okay? Not much. I met Corey as I came. I flew in to see him. You know I'm really honest with you, yeah? So it's just, no, I've been going, let me just tell you what's happening. I'm going through like, um, I don't know, maybe like a, a life change. Okay. I don't know. Maybe like, uh, I don't know. I know I miss you. I miss you too. You know when you like have something and you just don't realize like it's there? Yeah, I know. So what are you doing within the next 48 hours? Um, because I think it's important that I see you. Guess I would fly into Fellman's, yeah? Uh, okay. What, like now? Yeah, pretty much like now. It, 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 I'm shocked. Just, you know, better think about it for a sec, okay? That's fine. I expected okay. you did, honey. I'll call you, okay? You absolutely call me. Okay. All right, love, love uh, you. Okay. Bye. Bye, baby. Hand to please, Joe. Hey. You uh, know what? I thought about it, and I'm in. You know, you could have slept on this, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. You are crazy. I can't help it. I just want to see you. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. Coming up on the two Corys. We get some really nice roses. I have my girlfriend's flying in from uh, Europe. You look amazing. You look great. Hey, Suze, you remember JoJo? Yeah. Of course, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to see Joe. Going to England? No. I'm bringing her over, man. Dude, I'm confused. What are you trying to say? She's coming down. I invited her down. She's staying here with me in my room here. When, when is this happening? She'll be here tomorrow at 8. I'm sorry I didn't ask you, but I figured you guys would be like that. So okay. you don't have to ask it's us fine. anyway, it's, Court. Because it's, it's Joe anyway, it's right? It's really, it's fine. really fine. Maybe it'll be good for us all. I, I liked Joanne, though. She was very sweet when we were in, in England. I just... Oh, she's a sweetheart. Really nice girl. She's very cute. I think what he really wants, ultimately, is to go down the path that he's been before. And I think that's good for him. I think he could use some down-to-earth, like, normalcy. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Well, Joanne's landing in a few hours. Uh, I'm really nervous. I mean, I, uh, I'm rusty. <laughs> What can I do for you? Let me get some really nice roses. Okay. My girlfriend's flying in from uh, Europe. Do you want to go look at our gorgeous flowers yeah. in the cooler? Let's do that. Roses come in many, many tones. Well, I know red's always like passionate, right? I think red is too predictable. I love white. I've always liked what, like white roses. I personally love these. These are very, very, very Those gorgeous. Are gorgeous. Let me ask you a question. If we can get some red, some white, some of these, I love these too. I'm not so big on mixing the red, white with those. I would do yellow and orange. Personally, that's my taste. I tell you what, I need a dozen, but can you add some things for me? That, like two of those purples. So we can try I this. think it's more elegant sure. to honestly not mix with your roses. Personally, so that's my that. taste. I'm going to choose the colors I like, yeah, which I are these. Add just these white ones. Are you serious? I think it's so elegant to not add anything else to it. To me, whatever honestly, you've just done in four it. minutes is gorgeous. Excuse me. Are you guys, are you guys coming in from England? Oh, hello. Welcome. Hello. You're right. I made you from England. Hey. Hey, air traveler. How are you? You hey. look amazing. You look great. Thank you. Canada. Let me get your bag. These are for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Can you look any better? No, I don't think so. <laughs> thank you for coming in, Joe. Of course. 
Success! Hey, the package has arrived. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? So are you happy she's here finally? Yeah. Who's this? This is Jake. Hello, Jake. He'll be getting under your feet in no time. I grab her bag, show him the upstairs. Oh, shoot. You didn't clean up your room? I started to. It's this messy. Dude. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not. I know. Look at the chips on the carpet. That's not me. That's Jake on it. That's it. Jake. Blame it on the dog. What happened to our nice home? That's what that. happened to the picture that was here? Uh, I sold it at a pawn shop. God. <laughs> Joanne's laughing at what a slob I am. I love this girl. And you guys have fun. I don't want to see this. There's too much information. I've been saying that to you and Susie for five years. <laughs> Cheers. Congratulations on finally having a date at dinner. It's no more than a date, but thank you. Oh, it belongs to somebody. Yeah. So when did you start wearing that? About five months ago. Really? She opted to put it on, I guess. You don't have to wear it. Oh, that's awfully sweet. Please enjoy. And don't feel pressured to eat a lot. It's sweet what you want to eat. You guys, this is really good. Is it good? Mm hmm. Wow. A compliment it's about it's my food coming out it of your mouth. It must be Joe. Hey, to Joe, really good yeah. human being. Yeah. To you guys. He's been there for everything oh. with me. For me, for you guys. If this works, ma'am, and if this is supposed to be what God wants to be, so be it. Well, what right God wants, point. God if I gets. Get, like my Susie, get my better half, my other half. There you go. It's very rare for guys like us to find a woman who really cares about us for who we are. She's not from like that world, Tinseltown world. She's like from the countryside, man, in London. You know what I mean? The purity factor of being from a different world than us. It's been a long time since I've heard you talk like that about a woman. That's pretty mind-blowing, dude. Seriously. What is it with you and me? I don't know. You smell good. How long are you gonna stay? As long as you want. That's a long time, Jay. <laughs> That's a really long time. I'm a little worn out. Well, maybe we'll have sex tomorrow then. Yeah. Maybe. I'm very happy, man. Very. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah, it's all good. It just felt like so normal again seeing, seeing you. Why have we gone out three times now and broken up three times and then now we're doing this a fourth time? Did you feel that we rushed it before? I just think it was not the right timing for either of us in life. Yeah. It's just going on with us. Okay, let's analyze this. What's going on with us? I'd like it to go further. I've never felt like this about anybody. Ever. I want it to work this time. I know I want to be with you, like, bad. But there's also a lot of things I don't know what's going on right now and how I'm feeling. And... Well, that's what I want, so... You make me kind of nervous. You have to let me know. You want to go out shopping? Yeah. You want to? Just go shop, 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 shop. <laughs> that pretty woman thing. We're going to be needing a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me too. This is my girlfriend, Joe. Joanne. Nesta, okay. Very nice. Let's try that one if that's okay. It's like a gold Oompa Loompa kind of weird looking vibe. I'm gonna wear that and just that. <laughs> Thank you. We're doing very well in here, man. Very well. Look at you, shopaholic. Thank yeah. you. Did you have fun? I did. Good. I have to say, it's nice to have finally an evening alone. Yeah. I think it's a good call bringing Joe in. She keeps him busy. We've had like seven hours of alone time. Record. And that's because he's been preoccupied. How long do you think it'll last? I don't know. I kind of asked that question a couple times in different ways and. Not really getting a straight answer? <laughs> I don't know. The way uh, Corey and Joe met was uh, pretty much the same as Susie and I. She was a crazed, obsessed fan. 
<laughs> so they met in London at this autograph show. And uh, Joe was standing in line, wanted to meet her favorite celebrity. And hey, there was Corey. Joe's a really nice girl. And I think she's really good for him. But does Corey want a good girl? Kid. Sue. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. It's funny. Do you, are your ears ringing? No, we're just talking about We that. had the coolest time. We went everywhere, just like stores that were down alleyways that I thought were alleyways that weren't alleyways, man. No, man, there's too much to buy here. I spent too much money, of course. Buy a cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Am I imposing? Yes! You help with anything else? Oh, no. What is the house thrashed? Just a little bit. You want me to call someone down here, like a, I don't know, maid service to your house every one time? That'd be nice. What time can they get here? <laughs> hey, Cor, I'd help you. It's just I got my hands full here, man. Blind shot. Oh, and Kobe's <laughs> off the chain. <laughs> She's got f rotting deodorant and cheese nips. And just like. Baby, <laughs> calm down. It's to stop whatever. <laughs> Baby, I just picked up all these things around the house. And I brought his sheets up here. And I can't see the mattress to put the sheets on. Them. And it's like, and then I look on the floor, and there's cigarette butts. And bags of cheese crackers that the dog's gonna get sick on. I'm not his maid. I'm not his wife. I'm your You're wife. You're not his maid, and you shouldn't be doing this. Why are you doing it? This is my home, and I do my best to keep it clean. And You're I'm taking not... it upon yourself. I am taking it upon myself because I cannot stand it anymore. I really can't stand it anymore. Listen, we need a break. That's it. We need to get away. We need a few days just to recompose ourselves, to just pull it together, breathe, relax. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where do you want to go? What do you feel like doing? Anything here to keep working while Let's we go to the snow. Want to go to the snow? A little ski trip? I mean, a cabin in, in the mountains? Anything or other than. A hotel room or something? Just piles something. Of laundry, and I'm not even laundry. going in that bathroom. I'm not going in there, I'm not going to touch it. Coming up on the two Corys. What do you see, marriage, kids, with me, I mean? What do you reckon? Hey, Tam, what are you doing, Metro Pad? I don't know what to do with JoJo. Uh, I need to talk to you, man. Bad. What's up, dude? Huh? What? What's wrong with you today? Um, I'm tired, and I'm drained, and I'm just... Go get massaged all week or something, man. I don't know. I think Susie and I are going to take off for a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, we just need a break, man. From what? Me? I just need a break. That's all. It has nothing to do with me while you're bailing. It has nothing to do with you. You're sure? Are you leaving because Joe's here? No. Look at me. No, I'm happy Joe's here. If it's Joe being here, it's making you bail, tell me. It's cool. Core, can you look at me for two minutes? It's not you. It's not Joe. It's okay. Just me. And my own promise? depletion. I promise. Promise? I promise. Promise. I promise. Yeah, we just need some time alone. Romance. That's all. So you don't have to justify why you're on vacation with your wife, man. Go. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude, but we need to get away. And no, it's not really because of you, but it's because of you. And how else can I explain it other than saying my wife and I need to... Are you sure it's a good idea? What? Leaving the two of them here while we're gone. Well, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to tell them to go get a hotel while we're gone? I'm just concerned. But the concern doesn't outweigh my need for getting out of the house. Well, I think that the, the house will be here when we get back. I'll be fine. The pact is, one more Corey. One more talking about it. 
Some things that I need you to do while we're gone. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. I just need you to like lock the doors. Just make sure you do that. Make sure you leave lights on when you're not here, and even while you're sleeping. That way, people think there's someone home. Wish I would have taken more insurance out on the house. I'm gonna load up the car. That's fine. Right, Wait, you want me to check the list off? You don't actually have to check them off. Where do I physically. punch in, boss? Mentally. Just check them off in your brain. If something goes wrong with Jake or, like, you burn the house down and you need to let us know about it, I'll leave a number. Hey, just know, it's all good in my hood. Come on, let's have some fun. Okay. What's up, Jake? Yeah, you know me. Well, they're gone. The psychos are gone. <laughs> Good afternoon, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Good. Good, we're checking in, we're checking it's for Feldman. In. Feldman, great. So we have you on our top floor. Okay. Is that the most romantic room you have? It's one of our nicest rooms yeah. on our top floor. It's a mountain view. Cool. Okay, so there you go. You're on the eighth floor. We'll have the Bellman send up your bags right away. Okay. Enjoy Thank your you. stay. All right, let's go get ready. Is there like hot chocolate here? What? How about we ski first? Ah, then we'll get hot chocolate. We go first. What? Don't make me stop. Ah. I was just saying I'm gonna let you go first. Go ahead. Oh. I got gotcha. you. Sex in a gondola? Yeah, why don't you take a bath with me? Yeah. Say bath. Bath. Say, do you want to take a bath with me? Do you want to take a bath with me? Say it's bath. It's not bath. It's bath. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Ready to take a bath? Yeah. Yeah, give me like 10 seconds. I think I'm in shock just being away from him. Well, you're in, like, for like. Sh those of uh, you we do not speak of. Oh, right. We do not speak. Don't My even, bad. Don't even use like a. No, I was just going to say because. Preposition, like him. It's like his spirit is still with us because I feel like he's already put his lips and drool and spit all over my drink. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even in the room. Isn't that weird? It is weird. Where do you want to go from here? The forward would be nice. Forward's always good. I can't find one logical explanation to myself why we should not be together. I don't know. I feel so comfortable with you. Before you met me, did you want to have kids? Did you want to start a family? Did you want to be a mom? Did you want to be someone's wife? Eventually. We don't really think about it. Too much until you're with somebody, really. What do you see marriage, kids, with me? I mean, what do you reckon? I don't know. Maybe we'll have the kids together one day. Listen to me. I need to speak to you. I don't know what to do with JoJo. Seriously, bro, you know, like when you know, and like, boom, that's it, and like, you know, like she's the one, and 
da da da, and then it's like an hour later, and you're like, oh god, what am I doing with this girl? It's like I'm marrying her, I'm not marrying her, I'm marrying her. Shoot. Where the hell are you, dude? I can release some advice right now. You know what? I'm rolling your way, kid. I, I need to talk to you badly. This is like a life thing. So these are one of those moments where, like, you need to be there. Um, I'm going to let her sleep. As soon as she's up, I'm bouncing right to you. Uh, I need to talk to you, man. Bad. Coming up on The Two Corys. What the f*** are you doing? I need to talk to you. I mean, I've seen you propose to probably 20 chicks, dude. I'm just confused, man. I'm really, really confused, bro. Still sleeping. Hold on. Don't freak. Are you doing I need to talk to you. What yeah, happened? Is Jake okay? I need to talk to you about Joanne. Your dog's fine. Your house is fine. That's fine. I have a thing I need to talk to you about. You're the only one who can help me on this, bro. <laughs> Jugular. Sorry. Let me talk to my wife. Maybe I can squeeze in like an hour or two. That's fine. We'll go down a f run or two together. I need to pow out Something with you. like That's that. All I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Maybe she'll stay in bed. Send the girls out together. I don't know. Just give her some money. If she has money, I'll give Joe some money. She's got money, too. All right. I'll meet you downstairs in an hour, okay? Thanks, man. Oh, God. See you soon. All right. Of course he has to show up in my room, because he can't leave me alone for five minutes. I mean, God forbid I have five minutes alone with my wife. I want my wife. Is that okay? Is that okay? Corey? Mother Why is everything about him? It's what's going on in his I life and how know. he's feeling. And I am so sick of it always being about him. So what Susie doesn't really understand is the best way to deal with a situation like this is let him have his time. Let him vent. Then he'll get it off his chest and he'll go his merry way and we can go back to what it is we're trying to do. Because he pulls done. you away. Let me know when you're done. I'm not done. Listen, this listen. is not supposed to be Why? about that. Like, I wanted to come here and have, like, a, a vacation and relax, and I'm not I relaxed. I know. And this is messed up. I'm mad, period. He doesn't, you don't just come up and mess with people on their vacation when they're trying to get away from you. Dude, I should not be getting woken up by Corey Haim and his life-changing What am I supposed to do, tell me off? No, I gotta say, okay, let me give you an hour or two. An hour or two? Okay, I told him we'd go down and run together, we'll find out what's going on, and what am and I gonna do? It. What am I gonna do? Hang out with Joe. This is like taking it like to a whole other level, showing up here. It better be important. <laughs> Sorry to crash the party, dude. It's okay. I'm just confused, man. I'm really, really confused, bro. What are you talking about? I want to marry Joe, dude. I think. What? Just listen. To, hear me out. I want to marry her for, like, the whole day, right? And then, like, during that day, there are certain moments that go by where I'm like, what am I doing, man? I'm used to the supermodel thing with the attitude, and she's too pure for me, and I'm doing something wrong. But now it's getting to the 85, 95% of where, like, if I don't marry her, or at least be with her and just her, then I'm a idiot, man. Like, I got all this different stuff going on, man, but for the last, like, 72 hours, uh, I've almost taken this chick to, like, Vegas and married her, man. So is it nice, uh, nice seeing him again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is really, really nice. I just, it was really hard, like, leaving him the last time. I mean, I, I think he's matured a lot, too, yeah. in the last, like... He has changed you know, quite a bit since yeah. I saw him last. I gotta yeah. say, he said the same about me, though, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got to be very different than he was then. Yeah. He's got to be very different. Mm-hmm. Very. But, you know, he's he's just got a great heart. I just, I'd love that about him. He's, he's got good intentions, you know? He's kind of like the uh, absent-minded professor, except yeah. minus the professor part. <laughs> The point is, 
I love her, man. And that's all that really matters. Yeah, for like a year. Um, so what does she know about all this, by the way? I'm sure she knows how I feel about her. I know how she feels about me. My feeling is that you've been through this a thousand times before. I mean, I've seen you propose to probably 20 chicks, dude, and that's the truth. You know, I've been engaged twice. Once to Nicole Eggert. I didn't okay? even know. Once to Crick, okay? Once to Taryn, you know this. Taryn? Who's Taryn? And once to What's-Her-Face from the autograph show. <laughs> you know, I've been engaged twice. Once to Nicole Eggert. Once to Crick. Once to Taryn, you know this. And once to what's her face from the autograph show. That's twice. The point being, I haven't felt like this about anybody like Joanne. Do, do you understand that? Here's what I'd like to ask you. If she's really worth it, and this time is different, don't you think it's worth it for you to wait? Maybe. So what are you going to do? Think. Whatever's going on with you and Joe, if it's meant to last, it will. Just don't jump the gun. And you know what? If you do it right and you take the time, I will be there to support you 100% if you decide that's what you want to do. I know you will. Let's just take it one step at a time. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, go. Hey, hey, hey. Dude, stop playing around. Let's go. Amazia, eat my snow, bitch. Come on, stop, stop, stop. All right. I'm sorry, man. I crashed your getaway. I you should be. I am. I had a really good time with you, Joe, and it was fun. And I'm <laughs> glad you guys came up in a kind of weird, demented way. What are you guys up to now? We should all go to dinner since you're here. Yeah. Uh, we're on a sketch, actually. I'm taking her out somewhere. It's important, dude. Hopefully, you took my advice to heart, but knowing him, he'll be engaged before he leaves Whistler. I was definitely annoyed when they showed up. So, what happened? What did he say? He's kind of like, you know, he's like a, a child in certain ways. You know, he'll be like, dude, I think I'm going to get engaged, man. I think it's going to happen. I mean, he said that. Today? What'd you tell him? I told him he should wait. Yeah. The scary part is, you never know what he's going to do. I'm really happy you're here. Me too. I don't want to date anyone else, Joe. Ever. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you honestly happy? Honestly, very happy. Do you want to uh, jam a little bit? Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm easy going, of course. When's the last time you performed? Uh, it's been a while, dude. Well, what's that picture from, by the way, man, of you up there? You My last concert. This is House of Blues. Great shot, dude. The band that I've got now, they're awesome, really, really good. So we just don't have time to do enough of it. So I have this band called The Truth Movement. I love making music. I've been making music for 15 years now. I've put out four albums, and we put on a great show. It's a very tremendous spectacle. Unfortunately, due to the size of the production, we don't get to perform much. Plus the fact that my band lives scattered all over the United States. It's a lot to get together. I have the coolest idea ever. I'm gonna try to throw a show for the dog. Have you ever done that before? No, it's a surprise. It's really hard to book a gig at a club. How hard can it be, right? Get in touch with it's, his people. It really get a, isn't that. Get a place. I mean, I know where he likes to perform, get smoke machines, right? Will he be excited I mean, you if gotta, I do this? Yeah, I mean, he'll be totally excited. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not, like, it's not that easy. It really isn't. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna need phone numbers. You're my assistant, man. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Do I have your full support and unloving, conditionally love? Go for it, try it. Can I have some coffee? Yeah. I'm taking yours. <sighs> Susan, I'm doing this, girl. Luck. luck is not an option. What's up, dude? Can you trust me? What am I trusting you with? I need you to say yes. I trust you. But it's positive. Come, we have to go. Are you is. getting me a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? No, it costs too much money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just trust me, Soup. All right, I trust you. Welcome home. There's nobody here. There's not going to be anyone here till Friday. What's Friday? You're performing. Shwing. What? 
You're performing here Friday, man. What are you talking about? Okay, you, musician, stage, go up, make audience go woo woo woo. <laughs> okay, okay so wait, you booked okay. me a gig. Right. And I don't even know if my band's around. Correct. Right. Available. I'm supposed to do a show in 48 hours, and I don't even know where my band lives at the moment. This is craziness. What is he thinking? So, if I gotta bring in lights, you're gonna make sure I can bring in lights. If I gotta rent equipment, you're gonna make sure I can rent equipment. You have just gotten me into oh. a world of Dude, here's what I'm saying. And you know how much you want to do this? Can I be honest with you? Please, hit me. I mean, it's really, actually, I'm really impressed. Dude, this is big that you would actually go out and book a club, but my show is a huge production, dude. You know? It's not the kind of thing where it's just like a rock band that gets up and plays. My whole issue is that I really don't know if I can pull it off, dude. You mean Maybe yourself? you can pull it off. Poor Baby, wait a second. you know how much work goes into every show. Yeah, but you don't normally have several people to help you. Tim's always working on it. I've known Timmy for years and years and years, but what did he do in the you day? You really don't know? I met him through MJ, but <laughs> he did uh, the Michael Jackson Victory Tour. He did the Michael Jackson Bad Tour. Tim got a very large inheritance, so he quit the music business. He retired. The only thing he does is he helps me. Corey, dude, t Tim, loud Tim. I mean, you name it, dude. This guy has been there and done it. He Since really man? knows his shit and he knows Already? how to get things done. Here's what needs to happen. Before I make my ultimate decision, we need Tim on board. I need to know that Tim's on board. I'm tired? A little bit. It's just a lot more stress than I was kind of looking forward to right now. The yeah. bottom line is, I love the art of making music, mm. and nothing makes me happier than, like, seeing the fans face to face. Well, and that makes it all worth it. It does. Because... I and mean, I miss that, being on stage and, like, having those moments. But when he first came up to me and was like, oh, I have this idea, and I'm like, good luck, and then he pulled it off. He's the best and... friend a guy could ever have. <laughs> he is What are you laughing about? Because he's the best and the worst friend. Jimmy! You guys really got yourself into something. Oh, I this got time. Us into it. He has nothing to do with that. I just wanted to do it for him. This is kind of last minute. We got a lot of stuff to go over. We've got to rent everything on the planet. We've got to get the amps and the drums. You got to call everybody. Okay. And you got to ask them okay. what are your specifications. No, I That's what he's here for. Hey, I can always sit he's back and watch up too, man. All right. You need some models, bikini girls. We need lasers. Because we as need I smoke understand, smoke machines. Got to get to silly school. Band, where are they gonna stay? They're um, flying in. I'm hooked that up proper. Okay, so you Tim doesn't need to worry about it. Then? No, I'll be on that one, Tim. I'm hooking them up. That lighting wise, let's... we're gonna need Edgar. We're gonna need Edgar. Edgar. Who's Edgar? Edgar's my lighting guy. He's a nutcase, but he's genius. You or Edgar? Kind of like you. So I'm here at the club. And I have to talk with Edgar because I have to figure out if he's even going to be able to pull this off. I mean, after all, he is the Jedi Master of Lighting, so hopefully he will be able to pull lightsaber out of his ass. Half of these lights don't work right. These moving lights, those are oh first generation. I mean, these are like nine, ten year old lights. It, Corey, I have to bring lights in here. You got some there's, moving there's lights, lights you got a but we don't cans. have enough of the right kind of lights. Where's your control board? Right up there, in that little window. Oh. There's no light board. Like okay. That's, that's not gonna work. Can I, what if I stand in the bar? Can I put a board there at the end of the bar? Be behind the bar. Why do you have to be in front? I don't understand that. <laughs> Sorry. Tell her. I don't like the show that we put on. It's really big. This is not band comes in. This is show comes in. I'm looking at all of this and going, this is great. You run a little dance club. Yeah, and also for a band. for us. You have to work with the parameters of the yeah, room. Yeah, no, as well. I mean it's a great so, room, Edgar. Sorry. So can, can, can I talk to you for a minute? I just sure. All right. <laughs> Let's talk. There is not enough time. There is not enough money. Everything is set against this. We're locked into this. So what do you want to do? I mean, I've already announced it. I've already. There's already been publicity. Are you saying for... it's we can't change venues, right? I'm not going to jump to any decisions. I'm just going to think it through. You have to make a decision fast, though, because he's already given them permission to sell tickets. Okay, maybe possibly. Obviously, we've got constraints, and we're going to have to work within those. 
But a lot of people would look at this and go, it's Edgar, impossible. You know what? Can we make it happen or not is the big bottom line. I, I, I don't know, Corey. I have pulled off amazing feats for you before, but this one I cannot guarantee. Coming up on The Two Corys. This really sucks. How are we going to pull this off in one day? Are you going to at least give me a preview of what I'm getting? Uh, we don't have, I don't have a light board yet. Really, oh, we're God. really, really... Oh, God. So Tim and Corey are going to get us our supplies. The only problem is they don't have any money to go to the music store with. You see, small club equals small budget. Bottom line, if Tim doesn't come through, we're screwed. Hey, Tim, I'm going to get that other stuff we need. Look around, see if anything looks cool. Don't stray too far. Hey, I'll be in verbal distance. OK. The same uh, area you could anyway. All right, all right. God bless you. Yorkville monitors, and you said you need six of them? Right. So the drums are going to be about 350 What if we bring it back by midnight? As far as the price? Yeah. No, that's not going to happen. When the murder fell, man. No, that's just wrong. It's going to come back clean? Yes, no. No, no beer circles? No. We can do like a half off on a couple pieces or something? Wonderful, it's wonderful, wonderful. 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 Thanks. All right, thanks a lot. Take it easy. Up, All right, call. thanks. Ah, <laughs> found you, found you, found you. Uh, sorry, artiste. We gotta go. Let's go. Man, I messed up because of you, right, Tim. Right, right, let's go. We gotta go. When Corey's in a bad mood, it's yeah. like... Okay. Right. Yeah, you don't okay, care. Okay, you just want to go, Mr. Let's go, let's go. Schedule. All right. All right. Yeah, how'd you make out? Fine, listen, we got a, we got a deal on the stuff. Man, We're... I want that keyboard, I know, thing. I know, I know. Come on, come on. You know. Sweet, isn't it? The kid's doing all right for himself, isn't he? I hear right voices! Now. Hey, man, your peeps are here. Who oh, are yeah. you? The hook up. The rope. So I don't know. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. I'm excited. This is good. I feel like rock and roll guy. My band's here. How's it? Come on in, guys. Let me show you around. That is so cool. Thank you so much for bringing me along. Here's the music room, guys. The show itself, basically, this is not my fault. I don't tell her they're staying in. Here. You're staying here? Oh, I thought you were going to put him in a hotel. That was what you were supposed to do. I can... Yeah, I don't know if I want to invest that much in Where are they going to sleep? Oh, God. It could be a little bit of a mess, but hopefully your hotel is cool. Where they got you staying? I hear. Uh, yeah. Corey didn't get you a room? Hey, guys. No, they're staying here. Welcome, welcome. What? Yeah. So I got you to the, I, I can only lead you to water, um, boys, but there's a horse right there. Here, your people are here. Can I talk to you for one sec? Yeah, can you guys excuse me, man? You guys just go ahead and start. Get yelled at I'll it. take Thanks. care of everything. Don't worry about it. Buddy, I think I made a rookie mistake here. The intent is awesome. You're talking about accommodations? I'm assuming. <laughs> um, right here, I figured we just pull the glass table out, pull this back off. I just don't know what the f we're going to do, buddy. If you're going to go and you're going to spend money on flying people in, when you expect to put them somewhere once they get there, you do not invite seven people to stay in somebody's home when you're their house guest. We've got one day to get this show together. One day for one rehearsal. And who's asleep? Everybody. Who's ready to rehearse? No one. Here comes Tim to save the day. Wake up. Come on. Hey, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Jen here. Come on. Get a move on. Bring it in. Coming through. Coming through. Guitar. 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 Ooh. Left. Left. Ivory. 
Yeah. Can somebody take this? Corey. What is he doing? Corey was supposed to be helping out. Here. Corey. Corey. You, Corey. you got Susie lifting your amp for you. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You and I need to go do the wardrobe stuff. No. I want to watch Corey perform, man. No. What do you mean? No, I want to be here for like all that groovy stuff before the show. That's mom. Mom? Mom Dad's says... being a p like, can you talk to him, and can you also bump my allowance up? Yeah. Bye, boys. Tim, if you could really keep tabs on the time on this, it's got a stopwatch. It should be exactly an hour, so let's do it. So, we're in a weird situation. The club wants us to play for an hour because clubs like it when their headliners play long enough to get everybody drunk and spending money and drinking and smelling and drinking. We only had one day of rehearsal. How long was that one, Tim? Our total amount right now is only 45 minutes. 45 minutes? We've got to be a one-hour show. Well, that's all we got. Well... What one of our songs can we do? Love Left? Could be a good one. Hell yeah. Do you remember it? What she is a sin. See, this is gonna be a nightmare because we haven't been practicing it. We've got like a half an hour left to even rehearse in here. Dude, this really sucks. Coming up on the two Corys. The five thousand dollar lightning package? What do you want? Like, Mars? I don't know if we're gonna make it nine o'clock or not. There's not gonna be a show. There's really not gonna be a show. I'm not kidding. Yeah. You guys have like the coolest bed to go from all the way here. Yeah. Are you gonna help me with Look this? Look Jake, I will. Jake, careful. And like, till we go, oh, mm. I'm loving it. All right, what do we got? Hey, yeah, cool, I found that for him. No. This jacket? No, I think he no, 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 This goes, this everything. goes. No, 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 we need, everything? no, 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 we need all of these things. Because he does, like, five costume changes. Five, six. And me, I'm sitting in your husband's clothes. You got a prompt? You got a prompt? Seriously, don't. Still my glasses. Don't pick them. I won't. Check. Well, you're ironing them anyway. Bring in hangers. Bring in hangers. Take don't me. bring the pillowcase. Is that what that is? Yes. I thought it was his shirt. <laughs> no, it's a pillowcase. Come on, let's go. How about you come back up and get everything? How Maybe about I sports? already have everything? You're a freaking thief. You're a thief whore. So, hey, Timmy, Timmy, Tim. Hey, hey, hey. What up, Timmy? Everybody, everybody upstairs. We have very little time before the show starts. The band is just not there yet. And the lighting is a disaster. But thank God we have Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> you look rested. Did you get some sleep last night? No. <laughs> <laughs> How are we on smoke? Oh, you have a cigarette? No. The, no, seriously. We have smoke. Plenty of smoke? We have smoke. Oh. Do I dare ask about anything else? No. All right, let's go. Are back. you going to at least give me a preview of what I'm getting? Uh, we don't have, I don't have a light board yet. You don't have a light board yet? No, I mean, it's not, nothing's hooked up. Really, oh, we're God. really, really behind. Oh, God. It's just about showtime. I'm having a meltdown. The longer we sit here and talk, the don't, less don't you can talk do. to me anymore. That's you don't have a life board. You don't have smoke. We have a life board. You you the life board is sitting right there. there. The crew's going AWOL. We're going to be sound checking right now. I don't know if we're going to make 9 o'clock or not. $5,000 lightning package? What are you, on Mars? Edgar's having an ego trip. Can you stand in front of your guitar, please? Somebody stand there, anybody. And I can't even hear vocals. Okay, seriously? Are we working on vocal mics yet? Aim is just sitting there watching the storm he created. Somehow, it all worked out. Thank you. 
tonight. Thank you. And I hope you're ready to rock. Well, somehow it all came together. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun too. Fans were really, really into the show. They were going crazy. The reason the bikini girls are here is because they have to change my clothes because I don't want to keep going off stage to do wardrobe changes. Corey, one way or another, actually managed to get it all together. And even if he didn't get it all together, he helped us to get it all together. It, he had the idea. It was his idea. Give it up for Corey for <laughs> Lots of bacon. Swing. Here you go, Jojo. Breakfast is served. What are you doing? Hi, honey. Hi. I was gonna make the breakfast in bed, but now it's breakfast out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Why are you awake? I have to go home. Wait, 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 wait. Can you not see? Why should any of this surprise you anymore? That's but, cool. like, who leaves the egg here and, like... Corey Haim does. Did he use our pans oh. to cook the bacon in? Well, I don't think it cooked himself. That's disgusting. No, it's not cool. How much of a pig do you think that is? That's only a piece of a pig. What was best. the pig's name is what I would like to know. Probably, like, Wilbur. Or Babe. This is the right decision to make right now. You know how much I care about you. I know. I just feel at the moment that we've not really made an actual decision. Decision. Yeah, commitment. You want to hear my honest? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You want me to sugarcoat it or do you just want it straight? Honest. I say we'll go home and we're just like five days in a row and get freaky with the whole situation. We need to work things out, really. I know. It all comes down to this, basically, is the fact that I, myself, I need the commitment from you. And now that's a lot to ask, right? It's not that, baby. I love you. It's just... I know. I love you, too. I can't just sit right the second and go, yep, you got it. Which is why I'm packing right now. I know. When I think it's about this commitment thing, it's... I have been a girl, girl, girlfriend in a long, long time. I respect that. It's, this is important. It's just, it's something that I think I have to do right now. Okay. Okay. Corey, 
Susie, can you say goodbye to Jojo? I gotta take her to the airport, man. Why? Numerous reasons, really. We're gonna miss you. We've loved having you. Thanks for a lovely time. It's been really Thanks. cool. I love you. What do you say? It's you see. Okay. Hey, Corey. Yeah. Come here. Look at these houses. Houses? Yeah. There's some really good ones in here. I think we should... Are we really doing this right now? We've been putting this off for way too long. What's wrong with this? It needs to be closer to the beach. Uh, if we could get a pool, that'd be awesome. I know, I don't like to change. Change is uncomfortable. Oh, change is good. It's inevitable. There's several open houses. Yeah. And when I say we go to all of them. I'll see like two or three today. Okay, two or three I, again, is fine. Perfect. Let's go. You're not excited about moving. What's wrong with this house? That's what I'm saying. It's a beautiful home, but it doesn't have everything we want. You and I have talked about finding a new place, and that since Corey's been with us, yeah, we haven't. We put it off. So should we bring Corey with us then? No. Don't we move? At this point, he's already overstayed his welcome. On the two Corys. I don't think Corey's gonna be able to leave. He can't stay here. Why are you such a <laughs> bitch? Hey! What's he doing? What the f you want? You don't want to do this with me. Hi. Hi there. Um, I need acrylics. Okay. And brushes. Easel. Okay, so these are the canvases over here. They're too big for someone's home. I don't want to make like something too big for them. That's too small. <laughs> is that, well, is it? Should I get something bigger? Uh, it's just they have a really nice house and it's like they have a portrait of themselves over the fireplace. And... That would be a good fireplace size, I think. All right, we'll take this. Do you have anything that's really weird? Like, just weird that I can go, oh, that's really cool. Do you have like, any glow in the dark? Paint? Do yes, absolutely. Glow? glow in the dark, acrylic do you, paint. Yeah. Do you sell black light here? Uh. Is Corey, my friend, whatever, he used to be into this, um, the paintings where you turn on the black light yeah. and you could see it? No, I'm kidding. I really do love them. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, y'all ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Look at this. Those are French doors and they open all the way. But they don't do the slanted... Uh... Nope, they don't. So they're hand-proof. That's good. good. I mean, in case he were to come over. He's not. And visit. All right, moving on. Shubbling. Leave me alone, I must concentrate. Like frickin' Picasso. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that. Oh. oh. And just imagine Haim's right here, and he's like, oh. Why would I want to imagine <laughs> Haim anywhere in our new home? Red blood, funerals, morbid, black. In a good way. What's that back there? Is that our neighbor? That's the guest oh, that's... house. Honey, what do you think? No, no guest house. Guest house means guests. Thank you very much. We You're appreciate welcome. your time. I really liked it, honey. I really liked it. What's up, dog? Hey. Hey. Ooh. What are you doing? I'm painting. You told me to feel at home, so I went out and bought myself some canvases and I'm just painting. Just paint all over the floor. Where? There's Everywhere, there's paint everywhere. You can't paint outside. I where... You know how much poo is out there you guys haven't cleaned up from Jake? I don't mind. He's a dog. He can sh everywhere. You're a human being. You can't sh everywhere. Okay? God. How about I just cook some cocaine in your kitchen and smoke it and feel at home that way? How about I'm this? I'm mad that you're painting. I'm how mad that this? there's a 
mess again. Got it. Every time I, I walk into my kitchen, I got there's a mess. There's shit everywhere. There was bacon. Take some responsibility. When hey, there's responsibility for me to take, Susan, I there's, will gladly take it. There's massive responsibility. That you I don't have. think so, Susan. I'm just saying at this point, I've kind of had it with just You've had things. It. Yeah, I have. Okay. I'm used to having things a certain way, and they haven't been that way for a while, Susan. and I'm just going crazy. I would like some normalcy, what I'm used to, back in my life. Right. It seems to me like you guys both have some I tell you what, Susie, why don't you just Hold on, minutes. can you give me one second to just talk? Can you give me one give me second to talk? Can you give me one no second talk. to talk? Can you give me one second to talk? Corey, you're frustrated. Susie, you're frustrated. And between the two of you guys, I'm going to lose my brain. You know what? It's time for me to go home. This is enough. I've had enough. you in that position. He already said he wanted to. And maybe right now is just the opportunity. I don't see it working with him here anymore. Yeah, it was his movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you know, he grew up digging you and Haim, and he's got something he wants to pitch for the two of you that he thinks you guys would be great. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of bad timing. We haven't really been getting along very well. Susie's kind of at her wit's end with the whole thing. But, you know, I'll talk to him about it. If you guys are available, I'll set the meeting up today. Right. I think we should take the meeting, if nothing else. Okay. So I'll set it up. I'll get back to you guys. Ask him where my residual check is for Daily <laughs> Drew. <laughs> okay, dude. Talk right. to you guys. Bye. Bye. So I just got a phone call from Scott. Mm hmm And uh, remember Brian Hertzlinger? My David Drew? Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. He's written a script. Mm -hmm. He's interested in me doing it. Uh -huh. But there's a catch. He wants the two Corys. All I know is that Scott said, look, it can't hurt to just take a meeting with the guy, right? And I said, right. The thing is, you guys going and doing a new project together, he's not going to leave. Well, there's that part of it. Um, see what he has to say. See if it's even worth diving into. He wants to meet this afternoon. So, I mean, we can, you, you know, have Corey still fly out tomorrow. It's it's I mean, fine. it's just... Go, uh, yeah. Corey! Sit down, please. I need to talk to you for two minutes. I got a phone call from Scott. And Scott said this guy, his name is Brian Herzlinger. He has this idea for some movie for the two of us. You know this guy? Yeah. You like his work? Yeah. And I don't know if it's a road that I want to go down. Look, I think you know, as long as I do work is work, saying. man. We need to get up and work. Um, a paycheck's a paycheck. All right, let's meet this guy. You're paying my fee, man, my penalty on my ticket. Or you'll buy me a brand new one if I can't do that. Coming up on The Two Corys. I don't know what the f is going on with you and Susie, but I'm done with it. And that's, that's it. It's f over, okay? Hi, right, guys. I love you both very much. Tell me about Brian. We Brian's so. awesome, dude. He's an awesome guy. What does he look like? I mean, he's a good-looking guy, you know, in a kind of a goofy way. He's at the door. He's here, man. Oh. Hi! Hey. Brian Herzl. <laughs> How are you doing? Corey Summer. Feldman. How are good you? to see you, man. How's it going? How are you? How are this you? is Corey Haynes. So nice to meet you, nice man. How's it going? Man. Good. How you doing, boss? Good. Well, first thing I do is I got to get my writing partner on the phone. Yeah, I'm sure. Hold, hold on. It's Jay. Jay Black. Jay Black, white guy. How are you, man? Jay, I'm now handing him just the, the treatment of uh, what we came up with. Of the latest and greatest video game system in the world, it's coming out in 12 hours. Okay, and everybody is lined up outside of the, the local Best Buy type store. It's like when you guys go to do autograph sessions, you have lines going around the block, right? Absolutely. All right. The whole movie takes place in the line. It's called The Line. 
and we get to meet the crazy characters in the line, and you two play your Timothy and your Jack. This is going to give you guys a chance to really show that you're funny guys. All right, let's get down to brass tax men. How much are you paying me? <laughs> I think there's hope, guys. I think we can make this work. At this point in my career, I don't really like to do anything that's not a challenge. Sure. Uh, give me a character. I'll make it challenging for myself, and let's just get working. It's fine with me. And let's get on this thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Call you in a couple days. All right. We'll review everything, and then we'll touch base. Yeah, let's get going on it. See where let's we're get going on it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Later. Nice guy. Totally cool guy, man. Okay, look, kid. Here's what's going down. I'm here uh, tonight, and I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Right. I need to think well, about this. This, know, is I mean, all, this is a lot, because he's saying he needs to work on it right away, which Let's means we Forget all that right now. Now, let me ask you a question. Your wife. The Susie Factor. Sure, let's call it the Susie Factor. If we ever film together again in a flick, if she and you are going to hang, go everywhere together, and, da -da, and if she messes with me one time while I'm working on set, we're going to have a problem. And you know that's so What do you mean dude. by messing with you? Messing with me on set. Oh, don't da 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 and this and this and da 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 It's between you and her. I just want to make sure it doesn't happen on set. Ever. So I'm going to talk to her. I don't need you talking to her about what I want to talk to her no, about. No, but it's my wife. I have to. I have to. So what do you say? Well, he gave us the treatment. It's actually uh, kind of an interesting idea. You know, I mean, it's something that hasn't really been done before. Close the door. What? It's going to take a lot of development. And I'm a little bit concerned about whether this is the right move right now. Because first of all, it means I don't think Corey's going to be able to leave. I think he's going to have to stay here. I'm just telling you. He can't stay here. Even if he doesn't stay in the house, even if he stays at a hotel. and he... Even if he's at a hotel somewhere in town, he'll be here. Yeah. He can't stay here. Um, hi. Can I interject from there? I'm sorry, I don't need to be eavesdropping. That's wrong. What's wrong? No, just saying I stayed for that meeting for this? All I'm she saying, was saying is that she, she whatever, was dude. I'm calling a cab. I'm, and I'm saying, saying come here. on. I know, That's Susan. All? I heard that very clearly. And you know what? I don't need to be here. I can leave. You guys. No, this is your guys. problem, not you guys. you guys. This is your problem. But I mean, your wife, man, like being in the middle. Dude, right. we just had a good meeting. Right. Everything's fine. Right, What's dude. Great right guy, great He's meeting. I don't give a shit about that. I give a shit about this family. You understand that? He's telling me about what's going on and that you I may need to that. be around for a long time. And I'm going, no. You can't stay the You. What am I, a germ? I don't need your attitude. Oh, because so I you're don't. his wife. You could talk to me. I don't think so. I don't need your attitude. Susie, I dude, you, you know. guys got to calm down. Your wife is on a leash, man. She's pissing me off Elise. now. Dude, yeah. that's what? my wife. Yeah, so what if you back her up all the time? Yes, I back her up all the time. We're a team. Okay. You don't have a team, so you don't understand. Why are you such a bitch? Hey, watch me, dude. Look. What the f do not f***ing say to me. You don't call my wife a bitch. You want to step? You want to step? I will knock you out, kid. Hey, you stop. don't want to do this with me. Stop it. Do you understand that? It's not worth it. You don't want to do this. You stop. don't want to do it. I will kill you, girl. Mess you stop, up. Stop. Susie, stop. Get stop. out of the middle. Yeah. Go it's get not going to work. I don't know what the f is going on with you and Susie, but I'm done with it. Do you understand me? And that's that's it. It's over, okay? You need to go. I need my time, and she definitely needs her time, but I'm not ending it like this. Okay, look. I'm gone. You all right? I'm fine. I've done a lot of work to control my temper so I don't f the people and go crazy and f like that. It's the first time I've been ready to like knock somebody out in a long time. I hate to let them leave like this, but I don't think any of us can stand being around each other for any five more minutes. Like, I can't even do it. Any more time. No, man, I'll just like stay out. You guys just wait until like I can get this cat here. It's okay, all right. 
There's certain things that we just need some space on right now. I'm a married man, and you are not used to being around me in this situation, okay? And you need attention from me in different ways that she's not used to having somebody else in, a, in our life. It's not about attention, kid. It's about just like we used to be different kinds of friends, and now you're totally different. Excuse f me, man. Doesn't give me an excuse to treat you like that. I should go. Guys, just you guys should have some space. <sighs> okay, I'm gone. Hi right, guys, I love you both very much. Thank you, Just like me, you're afraid to go too far. I'm ready to begin. But I'm always on the outside looking in. What up, brother? How can it be? Oh, oh. oh. The evil snow, Bjorch! With all the silence in the world to breathe. Shabliggy booby bow. thought of something. What? We're alone. He's really gone. The last time we came to our home, it was... A disaster. A disaster. As we began our story, Corey Haim arrived on the Feldman's doorstep a changed man, having lost nearly a hundred pounds Don't. and enjoying a newfound sobriety. Hey, what up, brother? Look, look, look. Yeah, I'm just lucky. No, man. Where's the girl? Look at you. You look awesome, dude. Thank you, boss. How look are at you? you. The second he walked through that door, I was shocked. He looked like a completely different person. Of course, there's really not so many guys. I never thought that I would see you as healthy and clean and happy and strong. You're the one who told me to get this healthy and clean and strong. It was time to do it. He looks so good. He did it all himself. I don't know. Push-ups. Yeah. Huh! What, kid? You are in the army now, son. You will do what I say now, boy. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Come on. Dude, this is better than me popping a pill. But while Haim had made many changes in his life, old habits die hard, and Haim's slovenly lifestyle quickly became a challenge in the orderly Feldman household. You know, Corey can be pretty messy sometimes. His version you know. of clean might not be what everybody else's is. Right. Who leaves the egg here? Corey Haim does. Bloodshot. Oh! Keep your cigarette in the other hand, ash it out the window. Just one. It's so just uh, rudimentary uh, Dude, I know it's a mess. You want help or no? That'd be great if you want help. Sure, in about an hour. <laughs> to be fair, however, the Feldmans may have taken their cleanliness a little too far. Just sleep, so... You and I can be pretty anal. Anal? Clean, 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 clean. Oh, your room is a mess. Look at all that dirt. Corey, what? There's spots. Look at this. I know. Look at all this dirt. Do you see all of this? Amazing amounts of dirt. Mommy and Daddy are freaks, but Uncle Corey is okay. Now I need to vacuum. Unfortunately for Susie, it was only a matter of time before some of Haim's bad habits began to rub off on her husband. You know, I just quit smoking, and then Haim shows up on my doorstep. You know what? I do need a cigarette, dude. <laughs> I don't even need a cigarette, but you had to go and bring it up. I wish I had a cigarette this okay. big right <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to have a cigarette. I know you are. I'm trying to just psych you into it. Hey, Corey, do you know what happened to the internet? Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm smoking. He's not. Okay, so I got weak for a moment. You know, it happens to the best of us. Or a few moments. I had a few cigarettes. Whatever. 
I love can't it. deal with two people smoking, and you're supposed to be like I'm on quitting. my side. I quit. Yeah, that's just true. Did you think you weren't going to get caught? Bye bye. In an effort to prevent Feldman from falling completely off the wagon, Susie encouraged the two Corys to investigate a series of cures. Did you get it? I did. I did. I did. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <sighs> Some simple. Oh. Oh, it's too strong. Some a little unconventional. Think about your craving for cigarettes. Craving for cigarettes. Craving for cigarettes. And some a bit painful. Right in the middle of your forehead, man, like a target. That doesn't hurt, huh? Oh, it uh, does the muscles. Can I just pull that in and out a couple times? Ooh. Ah! <laughs> but none of which were successful. We tried all these different crazy things, and in the end... We ended up having, like, a spiritual talk, and... I think it brought you guys closer. You were speaking of some issues that you had between the two of you. I know that there's been things that have hurt me by you lashing out at me um, verbally, physically, because of your own demons, and uh, trying to embarrass me. Trying to make me look less than you, or trying to compete with me. And for your own knowledge, it's never been a competition because I do see you as my brother, as my friend, and I believe that we are 100% equal. You guys care about you. I love you too, man. Mm -hmm. We came out of the sweat lodge. I came out a new man, a changed man. He came out hame. Mm. Don't hate, man. Dude, don't hate. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you, bro. Will nothing work? I guess if you were going to put it on a competitive level, I won. So how much competitiveness was there between the two of you? Oh, but wait, star? Co-star. Aracia! Eat my snow, bitch! You suck at this game, by the way. Yeah, that's why I'm kicking Oh, oh goal! Oh! Yeah. Two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. 32 is all I gotta hit? That's all you gotta hit. Fast. Thanks for making it easy for me. You're already shaking like a little girl. <laughs> That's not here. Dude, you got you. Actually, your whole career's been a fluke. Let's play flukes. Shame! No, no, you're right, because I did have to work with you. I know, I stole that part in License to Drive from you in that great interview you did about me. God bless you. You mean, like, you didn't get the part in Goonies? No, they said I was too one? good looking to play mouth. <laughs> hey, they did, I swear to God, dude. I <laughs> not. Whatever they got to tell you to make you feel better, because when you're crying, when you're crying on the steps of Amblin, and Steven Spielberg's like, what's that on my shoe? What's that? It smells. Oh, it's Corey Haim. Coming up. Hain tries to find that loving feeling, and Feldman finds himself caught in the middle when sparks begin to fly between his wife and his best friend. Susie is freaking the out. It wasn't long after Corey Haim moved into Corey Feldman's house that it began to feel like 1987 all over again. Get the two of us together and we are like you know like kids like yeah like 12 year old kids come on Draco. hey hit as many people as you can no way so virtual cha 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 zippity doo doo you're turning into an extension of Corey <laughs> come on get in <laughs> I'm putting that in my wallet what time is it Susie's gonna kill this me this is your fault man for Haim, being back with Feldman did feel like old times. The only problem was that now there were two Feldmans. Oh, my God. Wow, 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 wow we're playing. Susie, Susie, go, 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 Susie. Can you feel it? Can you feel the funk? I can feel it in my head. And the battle for Feldman's attention began. All right, nice, sir. We're done. He has no boundaries. Why do you guys go everywhere with each other? Why? Why are you here? I was Yoko Ono with Nas. You guys are not John and Yoko Ono. You guys are not the Beatle people. Corey, get over it, dude. Susie's just waiting over there. She should be waiting there. I don't want her anywhere near me. What do you have to do with any of it, Suze? She's my wife. And so I anything I have to do with, she has to do it. She's not part of the Corys. She never will be. I just don't know why you're attached why, to the umbilical, man. I just want to go umbilical. Got the umbilical. It's like Susan and him and him. It's like the umbilical house, man. You know how he 
always joked with us about having this umbilical cord attached to each other. Right. Well, let's talk about where the real umbilical cord went. Hello. Mom. Hello. Mom. Hello. Oh, you're home. This is like a major thing, Mom. Huh? Mom, you're sleeping, trying to wake you up. Like I took the shower and I was just like, put the cold in the hot, and the cold in the hot, and freak my brain out. Mom, I gotta go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Too. Definitely. Keep on smiling. The beautiful smile of yours. Thanks. Okay. You rock. Uh, have a good one. Mom. <laughs> oh, his mom was able to relieve his anxieties. Haim and Susie's relationship was still tense, causing Feldman to wonder if there was a different kind of tension in the air. Let's face it, down deep, he thinks you're hot. I love you. You know, you're like my sister. You do have a great <laughs> though, sis. Oh, it's, it's just a compliment, Susan. You are the bomb. You baller. You have to his cue. <laughs> What the f is wrong with you, man? That me off, dude. You don't think I have your girl's back, man? F you. I'm afraid of you having my girl's back. Despite the obvious contradictions of Haim's behavior, the answer seemed to be pretty simple. He just needed to get I don't want to think about that. I haven't dated in a long time, sis. You're Corey f Haim, okay? man. That means you can get Do I look like I've been lately? <laughs> Feeling like a third wheel, Haim went to great lengths to find his own Susie. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Rendezvous Speed Dating. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. So what kind of lawyer are you? Criminal lawyer. Criminally insane or Batman style? Or... Can you guess what I do? I'm thinking some sort of skating. Skating? Lingerie model. Close to no. I'm not scared of you, it's just kind of freaking me out, Ying Ying. This girl, come here. What's your name? Maria. Are you single? I am. Give you my number two. You really are smoking beautiful. Can you bail for a second, man, so I can work on this? Please? No, no, I'm here for you. I'm being supportive. I'm being supportive. And it didn't take long for Haim's quest for love to interfere with the Feldman's lifestyle. We invited this Peter representative over for dinner one night. Chicks for chickens. So this is the girl that's coming over. That's her? That's her. She's cute? Yeah, she's cute, but that's not what this is about. Here, what can I say? She's a cute redhead in a yellow bathing suit, man. Even though Feldman warned Haim about how serious this dinner was for them, Haim had his own agenda. This is uh, actually a round, not a tato. Oh, wow. It's <laughs> like a round nothing. I wish I would have brought my bikini. You want to take one of these with me? If you cook for me while I'm in town, I'll come to your place. It is him crossing boundaries we should not cross. So how do we end? I'm telling him it's not cool. Okay. Okay. So how do you want me to pass this up with your wife? It's, it's, it's about this, okay? She loves you. Yeah. She loves what she cares about. And okay? That's her cause. How does this help my vacation? No, I'm on vacation. Dude, come on, man. How does this help me, dude? <laughs> how? I'm on vacation, man. <laughs> While Susie put a stop to Haim's advances, the real reason they weren't destined for love was the obvious difference in their lifestyles. This is a very recent undercover investigation. It's off the break. Oh, God. The animals go through so much, the least we can do is bear witness to what they have to endure. How many times have you seen this? I've seen it quite a few. No way. Look at that. I know, they're really cute. Oh, God. So needless to say, Haim threw a few passes that might not have necessarily been caught. And if he's not having sex, nobody is. Suze, whoa, what are you doing here? What? Hello. Open that damn door, man. God, it's open. Hi. Oh, oh my God. You don't know the value of privacy until you don't have any. Right. And thank God he flew Joe in from London right when he did. Yeah. Success! Hey, the package has arrived! Hey, how are you? Okay. Do you want to go downstairs? Sure. Do you want to go downstairs? <laughs> and it gave me a chance to finally get my revenge. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, let's talk. 
Dude. How are you guys? We're fine. Don't touch me. Uh, Definitely no, don't touch her. <laughs> I'm just giving her a good night kiss. What the f is wrong with you? If you guys get going again, just think of me. Coming up, Feldman has to break some bad news to his best friend. And the pent-up tension between oh, him and shit. Susie finally leads to an explosive confrontation. I don't know what the f is going on with you and Susie, but I'm done with it. That forces Feldman to choose between his wife and his best friend. Despite his contradictory behavior and sometimes frustrating moments, Corey Hain possessed a certain charm and a language all his own. I think they're called Hainisms. Oh, that's what we... You know, delicate. No, that's the technical term. Hamism. Shabbat. 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 Aim to please. Aim to please. Shabbat. 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 Right. Oh, yeah. But, uh, hasta lasagna. Don't get any on but Haim's charm could only take him so far as his bachelor ways continued to drive Susie crazy. Would you like to sit? Take it to him and talk to him about it. And unfortunately for Feldman, he once again had to balance his friendship with Haim and his relationship with his wife. It is so gross. Ew. Leave everything as it is and let them freaking clean it up. I'm tired of you being the maid. There's I'm no tired of being the maid. Right. And I'm tired of being the maid. Right, so... so therefore, let him be his own maid. This is just not going to work. Even when Haim tried to do something nice for the Feldmans, his penchant for chaos overshadowed his good intentions. The freaking friends are freaking shaky. Let's make him happy. Hi! Boom! What are you doing? I'm just painting. There's everywhere. You can't paint outside? You're seriously f***ed off because I'm f***ing painting in your kitchen? This is ridiculous. I was going to give you guys this because you already have one of my paintings. Sorry about the mess. I still am giving it to you guys. I think it's a very sweet thing. I'm just saying at this point, I've kind of had it. Between the two of you guys acting like little b****s, excuse me, I'm going to f***ing lose my brain. As things in the house were reaching a boiling point, The Lost Boys, the seminal Corey's film, was celebrating its 20th anniversary by holding a special screening. While this should have brought the two together, it ended up being yet another example of how different their lives had become. Will you guys please make a sequel to Lost Boys? We want to do Lost Boys too. The only way we would do it is if it was done the right way. Dude, we've got to write the sequel, man. Like, we literally got, we've got to write... I'm telling you, we should do this. There's something I need to talk to you about, dude. Sit down for a minute. What's up, kiddo? What's up? I wanted to talk to you about it before the screening because in case people asked us this question, I wanted you to be prepared. Spit it out, man. It can't be all that bad, right? They are making a sequel to Lost Boys. Are we in it? No. To no mention me, nothing in the flick. Dude, don't. You can't take it personally. It's not personal, dude. It's just about everyone in that movie. So you know when you wait like 20 years because you want to work with like people again? It was like the best experience like ever. It was just like, it's our movie. I get it. I mean, it's not our movie. It's just our movie. Dude, it was really uncomfortable no, 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 for me. The no, whole no, thing. The, the, the screening. It's all right, kid. It's fine, man. There's a future somewhere. It's just not looking really clear. But the second kid. You're a good friend. My best friend. And though Feldman supported his old friend, it became clear that their lives and careers were in very different places. I tossed the idea around about this being the movie that brings you guys back together. I'll tell you right now, Corey and I aren't interested in doing a movie together again unless we are guaranteed a theatrical. We don't want to do anything straight to You video. shouldn't do a movie if it wasn't guaranteed. Yet. I don't want to direct you guys in a movie if it's not theatrical. Don't, don't talk for me, kid. I, I Please, you're not my not agent. Us together, you can do whatever you want. I'm not doing it. If it's it, a quality so movie that's even low budget or independent that I think is a good script, but good enough for us to work on, I would work with Corey again. At this point in my career, I don't really like to do anything that's not a challenge. Uh, give me a character, I'll make it challenging for myself. And let's just get working. I'll call you in a couple days. All right. The prospect of working together again should have been a time to rejoice. But instead, it brought their simmering differences to a dramatic boil. So what do you say? Close the door. 
It's going to take a lot of development. I think he's going to have to stay here. I think it's going to take a lot more time and energy. He can't stay it. here. I didn't say he jump on me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to use jumping below light. That's just, that's wrong. What's wrong? Now you guys are in here talking more smack about me. Now I'm calling a cab. I and said he stay here. Come on. I know, that's Susan, all? I heard that very and clearly, I don't need to be here. I could leave. Guys. You no, know, this is your guys, problem, not you guys. You guys. This is your problem. But I think mean, your wife, man, like being in the middle. He can't stay here. What am I, like a germ? I don't need your attitude. Oh, because so you're don't. his wife. You could talk to me. I don't think so. I don't need your attitude. Oh, your on. wife on a f***ing leash, man. She's f***ing me off a now. Leash? Dude. Yeah. That's wife. my f***ing wife. Yeah, so what, you back her up all the f***ing time? Yes, I back her up all the f***ing because you're a child and you need somebody to train you. That right, That's what you need. We're a team, a okay? Team. Yeah, a team. Okay. You don't have a team, so you don't have to understand. Why are you such a f***ing Hey! You look. What the f***? You don't have f***ing sex You guys. You don't call my Stop. wife a f***ing You want to step? Stop. You want to step? You, guys. you want to step? I will f***ing knock you out, kid. Hey! You don't want to do this. It's not worth it. You get that, right? Stop. You know this. It's not Back worth up. it. It's Back not up. worth it. Dude, I will Kill you, you know, little mess you stop, up, dude. Stop. I don't know what the f is going on with you and Susie, but I'm done with it. Do you understand me? And that's that's it. It's f***ing over, okay? You need to go. I need my f***ing time, and she definitely needs her f***ing time. Okay, look, I'm gone. I love Corey to death. I mean, we've been in each other's lives pretty much as long as I can remember. We're brothers, we're family, we're best friends. People fight, it just happens. Will we ever work together again? Who knows? Only time will tell. But one thing can be said of these two survivors. Two Corys are always better than one. Surprise! Help me, help me. How did I get in the middle of this sandwich? <laughs> Not everyone can be as cool as you, Corey Haim. Not everyone can be as good-looking as you, Corey Haim. You know, don't hate the player. But I can try. <laughs> <laughs>who shoved charcoal down your throat to keep you alive? You shoved charcoal down my mouth? Wow. You have anything else to talk about? You call my wife a bitch? Are you kidding me? I'm not apologizing anymore. I need you to stop being selfish. Stop. Stop. It's enough, Corey. I just don't know if you have the strength to overcome your own demons. You don't know me. You haven't known me in about 15 years. I don't even know what's going to happen when I see you. All I've thought is, as soon as I see him, I'm just going to knock him out. But when I see you for the first time, and I'll look into your eyes, I'll know whether you're real or not. Nerves are like crazy right now, jittery, no expectations, which is usually a good way to go into these things. I am driving now to uh, Delhi to like talk to Corey about our future before we work together. I'm nervous. What do you want me to say? It's uh, first time I'm seeing this guy in uh, like six months. I don't know what's going to happen other than I'm going to sit down with Corey and find out what his 
conceited, controlling, freaky ass problem is, man, because I really don't have time for it. Everybody wants to know what's going to go down, what's going to happen, will we work it out? And I have no answers. Ha! Huh. So, we're here. Let's do this thing. Let's get this over with. Like it, dude. Hey, dude. How are you, man? How are you? So, where do you want to start? You are slammed. Well, you tell me. What, what do we have to do this week? A um, couple things that you're going to love. Um, Lost Boys 2. Uh, we got the theatrical. No. Everything's moving forward. No, but... It looks great. But you know who they did a deal with. The fame. And you're going to be shooting pretty soon. What do you mean I'm going to be shooting? I'm done. No. There's going to be a day of pickups. With Hank. <sighs> you guys are going to have to confront things eventually. And you may see him, and it may be a different card. I don't know, dude. But I think at some point, you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to confront him. If he could be man enough to go, dude, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I need to grow up. I need to take responsibility for my own life. And I realize that you have always been there for me when nobody else was. I don't want to fight on the set because right now I'm at that point where if he tried stupid with me, I'd just deck him. And that would be it. It'd be over with. Don't do that. First of all, is he in town? Yes. He's here. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm here. I'm home. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm freaked out. Los Angeles, California, Corey Ham. It was like uh, oil and water, and then it was like gasoline and a lit Zippo. <sighs> Home. Los Angeles is peaks and valleys for me. Because right. when I got started on drugs and stuff, I was an addict. I will be for the rest of my life, recovery recovered. This is where it all went down for me in a bad way and in a great way. You know, the girls, the limos, the premieres, the, all that stuff, I thought was like majorly like the highs. So Los Angeles represents a challenge for me, plus an adventure. That's what it is. Here we go again. Look, man, I don't know what happened to Corey, and I only know is we lost something that I think you might only find like once in a lifetime. sometimes together and then through the years that friendship became a competition on his side I never competed with him I never thought I needed to I'm doing great I've got several projects going I'm very happy I'm very pleased my wife and my my son are beautiful I couldn't be happier I have to tell you life is a lot less stressful without him around that's for sure I can imagine <laughs> I'm what you know I mean call my wife that's pretty bad man I don't even want to talk to him. I don't want to look at him. I don't even. I don't even like 
talking about him. I don't even want his name coming up. I have lost respect for him as a person. And once you've lost respect for somebody as a person, it's really hard to gain it back. Back here in LA, man, so you know what? Hey, everyone makes mistakes. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't rob a bank. And I'm just, I'm gonna pursue here and I wanna work again. I'm gonna become a working actor and do some really good stuff, you know? At least I'm gonna go for it. All they can say is no. The kid's back, baby! When I think about Corey, I feel oh. anger, sadness, and confusion. What the f happened to our friendship? What happened to my buddy? I mean, is there a reason it happened? Did I do something other than mess myself up on narcotics or whatever I was on? You know, these are the kind of things that upset me. You know, I'm human too, man. I mean, look, I hope at the end of the day, man, this kid finds his heart and he's got one still for me. You know? And I hope they're authentic friends. I really mean that. start you're not gonna like it dude i want to have this conversation i think it needs to be had i've known you for 24 years how deep do you want to get with this man honest how honest real honest hey i'm sitting right here man i came down for a reason right so did i that's what i'm just saying say it i'm saying right it to here. you and say it that's to me I'm don't send scott you say it to me don't send one of your minions okay, out, okay? i'll say it to you you cross the line with what and when and with how what mm -hmm. Gee, I don't know. In 20 there. years, in 20 years, yeah. have we ever gone to the press? Have we ever gone and f***ing talked? Have I ever, ever said you something the about press. you? I had a scheduled interview for no. a f***ing lie. Come on, talking about what I said straight? on Are you going to be honest? Because all I hear from the press anymore. and from everybody else is how much you f***ing hate God, me. So if you really f***ing hate me that much, tell me about it. I'm looking in your eyes. I'm telling you that. I said right. you're a backstabber. And you called the inquirer. And you called the inquirer. That I can honestly tell you I did not do. Are you serious? Yeah, they like said it was in a coma once. Because, dude, I'll break it out right about now. Break it out, kid. I don't have it on me, but I will. Yeah. Corey Haim called our office to do an interview. The yeah. Inquirer magazine. Ring a bell? Hi. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Thank you. Listen to me. Last year? Yeah. Don't tell me I didn't show up half hour early every morning because of you. How about me staying up with you till five o'clock in the morning? You going, I'm suicidal. I've got a knife in my pocket. And who's going to be there except for your best friend? But You're bringing up real, what, real, what are you doing? real deep things. What are you doing? So I'm going to do you the want same me to get exact deep? thing. Dude. You want me to get deep? Dude, get as deep as you want. Do you really want me to? Man. Sure. I don't think so. Because if you want me to talk Absolutely. like that, I can destroy you right now and you know it. Corey, I'm sitting and right I don't, here. I don't need to Go do ahead. that. I don't have to do that. Corey, I'd love to see you even attempt to do something like that. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you right You're now? You're an easy target, bro. I'm right here. Let's do this. I'm right here. Hit me with the hardest you got. Now, why would I want to try and hurt you? Corey, you opening up to the world about me having a knife in my pocket. And the reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up some scars I have. Because like I used to cut into myself because it's a way to feel I hear. And like mentioning that, you just can rip the envelope, man. I'll go you one better. You let me get around in my life, man. Great, so to speak. When I was about 14 and a half, and I'm saying this right now, by the guy you so hang out with, and tell me I'm 14 to take responsibility. About? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it. Besides being his best friend, what'd you do? What'd you do? F all is what you did, man. I believe Blunt I was... cocaine with me. You, you God want, bless you. You, you. Want, you want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? What'd you do? Talk to you about it. 
You talked to me about yeah, it? Yeah, sure. You told me while I was sleeping, this happened to me, this happened to me. I'm like, dude, right. you weren't sleeping? Yeah, I was sleeping. I tried to talk to you about it. Yeah. Sure. Were you sleeping? I was awake, Corey. I was very f***ing aware of what's going on with me. <sighs> so I might take this to go. Okay. Well, Would be the probably smartest thing to do. And you know what? Corey, you want to put all that on the table? Before? You want to just that? put you in the ground, kid? Yeah, okay. Really, it's not good. Me around you is detrimental for my health, man. You're really, 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 really f***ed up in your head, kid. And I really don't want to be your friend anymore. I can't. I can't. It's not that I don't want to be. I can't. Well, that's where it's at. I can't. That's where it's at. I can't. I'm gonna go. There's so much manipulation in his conversation and placing blame and deflecting and lying. I mean, you know, straight out lying to me. I mean, to my face. Oh, for f sake. Hello? Uh, Corey. Yeah. Hamster. Listen, I want to get this on the record. Dude, I did the inquire. I did do. I positively did do the inquire. I am so sorry thank you for being honest and thank you for no of course i'm going to be honest dude probably not one of my better moments well let me tell you something Corey. that was a big that was a big jumping off place because i i really didn't know where to go without you saying those words to me so thank you <laughs> thanks bro Corey. yeah man. okay Bye. Bye. he actually owned it that's big that's big maybe i just gotta calm down a lot I've been out of the business for so long, and I'm back home. You know, maybe it's just a lot for me right now. A lot, you know, and I'm going to have to learn how to deal with that. I mean, that's okay with me, you know, because I do love the kid like my brother. So it's just, uh, it is what it is, man. I'm happy about tonight. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. I'm going to see a doctor today to try to work on my problems with him. It's insane. We're going to family counseling. I'm going to go. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Uh, here we are. What happened? This is a sexual issue. If he's had my best at heart, he knew what was going on, he knew something was wrong, even at that age, why, I mean, why not tell somebody? seven years and never <laughs> yeah I'm not too excited about it quite honestly well are you gonna be open um, going into that conversation the other night I would have told you that there's not a chance in hell that he's ever gonna change that said today is a different day and there is the hope for change there is the possibility that maybe he could get his <laughs> together Hamster! Dave! Rise and shine, Bubba! Here, have a seat, man. Sorry to come. I'm going to see a doctor today to try to work on my problems with him. I just still haven't gotten everything off my chest or even quarter of it of what I want to say to him uh -huh. or have him understand. Even I said, are we friends? Have we ever been friends? He said verbatim. That's what I want to know, too. I don't know. I'm gonna go. Well, good luck. Thanks. Hey, we're going to a doctor, man. Let's start the healing here. Yo, Scott, um, 
you might want to push back that 4.30 because I'm still sitting here in the office and uh, no sign of him yet. Oh, look, there he is. What's up, All man? right, he's here. Thanks for coming. Well, this is what you wanted? No, hey. this is what I wanted for us, man. If you want to do this, I'll bail right now. I'm here, bro. I'm, not here. Down? I'm just saying. I don't know if I'm down with the doctor. I have to. Oh, hi. 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 All right. Great thing. Yes, she exists. She does exist. Yes, hello. She does Mr. Ham, Corey Ham. Hi, Corey. Hi. Uh, here we are. I really want to say that I think this is incredibly brave. How long have you guys known each other? 20 years. A little over 20 years. So, if this were your idea to be here, okay. what would you want to have happen? For me, the, the best positive outcome of all this would be uh, him getting to a place where he's comfortable and controlled and learns how to take control of his life and his destiny and his business. And uh, That's you know, sort of more about what would happen for him. What would happen for you? For me, it's all about if he's okay, I'm okay. So, I'm sorry, but that's a lot of pressure, kid. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's almost like you, you base your life on me? No, I'm not basing my life on you. I'm You're just basing okay if these I'm sessions. Okay? These sessions and okay. the purpose of us. The reason I wanted the sessions was to work on us, our friendship, not me. Okay. okay, good. Can you pick one thing that you feel so uh, wounded about? Yes, okay. I can. Okay. The controlling thing. It's its so irritating. I think you treat me like I'm, like you're, you got your shit together and you, I don't. But you're talking about him. Okay. Talk about you. I feel controlled. No. And when I feel controlled, I. Get pissed off. Because. It's so aggravating to have like, you act like you're, you got your shit together when you Why don't. Why is it so aggravating? Because I'm he doesn't even have shit together. But why isn't that just funny? It's so funny that guy's trying to get, tell me to get my While it's a little annoying when I only have not just him, but him with his wife and everybody talking all about me and my not being together. There's so, also part of me that doesn't want to slip back into where I was. Okay. Of course. So, you, so, so there, that maybe when he says that or mm -hmm. when you feel that, and I see that interaction, he mm -hmm. knows he's doing it. This is not a. I don't want to get this know. clear. Yeah. The controlling factor thing yeah. when I feel like I'm getting controlled by someone who doesn't have their own together yet is just blatantly annoying and it's a waste of my time so you know that's one of the things to start uh sure. to start looking at do you do anything with all this juice that you carry oh like hobbies and stuff well yeah, I, paint, I mean do you paint I cook. you paint um, i do because yeah. one of the things I, sure. i'd love to uh ask you to do at some point and we'll figure that out as mm -hmm. we go along but one of the things i'd love to ask you to do is to paint about the sadness not the anger the sadness paint the sadness okay so i look forward to having the three of us together again and um, very nice to meet you it was so great So, what came up for you guys uh, together and separately since the last time I saw you? What were you um, thinking about? What yeah. did you, zero. Yeah, verbally, not a, haven't spoken. We haven't Fantastic. spoken since the last time. He told me to paint my sadness. Um, I got my paints, mm -hmm. so, but I found myself sitting a little more thinking about a lot rather than, okay, forget it, I'm gonna go do something. Gotta I mean, keep myself busy, gotta well, keep, yeah. Well, fill the void. Yeah. You know, telling myself. I All gotta, the magic. Yeah happens in the void. What I was hoping is that we could talk a little bit more because I don't really know and you have to regale me with what happened. What's really going on? I had something that happened to me when I was like a little boy, whatever, and we uh, we know what happened, whatever, and it has to do with like, a, this is a sexual issue, whatever, it's not great. But anyway, I don't want to deal with the session, I just want to let you know. I brought it up and I was like, where were you for then? Did you talk to anybody? You knew what was going on. He knew something that was happening to me that if he had my back so much, 
you know, or at least well, some of our... Well, how old were you at the time? We were 14. We were both, we're well, both kids. We were, we were both 14 15, and a half. 15. If he's had my best at heart, he knew what was going on, he knew something was wrong, even at that age, well, I mean, why not tell somebody? Do you tell somebody? I have. Sure I did. At the very end, pieces, bits and pieces. Nobody still knows the full story except him. Where's the having my back as far as this really bad going on to Corey here? It needs to stop. He befriended this guy and became like best friends with him. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 I was yes. already friends with him. Right. So after you found, I know that, but after you found out what was going on with me, you guys still remained great best friends after you know what was going on okay, with me. Okay, but wait. Let's take it back for a second. The guy that was molesting me, didn't I stay friends with him too? Mike, that's your choice. It's not my no, fault. What it tells, but he's I, saying that's his pattern. What it tell, no, what it tells you is that at sure, that time... Sure, I've broken away, a, but I do find it rude that at his birthday parties where I'm introduced... At that time, is, as a 14 or 15-year-old person... I still person, think like I'm a late bloomer. You, so I didn't know f all when I was 14, 14 and a half. So for you and Susie, man, to be like, well, you should take responsibility and do it. Okay, I have, but thanks for the backup of, like, you were a kid, dude, what'd you know? Nothing. All you guys are saying to me is, man, I'll take responsibility and deal with it. It's your problem. It's your fault. No, no, I no, agree no. with that. I never said the words, it's your fault. Never said that. Buddy, never you and Susan that. absolutely said, it the is my fault, my no, responsibility. No, 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 no. Take responsibility for what fault has happened to me. It's not a fault situation. Do okay, you okay. think it's your fault? Do you think it's your fault? What's really going on? I had something that happened to me when I was like a little boy, whatever, and this is a sexual issue, whatever, it's not great. For you and Susie, man, all you guys are saying to me is, man, I'll take responsibility and deal with it. It's your problem, it's your fault. No, no. I agree no, with yeah, that. I never said the words, it's your fault. It's not a fault situation. You think okay. it's your fault? I don't believe it's your fault. You were a 14, 15 year old kid. There's no way it could have been your fault. Okay, thank you. When uh, he apologizes, you say thank you for that, and I can't tell whether you are really believing him. Because I don't know, Because uh, you don't know? Because I don't know him well enough right now to believe him or not. The two of you, uh, if you could look at this as a marriage, right. is the reason why She's the two really of you are brought together. She's really in love with together. the idea of us being... No, no, no. I, get what I you're am. Saying. We are kind of Because like I know problem. that best friends come together for very similar reasons. Because so, it is a well, marriage of It sorts. is a marriage. What's going to shift this relationship is you taking responsibility for your stuff, you taking responsibility for your stuff. Correct. I'm going to have to either accept him for who he's turned into and what he's chosen to be in life, and I think he's a great man. Deep down, I love him, and he'll always be my partner, my best friend. What do you w need to change? What do you need to bring to the party differently? <laughs> it's, a, again, acceptance, and accepting he is who he is, and it's not necessarily going to change whether I want it to or not. And I'll be honest, there's also an anger part that thinks that sometimes you manipulate things to suit your best interest and don't think about Probably how it affects sure. other people. For sure. And that, that's my biggest problem with you is like, you know, don't. If we're going to be real, if we're going to be on the straight and narrow, if we're going to be friends, mm -hmm. then shoot straight with me and I'll shoot straight with you. Okay. I think it went well. I feel like I was more honest than I've ever been. So, you know what? Everyone's right. Maybe I should start being a little more selfish and stop giving such a uh, whatever about everybody else and just start worrying about me. Because obviously there's a lot to work on. It's like, I was Corey Heyman in the 80s, this huge thing. Now it's like 2008, like 25, 26 years later. You know, it's a whole different industry. And I really don't have anyone to call in LA or anyone to hang out with. I'm just trying to adapt, live life in Hollyweird. Is Scott here yet? Is Jameson here yet? Do you know anyone? He did? I swear there's a free party. So. <laughs> free chips, anyway. Free chips? Did you say chips? Yeah. Oh. Not the kind you eat. Oh, okay. Not the kind you eat. okay. Jameson, how are you? Good to see you. I'm not. You guys, everybody mad, everybody's good. All right, good, let's go play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little music, little poker. Welcome to the new home.
It feels like I'm consistently fighting and always trying to like, I'm always very hyper about things and I've never, my dad always used to say, lay with me, watch a ball game, relax. I never learned how to relax. I could sit and weep just being with you because the wealth of pain that comes off of you is enormous. What is it like to be you? It's awful. It's empty. It's loneliness. It's just, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's, uh, it's being alone. Who the f wants to be alone? What's your greatest fear? Failing. Failing. Having to quit because there's no more doors to knock on. We always pursue that which we're most afraid of. It's insane. We're going to family counseling. What? Or better yet, <laughs> wait, wait, you, yet, you and you Corey? And Mar marriage counseling. What? Yeah. The therapist literally told us, I'm not you guys, this is true. We are having a love affair to restore our friendship. He feels that the best thing to do is to go to therapy. I, I'm actually really interested in this because I have a very similar situation to you. In yeah. a sense, I'm married, I have a wife, but I also have a twin brother that I work with, but we rub like hell. I know it sounds funny, but I've actually thought about like a couple's counseling thing because it makes sense to a certain right. degree. Yeah. Right. Here's the thing, so then I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there in therapy and I'm like, I want to help you. You know, that's what I'm here for. I've always been there to help you. And he's like, you're trying to give me advice. Your life is more messed up than mine is. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Evening breaks, turn on the lights, open your eyes and wait. There are no happy endings Only endings I was told I was a good actor for the drugs and all the crap and beggars can't be choosers but if they could be I would love to do a triple A movie or I'm back and people can acknowledge it I still love to act and trying to do things I guess the way I used to do things Way, way back, my first eight movies, you know, when everything was 20th Century Fox and Paramount, Warner Brothers. Trying to get back to that level, and by doing that, I'm starting to remember what I did in the past, which is just bloody act. Let everyone else do their jobs. If I need to make a phone call to a publicist, it's more professional for me to get somebody to call on my behalf. So I'm trying to find a personal assistant right now to help facilitate that need. Hi, my name is uh, Corey, Corey Haim. I'm actually looking at you right now on my computer. Um, nice resume. How are you? My name is Corey. Corey Haim, I'm an actor. Are you good on the computer? Like, um, you a hacker? It's not like I'm starting out. It's like I'm trying to come back, so it's not even like a kickoff. It's like a cleanup. I mean, I'd like to see you at your earliest convenience. Okay, I'm just above sunset. I'm just getting a little flustered. I've got so much I'm trying to deal with right now. At one time, it's it's insane. I need help, dude. I mean, I need I need I need an assistant. Yeah, yeah. you have anybody in mind? There's this there's this one guy who he's he's a fan. I mean, he's a fan. He seemed like a nice enough guy. He looks like Paulie Shore, no. which is kind of weird. But I mean, he completely Shore. obsessed yeah. with me and with Corey Haim. To give him two weeks, you know, to roll with you, to see what his vibe is around you. We, we give it, we give it a win, no problem. Hello. Hi, is this Jake? Jake. This is Jake. Hi, Jake. How you doing? This is Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman, the Corey Feldman. Yes, the Corey Feldman. You know, I know that we met briefly. You gave me a card that you had said that you had always wanted to work for me, and that was like a dream of yours. I hope you are prepared to serve. Uh, you know, I'm a busy guy. I got a lot of things going on. Let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Awesome, dude. I will, uh, I'll meet you in the morning. All right, later, Dad. All right, later, dude. Bye. Well, it's a little weird. Hello. 
Hi. Sorry. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Amy Bell. Amy, cool. Hi. Nice hey, to meet you. Oh. You're a teacher? I used to be a high school algebra teacher. I have a painting degree, and I'm a, a toy designer and sculptor. OK. Toy design, toy sculpting. My life is art, man. Like, have you been a personal assistant to an actor, an actress? No. You have not? No, I have okay. not. OK. Do you know what that entails, sort of, or? Hi. How are you? Corey, you do this before? No. What do you want to do? What's your goal? What's your dream? I, w I would be living in the West. That would be the that would be the perfect thing. But it's a great f answer. Yeah, right? yeah, I guess. <laughs> what the? <laughs> f How long have you been doing this? I've been trying to get into acting since 2003. Yeah, so you want to be an actor? Uh huh. I am an actor, so I'm looking for an assistant. You know what I mean? Um, do you know who I am at all? No. Well, my day's just getting weirder and weirder. Hi. How you doing? Nell? Yeah. Come on up, watch your staff, Thanks. everyone. Thank yeah. Thank you for coming over. Thank yeah. you for having me. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything for you, phone calls, faxes, emails, you know, basically letting you know what's coming in, what's going on. Book your travel, arrange the cars wherever you're going, make sure you're picked up. You know, anything, you know, that you need personally. If you're like, I ran out of razors off. or exactly. I need you to overnight this to France. My purpose is to make your life run more smoothly so you know where you're going and when you're going at what time and make sure you're getting there. As long as it's not illegal or unethical, I'll do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, this is this is actually what I really love to do. So when, know. by the way, do you think you can start? Well, I'm available as soon as tomorrow. No sh yeah. I don't want to say I blackballed myself, but I haven't really left the best reputation for myself. Which is why I'm trying to fix and repair not only me, my career, which starts with fixing me. What's stopping you? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm ashamed about a lot of things I've done. That doesn't feel too good, Doc. But I just want to be a good man. Hello? Nell. Yes. Hi, it's Corey Haim. Hi, Corey. How are you? Hi, Nell. I'm good. How you doing, baby? Asking. Good, good. Hey, I, I like need immediate assistance. Where are you? <laughs> you are the first person on like my new like in my posse, girl. You're hired. When do you um, you want me to come by tomorrow? I'm rising early these days. You want to come by at like tennish? Okay, great. I will talk to you in the morning. Okay. What's your greatest fear? Failing. Failing. Having to quit. There's no more doors to knock on. I think I need to relearn everything all over again. And do you think you have the willingness to do that? I've never been competitive with Thelman. <laughs> Excuse me. Everything turns into a competition. We've got a meeting with the casting director today. This is my first meeting and God knows how long. You're telling me that you're not going to show up That's again? That's all I'm saying. It's none of this business. When things are good, we make each other laugh more than anybody. You make me laugh more than anybody's ever made me laugh. Vice versa. But when you're fun and wanting to enjoy life, mm -hmm. You're awesome. Thank like, you. Like, one of the most fun people I've ever met. Vice versa. What's the most fun you guys have together? Because apparently you have a good relationship I underneath we're all laughing. this nonsense. Oh, we're alone. Just, when you're alone? Yeah, we're just having a cigarette together or just alone. But just do you laugh. like to do anything together? Is there something that you are Hang fond out. of doing? Uh, bullying. When's the last time you did that? The long Cause time. Because I'm going to recommend that you guys do that. Corey! Nell, is that you? That's me! Yo, girls, what's up? Hey, baby! <laughs> okay, so, a therapist... A therapist thinks it would be healthy if we do something like an outside activity. Bowling has always been like a safe zone for both of us. Mm -hmm. Would you mind getting him on the phone for me? Sure. Saying it's Corey's assistant. I mean, just a real deal on what's going on. Okay. Yeah? 
Alright. Okay. Hello? Oh, this is Mel calling for Corey Feldman. Who, who is this? This is Mel. This is, I'm calling for Corey Feldman. I've got Corey Haynes for you. Okay. Is this Corey? Yeah, who's this? This is Corey's assistant. Uh, my name is Nell. Oh, all right. How you doing? Cool. Good, good. Let me hand you over to Corey. Just one second. Corey? Yes? Bowling, activity, outside, shrink, suggestion. I'm going forward with it. You? So are you good, like, 530? Absolutely, dude. By the way, Nell's my assistant, man, so be nice. You're right, no. I'm not going to ask anything about your... Thank you. We'll get to that point, and I'll tell you everything. You're not going to have to ask. Bye, Corey. He had his assistant call me. He has an assistant? Apparently. And having his assistant call you is so Hollywood. Everything turns into a competition. Everything. Everything, everything, everything. It's assistance. side is a lot of competitive nature and what about your side not at all you know you don't feel competitive not at all okay at all. do you agree with that not at all i'm not sharing a ball with you man i don't know where your hand's been I'm serious about that man <laughs> Ew. <coughs> excuse me Strike. It means you have a little love for me, man. Yeah, just a little. All you need is a strike. No pressure. It's about how you feel about me, your love. I've never been competitive with Feldman. But you do compare yourself. Comparison is different than competitive. It is, but the comparing isn't good either. It's not helpful to you. This guy's name was Corey Feldman. He really kind of smelled it. <laughs> that I totally blew it. I choked. <laughs> no, let me do that. <laughs> I get a better grip. Hi. Bye. Which one are you, Feldman? Yeah. OK. Thanks. Bye. Listen, let's like go home to your family and let's not like overkill this. I think this was a good stepping stone. And I'm sure we're gonna have to like spend a whole day with each other soon, which is good. I'm not trying to roll my eyes and be like, oh, but I'm sure she's gonna have us like on Lost Boys too. It's coming up. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'll let you know. Oh, okay, so you're know. not doing it then? I'm not saying anything right now. Because I need to know, because we have some reshoots me. next week. about your reshoots. Listen, Warner Brothers. I can't can do my reshoots if you're not there, bro. He started acting like a manager again, or an agent just asking business questions. It wasn't even a question, it was more of a statement. I'll see you on the set next week. Telling me that you're not gonna show up That's again? That's what I'm saying, listen to me. It's none of his business. Well, I'm sorry, but the root of my side of the issue with our friendship is you're not responsible. You listening? I'm trying. If there's a part for me, and they want me to do it, and I'm on set, you'll see me on set. Dude, there's a part. They want you in the movie. Yeah, Come on. Knows. But if there is, I'll see you on set. Stop trying to give me advice. Stop trying to tell me how to be. Stop trying to tell me what I need to do. Dude, the reason we're in therapy is because I think you're controlling over me and my career is one of the reasons I'm in therapy with you. But I have to stop worrying about him and just worrying about me. I don't want to be controlled by this man anymore. What is making you so angry? I might be con more more confused than I think angry about okay. a lot of things. Okay. What do you well, think I mean, you're most confused about? Being back in LA. What the f am I doing here? You have an opportunity to change your life. Mm. 
So talk to me now. What's going on for today? We've got a meeting with the casting director today. She's awesome. Makes me nervous. No, you know what? You don't have to be nervous. She's really excited to see you. She's got some really good stuff to tell you about. So it's going to be great. Uh, I talked to a friend of a friend who's a casting director, and she actually wants to meet him. And um, she's actually got a project that she wants to talk to him about. I don't know what it is, but anything that I can utilize to connect Corey, you know, I will definitely do my best to do that. Well, I don't know that it's an audition. I think you're probably just going to go in she, and, you know, just meet. chat, you know, general me. And uh, I'm paranoid by nature myself. But yes, well, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> you have smokes. nothing to be worried about. Jay. Hey, what are you doing, man? Drake. Jay, what's up, bro? Pleasure, man. Good Pleasure, to see man. You. A lot about you, man. I'm Jake Perry, 25 years old, Scorpio. I've been a Feldman fan my whole life, and he hired me to be his assistant, so it should be fun. Here he is. Hey. Hey. my man, what's happening? What's that t-shirt? This is a license to drive thing I got going on. I love all of his moves. I love, you know, Meatballs 4, Dream a Little Dream, Voodoo. It's a classic. Is that Born Bad up yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, good job. Nice. Wow, yeah. wow. It's a mullet you had. You got to get that back. <laughs> that, was, that was what was happening right there. Oh, really? Yeah. This is awesome. Thanks. Yeah, you did, that, did that. A fan? Yeah, back in 90s. Nice. Yeah. Did they get the, the zit that you always had when your nose is up there? <laughs> um, he's a good kid. A little wacky, funny, but the big question is, is he going to be able to let go of the whole fan thing? I mean, not to discourage you, we could maybe change his shirt. Yeah, I can yeah. do that. OK, cool. Actually, if you want to use the bathroom in my office, that's All right. Fine. There's another Let's one do down the hall thing. here. Yeah. I'm just going to sit on the toilet seat because he sat on it. Hold on. Just because just he did. It's going to. OK. <laughs> Much better. You feel more comfortable now? Yeah, I, yeah I, that shirt's too tight on the armpits and stuff anyway. Yeah. You've seen The Office. This is where you're going to be spending most of your time. It's like, you don't even understand how dedicated I am. You know, I'll get Feldman's name tattooed on me if I have to. Look at this place, dude. Awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. OK. Oh, my God. You can make anything happen. Everything is at your fingertips. And this kid right here is living proof. He's dreamed of this day his whole life and now we're making it a reality. And now it's once you get yourself into that position, where do you take it from there? Is this the underwear drawer? There's lube in there. <laughs> Seriously, there's lube in what there. What are you doing? You're killing me. What? So tell me a little bit about, because I don't know about, your separate careers. How's that worked for you? What's your separate career? In like? the last 10 years, not great, because I have made great. And how are you feeling about your career? Quite well. Good. I have about seven or eight shows that are in development right now with different networks, Great. studios. Great. Um, we're doing some stuff with Disney, okay. Warner Brothers, like kind of all over the place. Um, and getting ready to direct another film. Um, we're going to be in a pitch meeting for the next hour. So <clears throat> this is a presentation. It's a presentation for Celebrity Road Trip. Right. Hi. Hi How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to Come see on you. In. How's everything? Good. Hi. Good to see you. Come on in. They're really excited about the idea. They love Corey, and they love everything he has to offer. So. Good. Do they know that Corey is a producer, not a talent? Right? Yes. Okay. They know that Corey is just, you know, wants to produce and be the background guy, and this is your idea, and we're going to use all of your contacts. Okay. Um, they're going to ask you, you know, it's, it's a talent-based show, and most of these people are your friends, so I'm sure they're going to ask you who you think you can get and who you've approached already, so mm -hmm. we should talk about, you know, those ideas. Okay. So do you think Haim would be at all interested in doing anything for the show, or...? My business is doing fine. I don't need him for business. I don't need him to be the guy on screen with me. I just don't need that. You know, we're thinking even something like if Corey Haim was to do the show, having them go to a DMV and having the employees um, reenact a scene from License to Drive. This is my first meeting in God knows how long, real, real meeting. I'm scared. My confidence is nil to nil. 
Okay, remember, Carrie Payton, you ready to go? Oh, I'm ready to meet Carrie Payton. You're ready to go. There you go. Try on, let's see. Okay, good, good, you ready to go? I got your keys. You ready? Here we go. You ready? You can do this, just breathe deep. I will. Breathe deep. Two more. Two more. Okay, Carrie. Nice Gordy. to meet you. Come nice on. Nice to meet you. Um, Thanks for seeing me. Yeah, absolutely. How are you doing? I'm good. So what do you need? What do I need? <laughs> yeah, what do you need? Well, what we all need. I need to work. What you should be open to, and I don't know if you're not open to this, is um, like doing independence. Sure. You know, as long as the material is good. And sure. then and then if Fun. you, and it, by showing up and bringing it, you then everyone, bridges. then the buzz gets out yeah. that, that you're serious. Bridges. Yeah, and you want to start working again. Yes, ma'am. I have one that's ready right now that okay. is written by Michael Tabb. He did an animated short. Okay. And so he needs voices. The, the role that you would be looking at is Daryl. It's basically a bad a bad boy kid. What made you think of me? Um, because I need a, a, a bad boy. <laughs> oh, that's okay, that's okay, I get that, I get that. It's bad to say, but no, no, no and, no, and also you got a good voice, it's, too. Thank you. I thought you'd be perfect for it. Is Corey Feldman not in this, correct? No. I'm gonna say yes right now. Yes. 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 I cannot believe I just got my first job. I'm stoked. This is just a great moment in my life. I told you it was gonna be fine. Everybody loves you. You just need to calm, breathe. See, the point is, is that if people don't know you, they may not love you, but the minute they meet you, they love you. That's how it happens. I just got a job. You just got a job. An opportunity is what she gave me. She gave me an opportunity, respect, and trust that right there tells me I'm doing something correct within myself. That's a good feeling. What are you most sad about? I don't know, Doc. Not yes, really you sad. do. There's a lot of people I need to really honestly like go, yo, um, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, or make amends. So, there it is. What do I do? Well, the first thing you do is you want to make a list. Well, first of, off, do you think it's a good idea? I think it's an, I think it's an essential idea. I think well, it's an essential idea. Well, because you are full of garbage. You are full of toxins. I know that. And we have to start getting some of these out. And we can't do that until you start facing your life so you want to make a list and you want to put everyone on the list i mean rigorously i have a long list doc i bet you do nails yeah i don't know what to do about what but saying i'm sorry to everybody all right, okay, I'm gonna make a list right. of who I should, I, who I feel like I need to make amends to, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. First of all, Todd Bridges, Alyssa Milano, Winona Ryder. Okay. Um, Nicole Egger. Basically, if you just wanna put every one of my ex-girlfriends. All right, all exes. Who else? Joel Schumacher, Scott. Oh, real quick, my brother. I don't know, probably Richard Donner, my cousins. Okay, other people I need to apologize to. I can't get in touch with my ex fiance. I'd like to apologize to her for being high all the time. All right, Mom. All right. That's going to suck. Dad. All right. But remember, can you put near that? Dad owes me an apology. And the biggest one, I have a lot more nails, but I think like the biggest person, the biggest. I hate this. It's going to be Feldman and his wife. This sucks, and I hate to say this. I have to apologize to Susie. I don't have to, but I want to. Okay. Why are you such a f Hey! Watch it, dude! Jim, look. What the f who yeah. not? That sounds like a good choice. You know what, listen, I'm gonna invite them over for dinner. Okay. But Susie, I need to somehow, some way, thoroughly apologize to.
here you've got a photo shoot. Rachel's got a photo shoot. Well, it's for us. A photographer that's going to take some pictures of her. We need headshots for her. Yeah. We need bikini shots with her. We need pictures of her. I get it. I, okay. no I want pictures of her. So that's what's being set up. Okay. You need more pictures. Yeah. yeah. I need more pictures. Nice. That's really nice. Labeled yours as a star. Susie, you put a heart on yours. No hard ons for Susie. Got it. Nice. There you go. That's good. Oh, I hate the way I look lately. Oh. <laughs> Susie, you're doing great. It's really great. That's nice. Fantastic. Beautiful. There you go. Nice. Look at that. We got the nice low. The low one here. Nice. That's really yeah. hot. Like, even if you cropped it, yeah. it would go, like, back? Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's kind of about the crop in my pants. Look at those. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at my tact. Um, anyway, let's talk about variety, okay? Uh-huh. When I got done doing Lost Boys. Yeah. And I got... Started to get messed up and all that. Yeah. Okay, we had a producer on there, Harvey Bernhardt. Uh -huh. He said, kid, if you want to apologize to everybody, at once your easiest way is doing the variety or Hollywood Reporter variety. It's on every agent's desk at like 7, 8 in the morning. So he's saying what, like put an ad in the variety? He's saying I'm sorry for my actions being late on set and all that stuff. Now I can't exactly go to like everybody's office and say, hey, I want to say I'm sorry for like being stoned back when I'm like burning you on set. Right. What would be an example of a kind of apology you need to make? Like, I'm really sorry that I was on drugs and I, like, didn't see you with my clear eyes I see you with now, and I, it was high, Doc. It's embarrassing, man. When we're deep in our addiction, we do a lot of things that when we look back on them, we're not so happy about. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to own up to it and man up and apologize to or make amends, excuse me, to whom I need to. I want to definitely put in there like I'm not doing this for a job. I just want to reach everyone at one time. Okay. Hey, can you put this is not a stunt? Yeah. I just want to make amends. I just want to say I'm sorry. You know, Craig, we all have wreckage. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does things they regret. But the bottom line is if you can actually change and move forward from that. People respect that. Then I think we should do it. Okay. Variety. Okay, I'll call. Okay. Thanks, Nose. I'm sure. Scott, how are ya? You just... seen the variety today? I have not seen today's variety, no. You may want to uh, get me copy right away. Well, and I can't get, I can't get, I can't get... Check out variety. An ad? Yup. What kind of an ad? Ad Jacob copy. And I can do it right away. Oh, is this the variety? This is not a stun, I'm back. Well, it's a good publicity stunt. Yeah. I think it's a terrible idea. Views. This is your article alone. 16,528. This is what it's coming to. Panhandling and variety. How the mighty have fallen. This is so not what I wanted, man. So, I just sent Jake out to get me today's variety because apparently there's some kind of like ad or something from Corey Haim. I don't know if he mentions me or us or ad. what it is exactly. What do you mean an ad? I have no idea. Corey. Hello. Corey. Scott. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I want to show you something. Oh, is this the variety? Mm. The article came out today. How? The ad. Well, so it's supposed to come out tomorrow, no? No, no, no. 
So this is real. You didn't just make this up at your house. Oh. Variety. Okay. okay. Oh no way. That's a great picture. Wow. This is not, not a stunt. stunt. I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm ready to work. work. I'm, I'm ready to make amends. Was a good idea. I don't think anything's ever too late. It's what they told us like 20 years too late, 15 years too late. It's just I needed to apologize, man. I don't think making amends is ever too late. What? Well, it's a good publicity stunt. I mean, uh... This is not a stunt. Well, right. Aside from the obvious stunt part of it, it's not a stunt. This is not a stunt. I'm back. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to make amends. Good job. So... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you know, I I am I am just flabbergasted. I have, I don't know what to say. Listen, I, I don't get it. I think it's a terrible idea. I think you want people to take you seriously. I think it's a terrible idea. By the way, when do you think I should have the Felmans over for dinner? Well, we can come and find out when they're available next. Would you mind calling for me though? I'll get him on the phone for you so you can talk to him, okay? I actually don't want to talk to him because this is the way he would do this with me. Not to be like a little actor head, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to do that. But well, I then if you're want... not trying to do that, then just talk to him when I hand you the phone. I just think he's been doing this to me for years, you know what I mean? You have the choice as to whether or not you want to be bigger than that. It's not tit for tat. I mean, yeah, of course I'll speak to him now. Hello? Hey, it's Corey. Hi. Hi. Oh, no, it's all good. We were, your ears must be ringing. We were just talking about you. Uh-oh. Yeah, my ears are always ringing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's going on? I was calling because I wanted to invite you and Corey. It was over for dinner, um, tomorrow night. At, at, at your place? Are you making dinner? Uh, I can either make dinner or there's a place you'd like to meet a person from. Whatever, yeah. I'd like to make dinner, though, all vegan style. Yeah, that would be interesting. You know, the tables are turned and now I can insult your food. Sure. Sure. I'm just kidding. Is um seven o'clock all right for you? I'm fine. Yeah? It's all good. It's all good. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to Corey and then when you call me and we'll talk about it. I look forward to seeing you actually. Well, that actually sounds like fun. And uh, you know, we'll get a chance to chat and love to see your new place. All right, so I love ya. Love you too. Okay. Bye. Okay. She's a little too nice, wasn't she? I'm thinking, like, it's a nice gesture to invite us over for dinner. A little awkward at this very moment. I haven't spoken to him or seen him. And Maybe it was Mark's... really awkward for him, too. It may have been. It might have been really tough for him to make that call. But I feel really bad because I'm sitting here saying that he's pathetic, and then he calls and over, uh, invites us over for dinner. And doesn't that make you feel bad? Part of the well, master does. manipulation. I go through this with him on a daily basis. Every time I we do. walk into therapy. No. I cannot stand the guy. I don't want to spend another minute with him. He's a manipulator. He's a liar. And he's and he's done awful things to us. And then suddenly I am sucked back into it. And I find myself sitting there in therapy going, I love you, man. Right, what are we looking at here? We're looking at defamer.com. Yes, ma'am. Today's most discussed stories are Corey Haim is back, ready to make amends. Yeah. Views. This is your article alone. 16,528. Now let's see. There's People can comment about it, so let's see what they say. This is so sad. I'm a 23-year-old who went through a Corey Haim period. He was so cute. Agreed. Haim had it and let it slip away. Or was that Feldman just sucking it out of him? Feldman sucked it. Corey, I'm a big fan of yours and wish you nothing but the best. I hope you get your comeback. Everyone deserves a second chance. I okay. cannot believe this. Oh, this is great. Listen to this. My BFF and I rented Dream a Little Dream so often that Hollywood Video gave us the tape. <laughs> oh welcome, gosh. welcome back, Corey Haim. I promise to love you forever and ever in eighth grade, and I'm a girl who keeps her word. Is this normal? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got an opinion, sweetheart. Uh, Corey, oh man. Sorry, I had in the paper and I'm pulling for you, buddy. Keep your head up, Corey. People actually give a Go down. I saw a couple of not. I don't know. There's one. Great, what actor should, all right. 
Actors should come with expiration dates. Corey and Best, if used before 1995, this is what it's coming to. Panhandling and variety, how the mighty have fallen. Sorry, Corey, you can dream your little dream, but the reality is you're just a lost boy. It's been 18 years since I was 11, and perhaps 18 years since Corey was cool. A little desperate? No, don't you think? A variation of the will work for food. Sorry. I can't make anyone like me now. I mean, look, this just makes me sad. All right, ready to work? Good. Start with aisle 14 and work your way to the other side of the store. The mop is the back room. Everybody's got an opinion. That's fine. No, no, you're right. This is so not what I wanted, man. Just wanted to say I am sorry. But seriously, it's like, I know I'm not supposed to take it personally and all that. How can I, I'm a person. How can I not? It's about me. People are sitting in the bad. If they don't like me, why even type anything? Why even read my article? Why type in the bad shit? Why? Leave it alone. So what kind of a week did you have? I had an interesting week. I mean, it was good for the most part. It's just been a little stressful. Um, Corey and I took your advice. We went bowling. Yeah. Then he surprisingly, out of nowhere, called Susie and invited us to dinner to his house tomorrow night. Oh. So we said, of course, we'll, we'll come by, say hi, have some dinner, see how it goes. And you feel about that? Suspicious. Yes, suspicious. <laughs> That's what you look suspicious like. Suspicious is a good answer, yeah. yeah. All right. So. We need pasta. Right, but is there anything like vegetarian in here we can get? Here we go, look, vegetarian, here we go, okay. I need to see if they have any fake meat. I can't have anything that's even made with any animal, anything. She already made that apparently very clear to me on the phone. We need veggies. And zucchini, tomatoes. Yeah, you can juggle. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Tell me something about juggle. Multi-talented. <laughs> I'll buy them, sorry. It's an awkward. It's going to be uncomfortable. Is this the first time that he and Susie are going to see each other? Uh -huh. Correct. And so what do you anticipate about that? It will probably mostly go well, and there'll probably be some very uncomfortable moments. Right. Why don't we just get them some spam and call it a day? Yeah, no, no spam. Just a joke. Is there anything else that you want? No, some Advil before I have dinner with Corey and his wife. And uh, how will Susie like to handle <laughs> She that? hasn't been going to therapy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how will she like This is a fresh can of worms. I know. You really think I should be getting Susie's flowers? Yes, I think it's a nice gesture. I think it's a little overboard and too much like I'm kissing your ass. Well, you're not buying her a diamond ring. They will die. They won't last forever, trust me. How do you think she'll handle it? If old feelings come up or old things come up, she can easily be prodded into an aggressive discussion. So I'm going to go outside and smoke a cigarette. Is what? the truth is that you're just worried about this? No, I didn't like your little insult yesterday already on the phone. Now I can insult your food. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. This is going to be beautiful, okay? Well, I hope it goes well. Thanks. and uh, Or badly, I guess. We'll, <laughs> either way, we'll be talking either about way, it soon. Either way, we'll have something to yeah, talk about. Yeah, we sure will. Yeah. We sure will. So car, it's got uh, two foreign-looking salads, candles. Done. I feel like I'm doing a scene from Lost Boys. <laughs> What's up, bro? Look at this. Look at the view. Look at this, buddy. Thanks for coming Hi. over. Thanks for having Hi. us. Wow, this is nice. Good you. Thank you. Gorgeous. Come on in. It's 
really nice to see you guys, you know that? It's nice to see you, it's too. It's really nice to see you guys, actually. I still don't know if you're real people, but it's nice to see you. We're not. We're actually mannequins. Well, I'm a hologram of myself. Shut up. It was a joke. We're 3D, actually. <laughs> anyway, I put something out in the variety. I saw it. So what'd you think? Honestly, now that I'm looking at you, what did you think? Thought look it was at good. me. What'd you think? I thought you looked good. I thought it was fine. But, but. No, there's no but. I okay. thought you looked good. Thank you. You know, it's a, it's a ballsy move. I'm not sure that I would have done it. Do you know why um, I did that? Um, because you wanted work. No, because I wanted to just say I'm sorry, man, to everybody I've burnt in the industry, dude. I mean that. When I looked at it, yeah. I didn't know your intentions behind it were for Amen. an amend. Just like a strictly apology. So you and I, how are we? Because we ended really bad, too. Yeah. How are we well, doing? Where are we? We are at, I am at a place of letting go. I'm not going to forget anything, because I don't okay. forget things. Fair enough. It's been a while since then, and we can work at all being friends again. Just got to have to work on it. That's all. And if you show Develop me that you're it. ready <laughs> to, like, do your part again, then I am ready to listen and, and ready to do my part, too. And having us over for dinner on That's a very a nice, over. positive, friendly level, it shows me that. I love you guys. You guys are my family, and I've known you all my life. And if anything, we're on the road to repair, right? Mm -hmm. We're not on the road to destruction. Yeah. Right. This is all a good thing. It's all very it good. good. So first of all, I want to say I'm sorry to you guys, like, and I also, I don't want to fight with you guys anymore, man. I want to, like, make amends. I see, I just want to make sure we're going to be okay, man. Well, it's progress, not perfection. Remember no. that. As long as everybody's trying, I, I think that it'll be fine. Definitely. The nice. family. Good toast. Of for always, always. Family. Family. Sure. I love you guys very much. Thank you. A little hug. Oh, I, miss. <laughs> I miss you guys, man. This is like, what happened to us, dude? This is ridiculous. Just, uh, don't touch her. Aw, Susie. You are that bad. <laughs> no hug. I love you guys. I love you too. Lost Boys 2. With him. Mm -hmm. Lost Boys 2 is coming up. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'll let you know. It's none of his f***ing business. There's a lot of people I need to really honestly like go, yo, I'm sorry. I'm going to the one that's inviting you. Cores over for dinner. How are we? Because we ended really f***ing. I'm, bad too. I'm not gonna forget. Just gonna have to work on it. And having us over for dinner on a very nice, positive, friendly level, and we can work at all being friends again. I love Corey Feldman. We'll always have a special something. We were inseparable. Movie, 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 movie. When we're on screen together, there's no stopping us. Lost Boys, License to Drive. What happened to that? Our friendship is broken. That's your problem, man. I just don't know if you have the strength to overcome your own demons. I would love nothing more than say, yeah, we're back. I hope we become friends again. You want that back, too. Come on, man. We're two Corys. It was a good dinner. I mean, it was I know a great dinner. I'm, mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I'm happy. I, I'm, there's hope, I think. I mean, you don't know how long I've wanted this. How long, like... I wanted the idea or even the feeling that like there is hope that we actually could be friends again. Mm -hmm. I'm actually excited about working on Lost Boys 2 with him now. I know. He must be so excited too. Yeah. I mean, I think he's nervous about it. I don't know. It's interesting because it's like there's so much positivity that could come as a result of this. Right. I hope he's smart in the Lost Boys, man. Or if he messes up on that. Hi. <laughs> now, did you guys have dinner together? We did have dinner together. And how was that? I think it went really good, man. I'm happy you guys came over once again. Thank you. Yeah. It was nice to see you guys. It was nice. It was, it was nice. nice. And it felt like old days, but making new days. It good. was wonderful, actually. I had, like, my friend back. Great. Okay. What did you learn from so the dinner? So we accomplished them. There you go. 
Corey has been unbelievably centered and grounded, and he was quite hospitable, honest, open, all the things that you would expect out of a real friend. Oh, thanks, man. And how did that impact you? Susie and I were both blown away by it. And then followed it up um, the next day, but the very first thing he did was come up to me in the parking lot of this meeting with the director, and, and he looks at me and he goes, I just want you to know I am really, really sorry for everything that I have done to you because you are a good man and I'm really proud of you and I feel like a piece of shit for the things that I've done and said against you over the last year or whatever. Was that before or after I was bawling my eyes out to you? And then he started crying. I basically just observed without trying to observe. It's just, he is a wonderful man. He's a wonderful husband. He's a wonderful father. I'm not saying we're never going to fight again, and I agree with everything. It's just we're on a really good path right this second, Doc. That's fantastic. Yeah, so the cool. fact that you guys are having a love fest now <laughs> is, is real. It's not made up. It's not made up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can we do so, it like this? So, okay, I'm scared so there's no, there's no side <laughs> conversation Ew. that's negative. There's none of that. Okay. Not at the moment. Here's the thing I can't quite wrap my just heart it. around. What? It's hard to imagine that you have gone from the level of acrimony you've been exhibiting the last couple of times we've been together to this level of camaraderie and it's a free-for-all love affair and well, okay. I mean, it's hard I'll, to imagine. I'll, I'll speak to that. First of all, um, we've been friends for 20 years. More. You know, and I know for a fact that he is internally dealing with shit, that he is not internally dealt with to this point. Okay. Did this apology the other day feel different than other apologies you've gotten? It's all about the action. Apologizing is one thing because it's easy to say words. When I saw tears in his eyes, that's action. That's something that's hitting him on an emotional level, which shows me that he is processing this. Good. Where did they come from? Nothing. No, it's probably the night before. I just spent some time with Corey and I just going the next day and meeting Corey after 20 years to do something we love, Lost Boys, you know, duh. You did Lost Boys too? No, no, I met for the oh, you met. interview with the director at a Jerry's Deli somewhere. And with you? You with were there? Corey was there and oh. was kind enough to show his support. At so the would you say that that's going to be a successful venture for the two of you? Are you going to do that? Are you going to do We're going to do too? it. I think, I mean, as long as he's still planning to do it. Are I you planning to do it? You know. I think I'm planning on doing it, yes ma'am. Lost Boys 2, 20 years later. So, yo, we need a compadre after all that sh you pulled on me, man. You gotta hear me out. I mean, I feel you owe me that much, mother What you do, Corey? 20 years later, dude. You could do this, you could do this. Breathe, dog. Breathe, breathe, breathe. No way I'm sleeping tonight. Did you look at your dialogue? Yeah, let's run it. Go. One line right there. Is it me or are these lines a little weird? I f***ed up my character. What is going on with you? Okay. You do not look like a sober man. But do me a favor. Don't f***ing sit there and accuse me of being on drugs. I'm not, okay? This is such f***ing... I'm watching my best friend self-destruct when you've got it all right here. Why? Actually, pretty, actually, not yet, yeah. All right, so if you don't mind looking up, I'm gonna give you a little bit of color underneath your eyes. Corey, this is your Thank you. I'm loving this chocolate espresso I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna film Lost Boys too, acting like I'm on, what is that, well, besides crack, like Ritalin or whatever. <laughs> Partner, 
What's up, man? <laughs> how are you? Ah, what's up, 20 years? How you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right. Hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you, too. How you feeling? <sighs> feeling good. And his family this morning. What? How's your family this morning? Oh, good. Oh, good. Couldn't understand you. Did you look at your dialogue? Yeah, let's run it. Go. Action. Let's give it a shot. What's the fun line right there? Because this is what I'm... What, what's the line right there? Easy compadre. Right, look. Easy compadre. That's... Is that me or you? All right, let's go to the other scene, Corey. Oh, Oh, I love you. Love you too. All right. So I think everything's okay. <laughs> Where are we? No way! <laughs> 20 years later. It's crazy, man. All right, Corey, this is our uh, momentous Yeah, this is it right here, dude. This is it. The three of us back together. Set of Lost Boys. Here we go. It 20 years later happened. and okay. since. All right, let's go get this thing. Are you, I thought you, you come, yeah, come on. I'll take a look for Game you. Game love you. I'll see you soon. Love you, too. <laughs> <laughs>My first line, sir, sorry, after he says, why don't you take it easy? Uh, why don't you just... Sorry, sir, my bad. Thank you. Why is it every time I work a film and I get f***ed? So how do I stop this right now? You got upset. Because the rehearsal sucks. Look at this as the opportunity that you're about to step into. Concern yourself with Corey Hayman. Then I'm gonna do what I need to do on set. What you need to do. 135 to Apple, take five. Ready? Come on, compadre, what's wrong with you? No, oh, there's a, uh... Sorry, sir, my bad. Here's a, uh... I'm sorry, name, sir? So, I heard, uh... I heard a couple, uh... Sorry, I'm gonna forget the name till I die. Sorry? Is it me or are these lines a little weird? All right, sir! Go to the restroom, sir. There. Whenever you're ready, they're ready for you back here. Great, thank you. So now I'm here, and I just like I want to, and I f***ed up my character. F***ed it up, man. There's Hello. Hi, I've got a ride for you whenever you're Hi, thanks. Can I... Yeah, I don't want a close-up, to be honest with you. Can, do you have a cigarette, by That's chance? Fun. I need a cigarette. We're losing light, man. I understand that. Can we have this conversation? I'm having, I need a creative discussion about what's going on here. Look, Corey, we don't have time for this, all right? Let's just bang this out in 30 minutes. You're not listening to me. This is my character and my reputation. No, this is a Warner Brothers own character. Look, if we don't get this shot, the shoot is over, and we're done. Thank you. Do me a favor. Don't tell me what to do. Can I just have a cigarette, please, so I can just take a two-minute break? Every bridge I had with Warner Brothers video. You know what? It, nothing is irrevocable. You know what? You have the power to change it. It's done. Hi. Have you seen him? Barely. No drama. What are you doing? I can't even put it into words. I have no idea what the he's doing. Like massive massive meltdown i cannot believe that this is happening my black bag do you know where it is no. i need it oh can you grab it to make up okay. Today is a different day. 
I don't know. Well, it's, you know, it really shouldn't be on a, you know, maybe today, maybe not today basis. When I mean, it's one day at a time. When you're a drug addict, it could be any today day. Today would be a really bad day to pick. I want to run this scene. We are so tight with it. That's what I'm saying. So let's just keep going. If and this is a giant opportunity for him. He has a lot of potential if he keeps his together. <laughs> Sorry, I need to... Dude, it's not my fault. That's a mental block. It happens. That's what happens when you don't care. You don't try. Hey, you really think? Uh, whatever the line. What's my line, sir? I'm sorry. If a single pill has ruined his life, he's ruined every relationship, his career, his life, his health, his teeth, everything from one pill. Mental block. After all the cold, man. Oh, man, you really think we're not... What's the line, sir? I'm freaking out. No worries, no worries. No, no, no. What's the line? What, what is it? There's no line for him. So this don't feel it. sorry for that. Really? Don't feel sorry for that. I'm f***ing off this. Um, you're going to ride with us? Gee, you guys are saying you're riding in my homie. I, guess. I don't want to do it in my homie. Okay. Okay. Sir, I'd really like to wrap out, man. I don't want to talk about this right anymore. So you need to tell me what's going on. The four guys on my window trying to tell me not to drive home, and I'll ask you why. Am I stoned? Am I drunk? I don't drink. I'm not stoned. It's our you observation know? and our responsibility is to make sure you get home safely. Don't tell me you're going to put cameras on me disrespect me. I don't need this. I work. I make money. I rap. When I'm rapped, that's my time. I'm done. Have a good good. Yeah, you too. No. I didn't hurt anybody. Myself. How are you feeling today? Devastated. Mm. All day yesterday was unbelievable. We were closing you out. Doc? That's a little bit I don't know. crazy. Hello. Hey! Hi. Hi. Uh, so, rumor has it that you guys did The Lost Boys yesterday. No rumor. Truth. How'd that go? I wasn't happy at all. Why is that? I thought my performance sucked. I felt a f***ing horrendously bad job. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I just didn't feel like I used to feel. So, What was your experience means. of yesterday? My experience uh, was horrific. And I don't know what brought Corey to where he was at yesterday. That's because I had a mental block and you told me you've had them before? I have had them. I haven't had them. But that wasn't a mental block, Corey. Okay, so what, what are you calling it? All I know is that you came in yesterday and you were not yourself. So you're going to go automatically right to drugs? Or I didn't go to I'm, anything. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm asking. I think that you couldn't handle the pressure and I think you melted down. Listen to me. So, I was really concerned about you the other day when why? we met. And you looked really restless. You looked like you were doing drugs to me. You look Thanks. now like you're you're not completely here. What is going on with you? That's a really great way to ease somebody into a session after I've met you three times. Okay, I'm going to tell you something, and I haven't said this before because so, I don't. You're the I, I person that accused okay. me of being drunk okay. by something. Let me tell you something. Sick of it. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a recovered addict myself. I was stoned for a lot of years. There is nothing you can tell me you've done that I haven't done myself worse. Right. Okay. I you do not look like a sober man. You know what? I take something sometimes if I need to chill and it's prescribed and it's just once in like a blue moon. So um, I took an extra that just kind of keeps me calm and it didn't really even keep me calm. I was hyper. I was freaked out. Right. Okay. That's all. And you're saying that's because you had pressure and that because you weren't prepared? I'm not saying it's Were you anything. prepared? Was that, I memorized my, not my lines out the night before. I couldn't remember uh, one particular scene for some reason. It was like a brain tongue twister. I've worked with you my whole life. Right. I've never, ever seen you do what you did yesterday. I don't understand what the f*** is going on. I'm really hurt, dude. Why? Because I'm watching my best friend self-destruct when you've got it all right here. Why? Self-destruct in what way? 
I don't know, having everybody on the set pissed off at you, having Warner Brothers embarrassed by it, having me embarrassed by it. What the f dude? I've been saying I didn't I want love to you, do man. this I'm a friend for so long. Then you should hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, 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 no. You hold it for a second. This is such a long You have not been saying like that. This. You've been saying you. you want your career back. That's it. Right. You've been saying you, this and you had an opportunity movie, to get your career I've back. I've been saying I've been lied to about Why it. I didn't could you want to not do it hold that hours. line? Why could you not I don't know. Line? I had a mental block. I talked to Corey, Corey about it. Corey, you had drugs know. in your system, Corey. Well, doc, do me a favor. Don't f sit there and accuse me of being on drugs. I'm not, okay? It just seems like something else was going on. Right. See, you weren't there. I didn't see you yesterday. I wasn't there, but I read people all day long, Corey. That's what I do for a living. Wait, can we just focus on one thing real quick because Susan's here? Sure. Okay, um, hi. Hi. What What did you want to ask her? I don't know. What I just thought it was going to be a about? session with Sue and Cora and myself. The plan was, we. I, I feel awkward that she's having to be in the middle of it because this didn't involve her. I don't have you a problem. I don't here, have a problem being here. I'll change it. Why? Because no, it's... she's here, man. I Wait, just sit next to me, Cora. I don't care. I don't mind being here. Okay, so you went against yourself, did you not? I would say, yep. Yeah. Most okay. likely, I'm going cool. myself, sure. Okay, so, I was crying. Why? I was crying because I was so hurt for you. Because I'm going, man, he's worked so f***ing long to get to this point. To have the opportunity to be able to get his life back. And I can't even put into words, like, why would you do that to yourself? I love you, man. I love you, too. You got breathe, just... dog. All right. Dude, I don't understand why you would do that to yourself. I didn't do anything to myself, Major Man. I had a bad day on set, right? I had a bad day on set, kid. That's all. Corey, you put an ad in Variety that said, I'm back, this isn't a stunt, I'm ready to f***ing work. Right, so I'm not saying I'm not going to have bad days, kid. Okay? I'm going to have bad days. Did you say that he knows you better than anyone else, Corey? I think I would say he does, man. So if he's feeling that way... Maybe he, maybe he's on to something. Maybe he's talking about the way you sabotaged yourself yesterday. And he, that, that gives him pain, because he cares what happens I to you. I know that I can see that. Yeah. And that's the question on the floor. Whatever the method was, no, the sabotaging. I'm sorry if I've hurt you, man. No, I'm sorry for you. I don't want you to have to ruin your life, dude. You got so much going for you. I'm gonna have to disagree with you, bro, on that, but I love you. You have to disagree with me on Just what? I have so much going for me, but I love you, and thanks for the belief. You're in a f***ing studio movie. Everybody wants to see you succeed. Everybody. Everybody. That's what everybody's rooting for. Do you want to see you succeed? Yes, I do. He's not the one you owe the apology to. You're the one you owe the apology to. So how do you think yesterday's experience is going to affect his career? You know, I, I don't want to... It's not my job to assess what happens or doesn't happen in his career. All I can assess is what happened yesterday. Your career? I don't know, Doc. I don't even want to think about it anymore. I'm sort of freaked out. Okay. So what... <sighs> What would you like to do about that, Corey? Nothing. I'm just, I want to go for a cigarette. What's exactly what I want to do. Excuse me. Okay. Every time you get up and walk out, you undermine yourself. I'm not trying to undermine you or myself. You're not undermining just... me. Okay. Self-sabotage is an old habit that I'm, I thought I broke. Obviously, I did not. I don't know exactly why. I just think it's fear. I think it's going to take me a little while to get it in my brain really what happened to me. I know that drugs are the wrong thing to do, but I wanted to be not so damn scared and nervous, which I was, you know? So what about Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. There's an exhibit of an 80s, remember, the 80s photos? Oh, what are we going to do about that part of Valentine's yeah. Day? It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's at that gallery downtown on Spring Street, and it's uh, <laughs> a whole exhibit of 80s photos, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be really nice. But I'll yeah, you, you need a date. Um, no. Well, yeah, duh. I know. Um, 
What, what should I do about that? So I've seen you talk to women. Just go talk to some you, women. You can do it. No, I know it's not a matter of doing it. It's, it's kind of, yeah. Can we talk about girls for a second? Sure. I'm trying to figure out why I'm having such a bloody problem. Like, I mean, I used to be, I thought, like, pimp daddy, puff daddy. Like, I feel like I used to have all the moves down, you know what I mean? And now I don't even know how to approach a woman. I'm, pro I'm just, like, unconfident, I think, to the point right now of where I'm not cool to approach a woman. Give me that one little look back, girl. One little look. It's Valentine's Day. Don't care anyway. I swear to everyone's going out with someone but me. So I have like a massive plan. So I need you working recon, okay? Nice. You are going to be undercover working in the trenches, as it were, for the Valentine's Day Fiesta tomorrow night. And awesome. what I need you to do, basically, is make sure that Susie stays away tomorrow. What I've done is I've set her up a spa, so she's gonna go out to the spa. Basically, I'm gonna try and fill the whole house up with like flowers and balloons. Like, I want it to be like a freaking obstacle course of flowers and balloons. So romantic. Right, I know. And then, well, I wrote Susie this song. I'm going to perform it for her live with a string quartet or maybe like a six piece. And then um, after that, like, you know. So the fell dog's trying there. to bury his bone on Valentine's Day. You can make it happen. No more stupid remarks now. OK. All right. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Hey there. Hey, Alan. Alan, what's yeah. up? Jake. Jake, good to see you again. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah appreciate, appreciate it. it. Sure thing. Sometimes words don't express the feelings we really need. So I wrote these few strings at the beginning. Now, basically, this is the normal thing. Okay. And we're basically going to turn it into more of like a piano-y, like... Dum, 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 dum. And there's two types of work that I do as a musician. One is uh, a solo work and one is a band work. And the band work is a much deeper... Uh, kind of gritty, coming from the soul art type of thing. So, like, instead of it being like all funky, like boom, chikong, 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 instead of that, it's gonna be more like dum dum ba dum ba 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 So it's just kind of like you know that kind of stuff. Okay, I think it was. It sounded like it was somewhere around here. Spring down flowers bloom somewhere in you know spring down flowers bloom spring down flowers bloom spring down spring down flowers bloom with an air of mystery and mystery <clears throat> I never come to sue singing for me writing music for me music in general is a passion of mine almost like sexual tension sexual frustration when you just you know you have that burning inside of you and you have to get it out that's how it is with me in music <laughs> I actually don't remember the lyrics. I have to actually spend some time memorizing the lyrics. How much time do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. I'm just wanting to be with somebody, and I don't know if it's the idea if I'm in love with being in love, or I actually want to be in love. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's, I'd like to meet somebody. I'd like to fall in love. I start a family of my own. Hi. Good. Do you know if this is only girls or and guys? Who are you? What's your name? 
You want to help me for one second? Sure. Damn, you're pretty. Come here, girl. I'm thinking this. I need right, just look, a bracelet. You, you've chosen that one. Just and then, do it. you want to have coffee with me right after this? Do you want to sure. hang out for you? Sarah, are you yeah. free? What's your last name? Weitenberg. Weitenberg. Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. Him. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Hey, you want to um, you want to get a bite to eat? You're hungry? Yeah, sure. Yeah? This place sucks. It's not watching out too, you know, right? So you choose people that you know will disappoint you. Every Valentine's Day has to be beautiful for my wife. Here she comes. She's coming in now. Buy you dinner, okay? Cool. Sir, oh God, thanks. How do you guys find me, man? Uh, the lights. All the lights. Don't condemn me for checking you out, man. You smoking beautiful. Why did you pray on me? I'm not right. praying on you. Would you say I was praying on you? I don't know. I'd rather go with a real girl than like an actress. What, wouldn't, don't you just like at the end of the day want to go home and just like kick it with somebody for real, for real, or have real people around yeah, you? Yeah, I do have real people. Good. That's why I really miss home. <laughs> cool. This place sucks. I see you have the right friends and like that whole thing. Well, that's why I came here, because it's not what you know, too, you know, right? So, but I'd rock up in the place and see who I, see who I meet. I'm an actress, too, so. So from actor to actor. What should I do here? What do you want to do? I want to meet the right people who can get me into acting, what I love doing. Yeah, I mean, this is Hollywood, right? <laughs> so I just came to Hollywood. So you're really famous? I should have been married already. This is my question. Are they not right for me, or am I doing something to, like, mess everything and f something up? You're choosing people who you will not be able to trust right. so that they have, so that you have to be disgruntled, so you have to leave them. You're choosing people who you know will leave you, or who you will disappoint you, who will let you down, so you'll have to leave them. On so the unconscious on purpose, level. On the unconscious level. Mm -hmm. The unconscious makes all our choices. You're telling me the girls that I've been, or they've chosen whatever that I've gone out with, I preemptively have said to myself, she's going to break my so I'm going out with her. You choose people that you know will disappoint you. Okay. So that you don't have to suit up and show up. So that you, just like you've done with the rest of your life in some ways. So that you don't have to step into the fullness of who you can be. I just got a phone call from Haim. And, of course, he wants a favor which is he's lonely and single and in L.A. and he just wants somebody to talk to. And so I was thinking what girls might work that we might know that are like freshly broken up with guys or like, you know, the other thing is we have to make sure they don't have a drug problem. We don't want any negative influences around him. You know who would be awesome? Um, Nicole Noreen, because they, they already know each other. And they had a thing, kind of a thing. Back when I first met you, they first met. Playmate, gorgeous. She's really sweet. And, you know, I know he'd be into it, and I know she liked him at the time. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah. It'll be cute. What's the worst thing that could happen? Hey, Suze. Big day today. He wanted me to tell you that he got you a spa treatment today, like in an hour. I got a spa treatment? Yeah, you have a spa treatment. Yeah, so one hour. Um, you should probably get ready and go, though. Like right now. Where am I going? Somewhere in the valley. Some spa place. That helps. You know, there's a little gift card in your car so you can see it. And there's directions. Oh, really? Love note. It's like a little Aww, Valentine. How cute is that? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you like my cereal. Mm -hmm. All right, well, all right. It's not that sugary. I'm off to the spa, probably, probably trying to get me out of the house. He always outshines me on holidays, and he overdoes it. He gets all crazy with it.
Every Valentine's Day has to be beautiful for my wife. Hours away from the big event, I've got to make sure I get everything done in time. See what we can do. See what yeah, we can well, do. Tell, tell, tell. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Hi, how are you? Good. A little last minute Valentine's Day rush. My wife's ring, the stone itself, is about a carrot. All right. What I want to do is I want to trade out the carrot. Okay. And then pay some additional cost and get a bigger one. Exactly. Okay, come on around over here. So I'm looking like something in like thousand dollar range, like two thousand dollar, something like that. Oh, you are. Well, basically. Okay. I mean, like, you have this one. I just saw one that was, like, 1500 or something. 1500 Well, this is 12000 if that's what you were looking at. Now, what if I just wanted to go up in size and not up in clarity? All what right. About, do you have something, like, bigger but not as clean? Um, we're going to hit a whole different price level once we hit the three-quarter mark. I don't it's know. expensive <laughs> 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 Yeah. Dude, man, I've never seen <laughs> like that. Were you kidding me? Ooh. I mean, I was trying to play it cool. Like, yeah, yeah no, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. good thing in there. Yeah. See, good. I have a buddy downtown, downtown LA who owns his own jewelry who you a private showing and give you a better deal of that. I can call him right now. His name Benny. It's been a little bit of a nightmare because, you know, everybody's trying to jack up the prices because it's Valentine's Day. And, you, know, you got it. Let me show you some stones. Uh-huh. So Josie's a good stoner. What's the weight on that? That's a one and a half carat. I think we'll go with that one. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to get like probably about 20 mylars. Okay. Uh, do you have like bags of rose petals? Mm-hmm. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Because... You have no idea how much I'm gonna charge you to this. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Here's what we're going to do. Guys, we have to work as fast as possible. Time is of the essence. I'm not joking. She is going to be home any minute. We're going to do a trail from the door uh -huh. of petals that go all the way around, up the stairs. Go. And go. What? Can we open them? <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Ha. Okay. 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 No way. Nikki. Check, 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 check. What's the first lyric? Okay, here she comes. Check, 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 check. No pressure, dude. None. <laughs> What's the first lyric? Oh, wait. In the air. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I can't try. <laughs> I'm too nervous right now to like remember the order. I just gotta do it. Okay, here she comes. Coming in now. Mm, how cute. Springtime flowers bloom The air a mystery Never come too soon Back in time like the night you came to me I don't know how to say it You bring the stars up to the moon When you leave you're gone too soon Yeah. Hey. 
love you. You too. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wait, it's because you know I'm not this tall. Yeah, thanks for getting me down, Connie. Thanks for going with me on this. You're welcome. Let's... Ready? Yeah, let's do that. You look beautiful. Oof. Happy Valentine's Day. This is our eighth Valentine's Day together. It is. Wow, baby. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Do you like it? I, yeah. I upgraded it to double the size. Wow. And um, it's about oh almost, almost three carats now. Mm. I love you. Thank you for my beautiful gift. My Valentine's Day will top all of my girlfriend's Valentine's Day. I know. Better. It better. Let's <laughs> <laughs> mm. get naked. Why do we still have our clothes on? I don't know. Come on. You look gorgeous, doll. Thank you. You really do. Thank you very much. Ready? No. All right. Wait, it's in here, like, it's in here. It looks like a clothing store. You say you want, you'd like to get married, you'd like to have children, whatever. Absolutely. I think we're always doing exactly what we intend to do. So why might you not want a relationship? Not my, why might you want it? Why might you not want? I, I, I aged a lot. You have. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what I was saying, like. I am. Damn, I've had some good looking ex girlfriends. <laughs> I don't like the part where you break up with the girl. Which you think is a certainty. It's a, I guarantee, excuse my language. Should we pursue? It's eight years later, Nick. Seven years later. What did you say? Should we pursue? Should, should we pursue? Should we pursue? You're tripping me out right now. Why? You're like a you're like a, a guy in a banquet who doesn't know how to eat. You're starving to death in the middle of a banquet. You are so hungry for love. You're starving to death. But of course, it has to start oh, yeah. with you loving you. Definitely. Right. It's not probably the girl. It's probably me. Yo, you're coming back to my pad for a minute, okay? No. No. No, no, no. Just get him. Just ask him. Hey. Here we are, just you and me. Here we are. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. Um, and my father's coming in mañana, tomorrow. Oh, are you looking forward to your father coming in? Yeah, of course. I'm lucky if I get to see my father once a year. I was uh, 14 years old when we came out here. We drove. He delivered his son to Los Angeles, California, without knowing what he was getting me into, unfortunately. So, my father doesn't like what has happened to me in the business. Do, yeah. Does he blame the business for what no, direction God, you went? No, no, he doesn't even blame me. Nope. But um, blames the environment I grew up in, if you will. Yeah. My father was coach. Like, he was in wintertime hockey coach, and in summertime he was our baseball coach. 
Was he in favor of you going into the business in the first place? No. He wasn't. No, no. He, did he try he to stop it? His, uh, more than once. He definitely wanted nothing to do with it, and I don't blame him. He would have been happy, I think, whatever business I chose to be in, as long as I didn't go down the path I went down. My dad would be happy if I was a garbage man, as long as I'd be happy and healthy and off the My dad's happy. He doesn't have to worry about his boy getting a call. He's dead. Whenever we have a free Sunday, we'll go up to the mansion, we'll get some sun, we'll see half, we'll see the family, say hi, and hang out by the pool. So you guys, um, new playmates? Yes. What really? months are you? I'm brand new, June 07, last year. And you? July 02. Nice. Wow, <laughs> crazy. So are you thinking maybe you should um, post the magazine? You're, you know, great body. thank you. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, I do kind of, it. it's, it's, it's an interesting question. It's something that we've actually, I mean, we've talked about it before. Like, is that something that we would ever want to do? And, you know, would you feel comfortable? Would I feel comfortable? So I guess, who knows? Hey guys, Mr. And Mr. Feldman, uh, Mr. Epp is ready to see you now. Oh, so, oh yeah. So are you ready? Okay, okay great. Right. Okay. Hi. Hi, Hap. How are you, darling? Yeah. Awesome. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you? you look very, well. very well. You look wonderful. Things good? Things, Things are, are wonderful, good. yeah. Very, very, good. very busy yeah. working. Things good with you? Never better. Oh, it's hard awesome. to believe, but never better. That's yes. Great. Amazing. Well, it's these are good times. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And I hear a little birdie telling me that uh, you might be interested in posing for the magazine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to buy it. I'm flushing. Um. <laughs> what does she have to do exactly? Well, we'll go in and shoot, uh, you know, some initial tests uh, to kind of decide what what we're going to emphasize in the pictorial, and then they will do the pictorial. I would be flattered. I would be. I would be honored. That would be great. Right. I think. Great. Fantastic. Thank we'll, you. we'll set we'll set the date and. Uh, okay. Excellent. Awesome. I'll tell the girls. It'll all be tickled. Oh, I can't oh, wait yes. to tell them. That's awesome. Very Thank good. You. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. All Thank right. you. We'll, we will see you soon. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Appreciate bye -bye. it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Ah. 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 I'm going to hurl. All right. Why does the thought of me being naked make you want to throw up? <laughs> no, not that. It's just being naked in front of strangers. Welcome to Mikasa, sir. Oh, cool pot, sir. Man. He's a mess. Oh, look at the view you got. That's what I was trying to tell you, man. That's Unbelievable. Wow. I'm impressed, Coriane. Like that? Beauty. Well, not much out to like. You look good, Coriane. How you doing? Nice I, miss you. I miss you too. Let me show you around. Come. Yeah, show me your pot. Come, come. Kitchen, obviously. Hey, honey, come here. This is my dad. Who's Thanks this? for getting him in. This is Nell. She helped get you in. Hey, Nell, you're the baby who called me. Name. I am. <laughs> you're working with Corey? Yes, I am. Yes, my is. deepest sympathy. I know you do that. <laughs> I could love for you, but. No, he's doing he's great. A he's a total sweetheart. She's very nurturing, Nell, actually, man. Well, it's easy to nurture him. He's very lovable. So, Cora, I need to ask yes. you about something. Yes, ma'am. Um, Cynthia Bain from the Cynthia Bain Young Actors Studio would like you and Feldman to come and speak to the young actors in their class. All right. I think she really just wants you to talk about being a, a young person in Great. the industry. Yes, and please. what that's like. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll get the details. Whatever to you. it is, always wake me up an hour and a half. An hour absolutely. And a half. <laughs> no Say problem. Yes, absolutely. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Great. You'd be fantastic with kids. Because you, you could speak their language. You've been given an opportunity, as they say, to represent. I'm basically, I've been playing the role of an adult since I've been about nine years old. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and what um, do you think that's done for you? Well, I think in many ways that's hurt me. I've grown up a lot faster for sure because of it. Mm -hmm. Plus, I regret sure about like maybe missing like a lot of my childhood as far as my family goes. Not maybe for sure, you know? What do you think you missed? 
my childhood. What about it? Like normal things that people do. And what would that have done for you? I don't know. She wants you and Feldman to come together. Will you get, will you uh, want to talk to him about it? Yeah, I will. I promise, no. Hey. Hi. Corey left me some weird message. Okay, so he left me this message saying that he wants me to, um, I guess from what I deciphered, go to some children's acting workshop or acting class or something like that with him. Children's acting? I mean, I don't even really believe in acting. Like, you know my stance on him. No, I know. You're not into children being in Hollywood right. and acting. Right. So kind of going there says that you definitely support that. And all of it just leads to like all the bad shit that happened to me. And to Corey. Right. I mean, there's the big pink elephant in the room. It's like, why would you want to go and contribute to the very thing that... It's that has your demise. It's a disease, right. you know what I mean? It's like, kids should not be going to acting class. I'm sorry, it's wrong. It is wrong. Yo, Hamster, what's up? It's Feldman. Um, just want to give you a call and say thank you very much for the invite. You know, I'm not really big on supporting kids being actors, so... I don't think we're going to be able to do that. But thanks for the offer. I appreciate it. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Or I'll see you in therapy. <laughs> okay, bye. This is your big day. You're it a shoot is. for Playboy. How do you feel? Nervous. And then undo the top just a touch there. There. What's the most funnest thing about acting? Doing my own stunts. Enjoy the industry because it can get very, very tough. So let's talk about um, Playboy, because we want to kind of yeah. pick your brain. I mean, we okay. have friends that are Playmates, but... They're so uh, cool there. They're so accommodating. We shot so there. Cool. They, they were... That's really cool. But he was freaking out. <laughs> but, you know, they're so jaded there. They sit there all day long. They, they don't care. They Until I went and experienced it myself, you know? Like, right. they see girls all day, but I still thought they were checking out. How do you deal with it when your friends and your family that you never would want to see your wife naked? Like I, I don't want to think about it. For a guy to allow his woman to do something like this in the first place is huge. Then to actually be man enough to go, it makes me uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna let you do it, I'm okay with it, but it makes me uncomfortable. I think that's a big thing, because otherwise you could hold it in and you could be like really angry inside and then it hurts the relationship. Up on the stairs, Dad. I know, I remember. They're cursed. Ah. So what do you got flying for me? I don't know. Like, uh, I definitely I know you want son. We want to play golf with you. Let's go play golf. That would be cool. Do you want to golf? Yeah. Good hit. Nice. Oh, that was a good hit, Dad. How do you think that went? 200 for sure. Dad, hit the cart. If you don't, I will. Hurry up. Oh, <laughs> What you do? What do I get if I hit the cart? Give you $100 right now. 100 bucks? Yep. This guy's going down. <laughs> Jim? I'm this close in front. Nope, hold on. Nail him. Oh, wait. Here he comes, Dad. Oh, good. He's coming right for me. I like that. Oh. <laughs> that was close. This is fun, I'm having fun with you. Got him. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Susie is uh, going to be doing Playboy. Oh, are you? How do you feel about that? 
she doesn't seem to be anywhere near as nervous but I don't... as I am because I'm the one that again you know my guy friends like oh yeah so like, what playboy yeah good but that's what that's what our relationship is all about you know he will stress his way through it and I will <laughs> hope to do a good job I mean and, I'm not you know... opposed to it no um... <laughs> then I guess your work is to move towards acceptance and freedom from control. Because if you get all over her... No, I don't want to ruin it. Emotionally yeah. speaking, yeah, yeah, yeah. even with just your energy, it's really not going... It's going to undermine her experience. Right. Right. It really is more of a letting go thing. Your constant work is around letting go. And believe it or not, I, I think so much of your material around control is connected to that. Here we go. Big day. Uh, Are you nervous? A little bit. What do you have to be nervous about? Just getting naked in front of the whole world. I'm gonna strangers. It's all right, honey, breathe. Do I want to go in? You'll be all right. I'll be the one that's a nervous wreck. You'll be the one that's fine. I'm the one that's got sweaty palms and shaking and nervous, and you're the one that's sexy and confident. And now I'm going to go throw up. So have fun, have a good time, and I'll see you in the bathroom. Hi, Steve. Hi, guys. Uh, we'll put you in makeup. The stylist is coming with a lot more clothes. You know, the clothes eyes is a good sign. Clothes, clothes. clothes, yeah, yeah. Put the clothes on. They it, last makes, for... it makes the stylist feel good. And then, you know, right, in five minutes, she's I... She's getting paid, yeah, so she's got to bring clothes. I the... say take them off. Uh, <laughs> okay. No. Makeup. Okay. Makeup. You define me. So, Susie Feldman. This is your big day, your shoot for Playboy. How do you feel? Nervous, but fine. This is a really big moment for me. I actually thought it would never happen. Very flattered, and so today is a really big day. Are you excited? I am. I am. The moment that I have to be completely naked, I, um, I don't know what's going to go through my mind of... Hope nobody's looking too close. I don't know what's good. I don't know. Oh God, I can't believe this is actually happening. Oh God, can we turn around and walk out now? Nice. But out. Okay. All right, let's go. Ready? I am. And then undo the top just a touch. I there. think I will remember this for my whole life. Yes, it's there. a pretty momentous Perfect. day Perfect. in my life. Corey Haim, everyone. Hello. Stay away from the bad things. You guys don't know what the bad things are. I've been through this, trust me, firsthand. Wonderful. The hair can come back and forth, it can be in your face, it can move. We take what we like, okay. throw away what we don't. Okay. okay. We're there, there, there. Excellent. I was very nervous about the idea of her standing in a room naked with a bunch of strange men. But um, every once in a while, I will pan over and take a look at the guys around us just to see what their reactions are, what they're thinking. But uh, so far, no hands in the pockets. I think we're okay. And then undo the top just a touch there. Okay. It's kind of cool having the whole day be about you because I'm so used to being with Corey and it's his job or his shoot so it's nice today is my day and it's fun and you know feel pampered and pretty and sexy and all that stuff right there perfect go ahead and let it fall off take it there perfect I've somehow learned to harness the jealousy and appreciate the value of people appreciating it I'm proud of her I am So what are we going now? What it is that it's for kids who are like um, growing up to be actors, but they're kids being actors. So, so you're gonna tell these kids of your past, like movies you've done, or what? 
Depends how old they are. I mean, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say. I put. Oh, but you can talk about your past, the movie land, and what to look for. Stay in school, man. What I missed out on. Be very careful of. Just keep listening to your parents. I mean, really, what I want to say, Dad. So good. This is a nice thing. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it's good. To you, sir. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? You take the stage, everybody. This is Corey Haim, our guest tonight. Corey Haim, everyone. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, we're here to talk about what you guys are about to get into, huh? The younger ones. What? What? You want to start with questions? Anybody have questions? They want to. What do you want? Anyone? Sweetheart. What's the most funnest thing about acting? The most funnest thing about acting, <laughs> doing my own stunts. It's good landing on an airbag, like falling only like two feet, going, yeah. you know, it makes you feel really cool. Did you know anybody that went into acting that was like a friend or really close to you? Absolutely, and I've worked at the Mon Nine movies. Oh. Yes, the Purple Princess. How, how old were you when you first started acting? I was nine, sweetheart, when I started acting. Nine years old. Do you have a question, little man? Yeah. Yeah. What's your best technique to book an audition? <laughs> Please say yes. Please say yes. <laughs> um, there is none. There's nothing. Just go in, go in relaxed, and a either pretend everyone's in their underwear, <laughs> or b don't care what anyone thinks. Care what you think about how you're doing. Be polite, in and out. It's not a personal thing. This industry, when they say no, it's a business. You guys are very young for business, but just be careful again. Stay close to your family. You know, it's the best advice I can give you guys. Honestly, is to stay close to your family. Stay away from the bad things. You guys all know what the bad things are. You're all smart here. So this is advice for all you kids. I've been through this. Trust me, firsthand. Listen, I want to wish you all the very, very healthiest, best futures, and greatest luck in this business. And enjoy the industry. Enjoy the industry because it can get very, very tough. And stay young as long as you can. Okay? Okay. This was special. This was something I don't know if I'll ever feel again. I felt good talking to the kids. Great questions. Good luck to you. Okay. Right. I was actually giving like adult good advice, but I'm hoping it was good. But you know what? I know it was good because I felt good. All right, awesome, guys. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. And good luck. Break good luck. a leg. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Corey. Yes, sir. I spent the whole day with you. Yes, sir. The truth. Yeah. This no, is the best. Me. <laughs> this is the best part of my day. I swear to you. Thanks, Dad. You were amazing. Thank you. No nice matter. This is excellent. You should be proud of yourself. I am. I'm happy. Look at the input you have on people's lives. I'm happy, Dad. Oh man, you made me very happy, Mr. Corian. You honestly made me very happy. If you won an Academy Award or anything along those lines, I don't think I'd be as happy as I was tonight. And my father, you know, my dad, the way he speaks. This was the best day I've ever had in my entire life with you. I am so happy with you as a man to man. I'm proud of you as my son, as my friend. Now it's your turn to be the coach. And he's always said to me, "Carry the ball." And he's always been coach for him to say that was just bloody mind blowing. The father telling me I'm coach. Nice that I can carry the ball. Let's play my trip, man. I can go home now, happy. Nice that. You did good, kid. Nice, daddy. Yeah. Time to go. I'm ready to go. I'm calling you to get home. Have a safe flight. I'm gonna go make a. Uh... Take care of you. Bye, baby. I'll see you later. I'll call you when I land. Okay. Okay, sweetie.
up, dog? How are you? Ready for some therapeutic help? You look good. Thanks. You're all pimped out for therapy. I'm like... disheveled. Nice shoes, though. Where'd you get those? Yo, man, don't. Some handmade. They were make. They were giving them away with a free tank of gas. No, giving them away a free autograph picture of you. Oh. Hi, Doc. You're awfully <laughs> jovial. I'm in a okay. good mood today. I'm sorry. Serious, Am I not allowed to come here and be in a good mood? Serious shoes. All right. Serious shoes. No. Let's start. How are we doing, do you think, man? Um, fine. That's a very monotone. What is that? Um, fine. There's only so much I can do at this point because what do you we've mean? already, well, we're friends. Everything's... Correct fine we're getting along there's no major animosity at this point i have one question can you support me as a friend that's what i'm trying to do okay so then there's no other conversation being dealt with at all but you ask him a question and you're not giving him a chance to answer because as far as like i can't help you i didn't I like that i know i can't help you i don't want you to help me exactly i don't need your help i see what you're doing i don't need your help that's my point Corey, hey, the know. evidence is that he's been very supportive that of course, was that we... was clear Doc, let me make one thing very clear, okay? And I want to be very clear about this. We are like brothers, and I will love him forever, no matter if I'm in the business, if he's in the business, no matter what happens, I hope to know Corey Scott Feldman for the rest of my entire life. We've had some sort of connection. They put us in movies together, but he always will be in here. Now, if, if he's that in here, but we can't move on, you can't what? You can't be my agent. You can't watch how I am on sets. You can't help me work like no what well, here's what i can't do i i can't tell you the things that i think that you should do for yourself or for your career or whatever why can't you tell me that because when i tell you things you turn it against me and use it as a resentment that not if you tell me proper i do not that's but you're truth. also working on your need to not control, right? Correct. So that's no, that's a, still it's like a razor advice edge. Court. I respect him. I love him. I'd still like his advice. I cherish his well, advice. Well, I had an idea. Yes. And yeah. You can tell me what you think. Um, my idea was, what if um, I got together a couple of our peers, who actors or whatever people in our kind of level that have been through what we've been through, come out the other side. That I know or I don't know. That you know. Okay. And try to listen to their points or whatever their thoughts are. And like, hey, how about if you tried this? Or how about if you tried that? Or, you know. How about you, to me? Right. Like things Why that would I, I would be, advice? things that I would be afraid to say to you right. because I'm trying to control myself and okay. not say, hey, I think you should do this. So maybe if it's coming from an outside party, right. you might get a fresh perspective and hear something that you might not be willing to hear from I'm me. sorry, yeah, I don't want anybody looking and telling me what they feel I should do with my life. They're not living in my body. They're not in my life. No, thank you, but thank you. I don't mind sitting down and have dinner with these people and saying, hey, how you been? But I'm not sitting down for them to give me advice on how to like live my future. No, I still have a long way to go, I feel. I'm working on it, but I well, definitely don't need to it. sit with people. It's a process. Now, what about them sitting and at the same time giving them what they think you should be doing? Well, or do you feel you're past that level? I didn't have a problem on the set. I didn't have this huge blow up. I didn't take something to numb my fears. This is your fears. You're dealing with them. I actually think this is a very interesting idea to have a group of people who know the ins and outs, the horrors and the rewards of uh, the, the, the resource that addiction can be. He's all in his head. But, the, but so that you can have, that's, that you doesn't leave him out. No, right no, no, here. because I'm this is a again. specific, because he's not in the same place as you are right now in terms of his process. I he's, disagree with that, but okay. He's not in the same place. Where am I? Your insecurity is manifesting in your life. It shuts you down and shuts you off and makes you hide. And that is a very different place than where Corey is right now. Fair it enough. doesn't mean he's doing, he's better. All or, of them disagree with that on that he's I chose to your way Stop. through it. Doc, I'm sorry. No. And no, thank you. But no, if you want is to have poker night with them, up? sure. But is that what? fear coming up for you about what I'm saying? No, 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 I just don't want to do it. I've done it. I don't want to do it. What can you say to your friend that will allow it to go to the next level of connection? I don't know, maybe we should have dinner. Like a nice day together followed by dinner. Well, you haven't been over to my house yet. You should come check out the house. Okay. 
We're on our way to Thelman's. I'm willing to see Corey, man. I thought it would be a good idea to invite a couple people over. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm here, Susan. Is that a intervention? Why? An intervention. Why? I'm sick of this bull You've got serious issues. I don't want to feel like this. No more. I wish I didn't have to take what I have to take to calm down. But I can't breathe, man. This is why I take what I take. Go the f away. Open the door, bitch. F you. Just leave. Get the f out. Hey, we're on the way to Feldman's. I'm going to see Corey, man. I just want to say, yo, what's up? In the old days, this used to be cool. Back when we were living in, we were, we were cowboys in the old days. The facts at this point are, he, he did Lost Boys 2, he messed up because he was so nervous that he... An extra Ativan. He took an extra Ativan, that's his story, he's sticking to it. Um, but he was like slurring and he was not memorizing his lines and, you know, not taking it seriously basically. And had a massive breakdown on the set. Warner Brothers is pretty pissed off, so... That, 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 I could tell by that way he's knocking, it's off. <laughs> Welcome to the house. I know you haven't been here yet. What's up? Oh my God, how do we get here? Like, how did our lives become this? <laughs> is what I want to say. Nice, how are you? Are you? I just dropped by. And a said to bad me, time? Like, uh, no, this is a perfect time. I was in the hood, why? Because I told you, I had some friends stopping by, remember? We are going to do that thing, oh, so really? I got a couple people here to say hi to you. Whoa, 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 is this the thing you were telling me about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I told you I was going to think about this talk to you first. I promise you. Let's go. You're not going to be attacked. All right. Oh, it's just people that are coming to give you know what, some support. Say, shrink. That's our thing. I know. Just, just, just be nice, just be nice. Hello. Hey, hey buddy. What's up, man? Yes. How you doing? What's up, What's man? What's up, Sean? How you doing, boss? You okay? All right. Sorry, have a seat. Have a seat. No. Aren't those great no. shoes? He painted them himself. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, Corey hit me with you guys wanted to talk to me, I guess, about stuff. Um, well, basically, why we're here today? basically, I thought it would be a good idea to have a couple guys that you know that you trust. From, from your past, But let me just, like, past. on a serious note, like, you drinking and, like, smoking <laughs> right in the middle of the day like this, that's normal? He's not drinking. That's not alcohol. Root beer, dude. Oh, it isn't? Yeah. It's root beer. Polly, what's he wrong with He smells like alcohol, though. He does? No. Yeah. Allergic Maybe alcohol. it's from the... What's wrong with it? He doesn't Well, drink. I don't know. I mean, I'm allergic to booze, first off. Okay, well, I'm just asking. I don't know why we're here, because I told you I wouldn't need to think about this before you wasted anyone's time. Susie and I, as your friends, thought it would be a good idea to invite a couple people over from the industry that you know what do we that what, what do you i don't understand what you guys are actually here to talk about to me we're all to talk about we're yeah. all to talk about the fact getting that up like, early doing 500 push-ups a day and being cool and clean finally no 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 that's not it Corey. this is really important you know you felt like what happened the other day right and i know that sometimes you don't want to hear what i have to say as far as my advice about what me but all of us. Okay. But all of us taking care of ourselves. It just seems like this meeting was thrown sort of as me as like not the topic, but sort of the guy to throw the meeting around. H. Because that's what right. are you looking for? The truth right now. Okay. Because I'm pissed off okay. now. First of all, I've been knowing both of you guys equally as long, right? That's true. Okay. Now, the thing I can say about this guy, no matter what this guy does in his personal life, this guy takes care of business. Right. You can't argue with that. So do I. Now I do, Todd, for a while. Okay, for how long? Look, man, I'm over here. I don't want you to feel like being attacked. No, 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 that's no, no, not, no, that's no, not no, what this is for, bro. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I'm correct about everything. But I know throwing this man with my consent, this is something that definitely pushes the envelope. I'm it's sorry. I love you. And I Great, happen to I care about too, but I'm not throwing media like this. Okay, but it's, Corey, back, it's not behind your back. First of all, you knew about it. I said I would call you to say if this is cool with me or not. I don't know why I'm here. Me I neither. I don't know why I'm here, Susan. Why Dude, am because, I here? Because first of all, we care about you. I'm fine. I'm fine though, bro. I had a slip the one day. I had a mental block. I took, you know, Ativan. I took an extra 0.5 so I could just like relax. I'm very hyper, dude. I've right. never so had. So how did you take? So your medication you had? How did you take it? Why are you leaving? 
I'm going outside, man, because I don't feel like I f***ing need to be here, Todd. I don't want to see you and hang out. Go to why? Come see me. It's not f***ing intervention. It's why? Not intervention. It's intervention. It's why? Dude, don't get up and get upset. Why do you have to Dude, act like that? Holly, go outside. Don't get upset. Go smoke a cigarette with him. There's no okay. reason to get upset. Can I come with you? Can I come with you? Come on with me. We just script together. No reason to get upset. Todd, I'm not no upset to get upset. with you. Well, you listen, know that, brother. Stop getting upset with yourself, dude. Stop getting upset. Set up because the guy behind you trying to control. I'm not trying to control it. Well, let leave me the alone, NT. What am I doing here? I dropped by to tell him I'm coming over tonight for dinner. I'm your friend. You guys are here. I know. I'm your friend, too. So then act like it. You're not laying right now and getting upset at me. Dude, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do if you're responsible, dude. But you're not. Dude. How do you know? You haven't seen me, T. I don't have to see you, but I've heard from other people. I'm happy dude. you've heard. Why don't you confirm and affirm that show. with me? I'm going to be leaving very soon. I'm just going to have a cigarette with you, and I'm gone. Baby, dude. And then you're gonna stomp around like, wah, 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 I'm gonna leave. Like, people here care about you. F*** you, dude. He's a baby. If they didn't care about you, they wouldn't keep trying to help. Dude, he needs to stop. This is okay, boring. Let him do what he wants to do. Let him do what he Let him do what he wants to do. Here's the bottom line. You, I just need you to take care of you. Like, I I'm taking care of me. Tea. But, dude, look at me with my eyes. Okay. I have okay. Tea. We've all been through shit. We've all had down times. We've all had times where we... Yeah, but this guy's got 50,000 opportunities. I understand. Dude, I'm sick of this bullshit, T. But, dude, I'm sick of this bullshit. I've got to keep trying, right? Yeah. that's my know, responsibility. And plus, he's your best friend, right? Exactly. Is he still your best friend? I don't need to be here. I didn't agree to this. He is not in any way ready to fix himself. Because you get that defensive over nothing. Yeah, nothing happens. Then, you then you've got serious issues, dude. That's Corey, though. He's completely unpredictable. You never know what you're going to get. You're allowing other people You're right. to get inside you and fool with you. That got to stop. I'm going to end this friendship. I don't no, want to be dude, why? Because I don't want to be his friend anymore. Is that okay? He's lost in a world of, I don't know what. Delusions. Corey, why don't you just go away from me and I'm going to leave. Just leave me alone. I That didn't go well. Immediately when someone comes in the room who's not taking care of themselves, it's going to feel attacked. Right. How many times did you feel attacked? How many times did I feel attacked? Wasting my time. So if he doesn't like himself, how is he going to like you right now? When he looks at you, he sees where he's striving to be. Everything that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do because I give a And the second I stop giving a is when he's going to really I take medication because I need to, like, maintain because of what I've done to my body, unfortunately. I have to. I wish I didn't have to take what I have to take to calm down. But I can't breathe, man. This is why I take what I take. I don't want to feel like this. No more. I want them out of my life, and now they are out of my life. My biggest fear is what happens if he goes too far. It's over. I'm now officially done with Feldman. I am totally frustrated right now because uh, Haim will not answer my calls, will not call me back. Why don't we just go over there and talk to him? Let's do it. What do you think is going to happen? He's probably, probably going to be fine. He's probably going to go, you know, my bad, I didn't mean to freak out so much, I just didn't know, and we can apologize <laughs> and everything will be fine. Are you actually trying to predict his behavior? The one thing that you can always count on from Corey. Is the inconsistency. Consistently inconsistent. I don't think he's even here, honey. Can you go knock on the door? Yeah, let's give it a shot. There's a tennis shoe. Hold on. Because he's not here. Let's just leave him a note. We'll leave him a note. That should do it. Okay. Try again later. Ah. Try to get it up.
Corey, we stopped by to say hi. We're gonna grab a bite to eat. We'll be back afterwards. Happy face, Corey and Susie. Stay off my property! Ah, <sighs> this is a very big mistake for him to be doing this. As a matter of fact, stay the off my property. Don't touch my shoes, man. Okay, he's here now. Stay the f out. I'm sure you got our note. I left it right in his shoe. You, you f girl. Did you really throw the shoe down here again? Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Maybe he really didn't want them by his front door. Okay. Yeah. Shoe delivery. Hey, core man, you know what? The best thing to do is just get in your car and go the f away. I guess you don't want the shoe? Take them. Probably need them more than I do. They're yours. Open the door, b Core, you call me a Again, man, I'm gonna f you up. You understand? You call me again, I'm gonna f drop you now, man. Right the f now. What is going on, dude? What are you got doing, a man? problem? What are you doing? You do an intervention for me yesterday. It wasn't a intervention. Mine. Wasn't an intervention. Whatever the f it was. It was a get together of friends. Okay, I need to speak. I don't want you guys to speak at all. I really what don't. Intervention. Hey, man, look. It's a two way street. No, no, no. Two you. ways. You. Okay. Oh, forget really? all. Yeah, really. F you. Okay. You. Let's go. Good. Go. Get the f out of my house. Don't come back and don't f call me. I won't. If you want to push your f friends away, that's it. What was the intervention for, it man? Was it wasn't a f intervention. It doesn't it matter. It you matters. You took f into your own hands. No, 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 no. Get out of my house. Don't worry, I will. Get out of my place. Just you know what? Leave. Dude, get the f out. Something. I will leave. It's over. And therapy is get over. The yes, get out. Bull get the f out of here, man. I'm done. Get the f out of my house. I owe you and your Yes. Pill bottle or happy? Yeah. Dude. Is that I me don't... or you, Susie? And you know what? You're you to be like a prima donna. Yourself. All done is always, always. Don't even waste breath. Oh, I'm a bitch. That's fine. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. done. I've done everything I can to help the guy. He's pathetic. He is pathetic. It's over. Don't knock. Don't knock him out, dude. Do not knock him out. Go. Go kill yourself. See if I can care. Don't come around here anymore, okay? It's where I live. Stay the f away from where I live. Yeah, yeah. Take what? another what? pill, dude. Take another what? pill. Go f some more people over. Yes. Good performance, Corey. It's not a performance. That's a fact. Okay, Jack. Yeah, you know me. Don't call your mother. No. Dude, I've tried to care about what you. What did you say about my mother, Susan? F you. Dude, get the f out of here, man. That's insulting about the mother thing. This is a, this is a personal. Get the f out of what? here. Mother had made your life hell, dude. Oh, and your mom's great. Your alcoholic mother that f***ed your life up? Oh, uh, your mom's great. Yeah, the crack-smoking drunk, your mom. The yeah. I love your mom, but she enabled your to be a drug addict, lying child. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're so mature, you f***ing piece of s***, dude. Oh. It's over. Done. Talk about my mother again. He pulls around again. I'm throwing a fucking rock through the windshield at her forehead. And I'm wrapped with felt. I will not allow him or his wife to affect me. They're ugly people to me. They're ugly people to me, man. Strong enough to break the world in two. We're done forever that's the last time i will ever see him again strong enough to break the world in two are you strong enough to break the world in two are 
It's not on you guys. It's always going to happen until he realizes his addiction. And how can he not realize it by now? The whole world realizes it. Because he's surrounded by enablers. And he has doctors that prescribe things to him. I just don't need negative energy. And I don't need anything that's going to draw me into negative energy. And I feel that he's doing nothing positive for my life. He's an addict. He has a problem. If he was really sober, would he be as manipulative? I don't know. And it's like, I just know if we give in and forgive and go back into the friendship thing. Well, I don't think he even thinks it, he's wrong. Right but he will definitely do it to us again. So this is not an unfamiliar pattern. The question is, how do you, how do you move to the next place out of this disappointment well but what would you consider the next place i mean next... we are moving on with our lives i'm done right i can't do it anymore because it's healthy. driving me crazy look what it's, it's doing to me it's not right so for me right now i just need to focus back on my life my family my work you know doing the things that i was doing before he came back to town i have to go back to our life right. and i have to, to to worry about us he's done as far as our friendship, we're done. Tell me what's going on with you. What's going on What's with happened me? since the last time I saw you? I had a blow with Corey and Susie. I just dropped by to say, hey, what's up? Like the old days, just to say, hey. And he had tried to, I guess, pull some sort of intervention. Well, I'm telling you now, Doc, I can go to any rehab and they'll say, no, 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 no. We need the bed for a sick person. Mm-hmm. Because? Because there's nothing to intervene. Well, that's a good thing for you to ponder. Hi. What's up, Beth? How do you feel like that went? New core? Mm hmm. I want you to go to rehab and I want you. For what? Well, what do you think about that? About what he said. Why would he say that? No, do me a favor, all right? You know what? I'm really healthy right now and I don't need him to freaking tell me that I need to go to like rehab. For what? So they can say, sorry, we need the bed for a sick person. You see me injecting heroin into my eyeballs? Not saying I've never slipped now or I haven't had a bad day here or there. I'm not flawless, but I'm doing really damn well right now. You have something to say? Because it looks like you do. Corey, I have a policy, and my policy is don't ask a question you don't really want the answer to. I don't think you want my opinion. What's your opinion? What I know about you yeah. is that you're incredibly loving, you're incredibly sensitive. These are the things that I know about you. Know All the that. other extraneous is not really you. Yeah. Feldman's known you for almost 25 years, and he keeps asking about that. Why does he keep asking about that? I see a doctor once a week, and we don't need to talk about what it is that I take to regulate and Why balance don't we need my to talk safe about out. That? Why don't we need to talk about because that? Because you know I'm balanced myself with something. End of story. And I don't think there's a crime in that, no? I don't know if that's the end of the story, Corey. I think it's the beginning of the story. I think it is the story. I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. Why are you crying? Are you crying? No, look at me for one sec. Please. What's going on? But whatever you're balancing yourself out with or whatever affects you, whether you're flying off the handle and you're pissed off or you can't focus or you don't remember things I've told you. They're not drugs. 
It's not the truth, Corey. That's not the truth. The morning I showed up for us to go to the Lost Boys shoot, we got in the car, and you almost killed us about 30 times. You were falling asleep at the wheel. I had a bad day. Can I guess? Sure. You want me to go to rehab? You think I'm all s***ed up? Say it. Whatever it is that you're taking from the doctor is affecting you. And it seems normal because it's not. It seems okay because it's not what you used to do. It's You're not where you used to be with the other things, with the hard drugs, with all of that. But whatever you're taking now is affecting you. And I'm just worried that whatever your doctor is giving you is actually going to be something that could nothing really hurt bad. you. Nothing bad. No. Nothing bad or I wouldn't be getting it now. These pills were made for a reason. Corey, I'm not saying I, know, I want I know, to be I know, on them I know, now. I know, I know, I know. But you I just know. seem really frustrated right now. Because I'm trying to be honest with you and you're, you're not, not being honest with me. You're not telling me exactly what the f is in your mind. You're not saying, like, I think you should check into rehab right now. Well, why? Why am I getting this from everybody? Why? Why? Corey, I know what the doctor prescribes you. Okay. You've made me pick up the prescriptions. You've handed me the bottles. What you are telling me right now is not the truth. And I don't care. You can lie to me six ways to Sunday. You can tell me I'm great and, I lo and you love me. You it's can tell me that you're on Adam. I don't care. you you every single thing that I'm on? Yes. I think whatever those things are are a problem. No, there's outpatient help. There's inpatient help. There's halfway I know, houses. but having a doctor prescribe you meds is not outpatient help. Please don't cry because of me, honey. I'm okay. No? I'm okay. So right now I want to get liposuction. Bad? Bad. No, no, no. Ma, oh. you gave birth to me. You seem like I'm all right. The truth is, is I don't think you're fine right now, and I'm worried about you. It's not to that level. Just relax and think good thoughts. You're going to wake up with good thoughts. So what is it that you guys are going forward to do in your lives at this point? We're doing a PETA shoot. A campaign oh, for PETA, campaign? Um, where we're doing a billboard, um, which is like kind of a takeoff on the John and Yoko Give Peace a Chance campaign, except it's going to be Give PETA a Chance. That'll be fun. We're doing a campaign for PETA. All we want is people to understand that if you just give animals a chance okay. and you give them a little bit of love, that we can all make the world a better place. Does this look cool? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yoko, where are you? You're supposed to take your shirt off. I am? Oh, let me get some body makeup. Oh, stop. Corey's getting makeup on his chest. Corey's getting makeup on his chest, yeah. Don't show my fat. I look in the mirror and I'm just never satisfied, never pleased. Yeah. Um, to the point where I you know, have to stop myself. Right now I want to get liposuction. That's like my big thing consuming my brain is that I want to get liposuction. Fat stomach showing. What do you think about his relationship to his body? If it will make him feel better, well, then, then I'm going to tell you it won't. But it is something that I think about every time I look in the mirror and every time I take my shirt off and I go, eh, I could be better and I work out. So what's going to happen if you're better? You will never be perfect. Right. Will you ever love yourself anyway? That's the question. Hello? Jody! Get over here. Jody! Oh. Wow, you look good. Good. Beauty. Let me see you. I like, like your shirt. Like your necklace. Yeah. Like your shirt. Look at this. Here, here. Whoa. I really appreciate your coming in. Thank I love me. to meet the parents. One of the things I do like to to do with the visitors is to uh, get some more information about you so that I can move forward in our work together. What would you say Black about God. your mom if she weren't here in terms of who she is as a person in the world? She is um, 
beyond supportive of me, always making sure there's a roof over my head and food. I'd have to say, without my mom, I know I'd be dead. What would you say, Judy, is, is the worst moment you remember? This doctor actually oh. giving him um, pills and methadone. No, just um, methadone to get off pills. My experience is that, especially an actor, walks into a doctor's office. I know. Says, I've been on this, that, and the other, and I'd like you to give me Soma, this this Valium, and this, yeah. Percocet, you name it, doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, and they sit there with all honesty, I'm not lying. I know. They sit there and they write the prescription out, whatever they ask for. Not to say that people that are in drug addicts' lives are not enablers. In a way, I was too because I put a roof over his head forever. So you can say that about me as well. But here's my, my, my thing with every single doctor. They're the biggest enablers ever. Judy, the issue is not the doctors. The issue is the addict. The exactly. center of the story is the addict who goes from place to place asking for more. I'm gonna cry. Look, okay? What? This is very private, but I'll show you. <laughs> so okay. Oh my oh. god! Okay. How do you wake up in the morning? You see this right here? Right there. That. You're always going to find doctors to collude with that. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they think, wherever the fat is on you, I'm still interested in knowing. It's right there, you can see it. Fat. Fat? Okay, yeah. well, take yourself out of the equation again. <laughs> <laughs> think of it from a, from a thin man's perspective. The whole liposuction thing came from my mom, because that's all my mom ever told me was that I was fat and ugly. There's this extra right there, and it's not going away. I never eat, I don't eat all day, and then I eat at night. So that could be the reason, because it sits there. I would not be allowed to eat until she woke up in the morning so she could control and monitor what I was eating. If she found me eating, I would get in trouble for eating. What, what did trouble look like? Beating, you know, locked in my room for a couple days. Should I do it, or should I not, really? If you want to do it to feel better about your stomach, I'm really sick of the whole Corey Haim drugs. It's, it's, I don't want it anymore. Leave me alone with that drug word. I, so why is everybody telling you something is wrong? You know what? I've already said, I think why? what I've why? done, do I have think? like a permanent speech slur forever and I have my lazy eye. But I, all I know, Mom, is it's going to take a little time and I'm getting better, okay? You understand that? Well, okay. you're telling me that, so I got to... You're listening, but are you hearing? Are you believing? Let me ask you a difficult question. Sure. Have you seen a difference? Have you noticed a difference that would lead you to believe that he might be doing drugs? I have seen a little bit of a decline in his behavior. I really have. I have seen a range of inconsistency that is quite notable. Mm -hmm. Frankly, mm -hmm. Judy, mm -hmm. I would prefer to think he's on drugs. Because if he's not on drugs, he needs then we to have a be. Problem. We have a serious psychological problem that is much more difficult mm. to fix. I'm serious. No. Yeah. Maybe I gotta find my leather jacket it's and right there. my hat. This is your jacket? This is... It's right there. No. What? No, it's right there on the floor. No. What? No. It's black. Judy, he has Rasta two black hat hats. With that thing here. Oh, that Rasta. Hey, Dimmerish. Look. Yeah, I know. Right? No, Judy. Do you like scary movies? Are you all right? <laughs> God. Ma, oh. you gave birth to me. Does he seem like I'm all right? You're to blame. Part of this pattern is he bails. He bails on his career. He bails on himself. He bails on relationship. My question is, what are you going to do if he bails on life?
Hi, Corey. Jeff. Hi, Corey. Hi, Susie. Hey. How are you? How are you guys? Uh, so, Corey, finally, the big day. The big day, yeah. I'm both excited and a nervous wreck. Are there any questions that I can answer for you guys right now? How long will I have to wait to have sex? You know, believe it or not, that's a uh, normal question. But I would probably give yourself a good five to seven days of relaxation. I'll take Rick here. Okay? All right. Well, why don't you guys come on back right. with me? All right. I've been raised as a professional in an industry that is all based on self-deprecation. As young as I can remember, you know, making sure my hair was perfect and my teeth were... My mom was bleaching my hair at like three and a half years old. Just relax and think good thoughts. As you drift off, you're going to wake up with good thoughts. My mom made me you know, alter my physical appearance so that I could get more jobs. I wasn't allowed to eat. I was put on diets because she always told me I was fat. I was never cute enough to play that role. I couldn't be the leading man or I couldn't be the this or I couldn't be the that. It was always something. I think that's the stem of it. That's the root of it. Not to say that everybody isn't insecure or has their own insecurities, but I think it's a little more instilled initially in the minds of child actors and you become a piece of meat a piece of merchandise could not have gone any better you look great you look great no i'm not gonna say i don't have my bad days but i am a human being you know and i, I do have my bad days you know that so, do you want in or do you want out? Because you're looking really weird today towards me. I'm listening to you. Talk, but talk to me, babe, because if you don't want to be in part of my life, you don't want to be my assistant, I need to know. And that's okay. I'm not going to take it offensively. If you need to bail, I 100% back you up. You just don't seem 100% comfortable with being my assistant. The truth is, is I don't think you're fine right now, and I'm worried about you. And I'm that's why we you. had the conversation Listen yesterday. Listen to me. Look at me. I'm fine right now. I know what you're saying. I know what you're probably thinking. Detox, rehab, da da da. It's not to that level. And if it was, I would let you know. Speak, woman, speak. I need a minute. I need okay. a minute. Okay. What I know about alcoholism and addiction, one of the main characteristics of it is that they don't believe they're sick. And that they don't see that they're throwing it all away. That is devastating. I'm not gonna like cut your head off and like bury you in the desert somewhere and become part of the Manson family, come on. Let me ask you a question. I may need to walk out again, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> okay. Is it possible that all of the people, your mom, Corey, me, is everybody wrong? Yes. In that respect, yes. Because I mess up. I have off days. Three times on the whole shoot, I had little slippages. But other than that, I'm... <laughs> Corey, it's not three times. It's not three times. Well, what is it then? 18, 300 times? I don't know the number, but it's a lot. It's as far, a lot. As far as what? Clean. Maybe a slurry? Maybe yes. a what? Yes. Okay, well, I already said this, I might have a permanent slur. I feel like I do I have one now. I know you have one now, so, but you don't always have that. You don't always have that. Because I have actual legit problem right now. I'm just trying to take care of it and mend it and end it. The addiction is so strong. I should say the denial is so strong. He really doesn't, it's just not even possible to connect the dots. There's no way for him to connect the dots or for you to connect the dot to him to get him to understand, so. He's the one that has to see it for it to change. The question is, if a person, a patient, a person is seeing a doctor and needs to be prescribed something, weren't these medications built for certain things? Situations getting clearer. The feeling they're quite fine. Oh. My opinion is they are wildly overprescribed. Yeah. And when you're an addict to start with, it is 
very, dangerous. very dangerous. I Just because it's prescribed doesn't make it okay. The thing is, we don't know, as addicts, we don't know how much time we have. We don't know that we've got a next week or a next month. This could be the day. This could be the day. Hey. Hi. Hi. You've had a long, tiring day, have you? I have. I'm tired. You have. You're tired. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you today? I'm great. great. I'm great, great, great. What we thought we'd do today is uh, watch the incident, the fight, the mm. battle, the mm. war. What we've got here is we have a fight with me and Corey and the Susie. The fight with you and Corey and Susie. Yeah. So I thought we'd watch it together and see what your reactions are. And to what purpose does this serve? Sometimes when we witness what happened, what we were like in a particular circumstance, it gives us information about ourselves, or you might just feel repulsed. It's sick to my stomach. Ready? Yeah, you're not going to shock me, Doc. Get the f out of my house. Don't come back. Here's Don't you. call me. I won't. You're the real people. Oh, 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 oh. Matters. This is what they're like all the time. Just you know leave. Get the f out. He's a fighter. Nothing child. that comes out of his f mouth is truthful. It's over. Done. I've tried to care about you. I've done everything I can to help the f guy. I don't know what he's thinking or what help he thinks I need. Froth coming out of his mouth trying to say I'm not sober. Froth coming out of his mouth. Boom. This is part where he calls my mom a crack. I don't want to miss that. You're mother has made your life hell dude oh and your mom's great your alcoholic mother that f your life up yeah the crack smoking drunk your mom the yeah he's pathetic Why? take another Why? pill dude Why? liar you can Why? kill this doc I, thank you how do you feel when you see yourself interacting in that way proper really it's the only way they will listen you okay oh, forget really? all yeah really, really you this is bad behavior by children who aren't in their adult two adults who've known each other for 24 years we're gonna fight and his wife happened to be there so it's like the film is funny against you me. understand that healthy adults don't fight this way i do please don't put me in a classification or like anything with the felons at all ever because I take it as a high insult. How, how did you feel afterwards? Did you feel vindicated? Did you feel awful? Do Bloody it, man. Make a move. Blood. There was no vindication at all. No. Okay. The vindication would have been a success story and a happy ending. This is what I call a hamism when these sorts of things happen. Don't come around here anymore, okay? It's where I live. Stay the f away from where I live. When hames insane side gets the best of him and he takes over and there is nothing you can do or say at that point to get anything logical across good performance corey it's it not a performance that's bad i am sad that i've lost somebody that was so close to me for so long and i am sad that i allowed him to once again take me to that place in regard to that, yeah. I have a request. I want you to do closure with the Feldmans. It's over. And so I'm wondering if you would consider a final meeting to just do closure. Not to get into a fight, 
but just to say, this is what I've learned, this is what I regret, this is my wish for you. Go kill yourself, see if I care. I will think about it, but at the moment... You feel like no. I feel like it's a pointless venture. Let some time go by, and then I would like to close them myself. But right now, it's going to be a fake closure to the close. Kind of freaks me out to even. <laughs> I just don't want to him. see his face. Right. But there was somewhere a glimmer of hope that maybe we could find our way. That's gone. One hundred percent gone. It's over. Done. Where is your responsibility for your reactivity and your behavior? Where does it start? Where does it end? With me. Okay. And it ends with me. Well, what I see is someone who wasn't in control of his own behavior. Doc, you got to stop with the drugs and the alcohol. Look, I'm here. If you want to talk to me, talk to me. But you know what? There are certain things I will not tell you or anybody. There are a million you things you that? won't tell me or anybody. You're and right. that's why you're your right. life hasn't worked out. In your mind. Not in my mind, in your reality. I've asked you a lot of different kinds Doc, of things. You've been you no, 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 Come back like here. On Come back to what we're talking about now. Sure. Okay. I looked at you in that video. I saw what I saw in that video. This yeah. did not look like a man who was walking the straight and narrow. It doesn't look understand. like that. Why don't you just tell me what that means? I don't know what that means. It means that you didn't look sober to me in that video. Doc, I'm going to get a new doc. Who knows I'm sober? You're welcome to do that. Oh, I'm doing And it. good luck finding someone. Thank you. Thanks for the sessions. Is this too Doc, scary for you to tell the truth? Nothing scares me, but you know what? Because when it's to too hard truth. for you, you bail. That's no, no, what no, no, you no, do, no, no, Corey. No, 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 You're telling you're me. You're standing up and walking out right now. Because what you're doing is you're telling me I'm on drugs. You think I'm making this up, Corey? You've mentioned drugs. That's not why I'm here. Why are you here? Aren't you here to get your career back? No, Doc, I'm here to get my life back. And what would that look like? Not this. It's bad for. I know. This is the shit that is gonna throw it all away. All of it. And I had a bad night. I didn't kill anybody. You know, if anything, I hurt myself. Hello? Yeah, I would just like to shake your hand or give you a hug and say, hey man, good luck to you and I love you. I don't like the way that ended for you. I don't see him getting it at all. I mean, at all. If you're really willing, like you say you are right now, Prove then you will flush everything that you have. talk to you that worry thing I do I'm that worry thing you know we were talking about I'm big into that right now and I just um okay so Grant, chill it, please you're here for a reason what's up no talk to me please I went down the hill and uh it's bad core I know now I know and I I'm just tires are and I just fishtailed. I've never been in an accident in my life. You rolled into somebody when we were driving to Lost Boys. You rolled into somebody or hit somebody last night. You took out the front of a house. It could have been a person. It could have been you. There's all this good in the interviews and the, and the, you know, you're working out and, you know, you, you know, meeting with people and getting work and getting jobs. And this is the shit that is going to throw it all away. All of it. You got into an accident, Core. The fact is, the front of that house is. I know. I'm seeing somebody 
their life away, and the only person that can fix it? Exactly. Dude, you seriously, you have a problem, man. I know, I know, I and, know. Well, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. If we do the off-camera thing, we help me, Mark. With what? The flush. But if you're really willing, like you say you are right now, then you will flush everything that you have. What? Court, you're standing here and you're hiding them. You're dumping, you're not even showing how many, you're dumping them in the bag, whatever. Honey, here. Okay. I've been um, way higher on my dose. Right. So let's not kill me. No, I don't want to kill you, bud. Okay, You'll so be okay, and if you feel sick, I'll call the doctor. Dude, it's four Corn. tablets a day. That's it, dude. That's it. Vicodin? Yes. No, no, no. Vicodin, dude? Court, sweet pea, I don't know if you forgot, but don't you have Xanax? Uh, no, you can't have Xanax. I need those. There's more in there you need to get rid of, and you know that as well as I do. Um, I'm very clear today. This is how I usually am, so you know what, man? It's like everyone f***ed up, man. I didn't kill anybody. You know, if anything, I hurt myself. You know, and everything's repairable. And Hollywood loves a sob story. That's not what I'm looking for. It's a very nice gesture as far as wanting to get me better. But everyone f***ed up. And I had a bad night. You know what? I have to move on because if I don't move on, I'm going to sit here and dwell on it forever. That's just me, dude. I'm just, I'm just like that. Today was a really positive day that needed to happen for me, kind of getting sucked into all the drama and be with people who uh, were there for me. Welcome to the pool party. Cool. Nice. How are you? Awesome. Come on in. You know, those guys, uh, they don't want anything from me. Granted, Corey and I have great history together. The pivotal difference for me is Corey always comes with a price tag. And these guys, they're there unconditionally. So how's everybody doing? Good. Great, great. Did I, go. Can I drink this, Corey? Glass of short. Although I'm working? No. What are you talking about? Yes, you got it. It's a barbecue. Go ahead. Have a beer. I don't care. Beers and barbecue go together like what? Yeah. I don't know. But you okay. need to go get the food outside. Seriously, I'm not joking. Oh. We got guests here, guys. Okay. Put food here. here. Trying to put some oh, stuff yeah, yeah. away. You've got shirts in the kitchen and cups in the bedroom and whatever. Anyways, doesn't matter. That's so why you're in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? What? Screw it. I'm gonna call Corey today. You are? Yeah. You know, it's calling okay. or I'm gonna call him. What do you want to say to him? What do you want to talk to him about? I don't like the way the closure on the closure on the closure on the closure ended. Okay. It's like I said, it's running around in a circle and ending up in the same place you started. Now, I don't even know if he'll meet with me. I you don't do care, that. but I care to the point of where I don't want it to end like this. I got something to say to him. For myself. I'm gonna call him. Let's get some hey, food yeah. on the barbecue. All right. And we have some more guests showing up. Doesn't mean Jake, no, take it. I, great timing. Hello? Hello? Hey, Corey, it's Jake. Jake, how you doing, man? Great. Well, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you, bro. Hey, Foster, man, just tell him this. I'm going to uh, tell him I'm on the phone. And... OK, hold on one sec, man. Hello? Great. Yeah? How you doing, man? I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. <sighs> OK. It's been on my mind, man. It's just like you were at the house. I don't want the way it ended, dude. 
I would just like to shake your hand or give you a hug and say, hey, man, good luck to you, and I love you. I don't like the way that ended, Corey. Well, here's the thing, man. I'm going to be real honest with you, okay? I'm listening. Okay. What, what happened was really f***ed up, and... Uh, you or me? <laughs> all together, it was f***ed up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Dude, it's water under the bridge. It's not. It's not water under the bridge. You know, I keep doing this in our relationship. Listen, I'm going to throw it out there one more time, okay? You know where I live, at the top of my hill, dude. I'm going to stroll up there tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I'm letting you know I'm going to have Nell Cole give you an address, and I'll be there tomorrow night at 7, dude. And if you want to have a meeting and a handshake, fine. If not, that's fine, too. Okay. All right, man. Well, listen, I love you, and, um... You know, I just, I, I hope you're safe, and I hope you, uh, you make the right choices. I have been, and I will continue to do so, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, um, giving a s*** about me. Thanks, Corey. You're welcome. Have a good barbecue. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Bye. Later. I don't want the way it ended, dude. You know where I live, at the top of my hill, dude. I'm gonna stroll up there tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I'll be there tomorrow night at 7, dude, and if you wanna have a meeting and a handshake, fine. If not, that's fine, too. I would have loved to see this be a success for us. I would have loved to see us go on and have a great career together. It's not in the cards anymore. The healthiest choice for both of us right now is to have some separation. You know, like I said to him on the phone, I love him. I'll be there if he gets it together. But until that time, there's nothing to talk about. Let's end this. Civilly, once and for all. What could the solution possibly be? I mean, when you're at this, this far from each other at odds, if he could bring his A-game and he could be responsible and show up and own his end of things, then I'm willing to hear your plea. But at this time, I don't see any of those lining up in the ballpark. Whether he shows or not, I'm not here. I have been your best friend for 22 years. It's a long time to know somebody. If you don't show up, kid, we're officially done. And no matter how angry I am, no matter how mad at you I am, no matter how resentful I am for the things that you've done, 12 step programs have taught me that you don't give up hope on somebody until they stop breathing. So somewhere in my mind, there will always be the notion that there's hope left for you. I extended an offer to be here now. Now, if he's such a good friend of mine, where is he? I'm here. You know what? He's not. What are you, Corey? I mean, God, this is really hard. It really becomes a question of if he wants it bad enough and can beat his own demons, then anything's possible. Hey, man, I want to end this properly. You know, good luck to you and luck to your family. I wish you all the best. I have only 25 years. Give me a hug. Boom. Over. That's all. That's all. If we could just get through one conversation where we actually said our piece and then finished, then I'd be okay.
I would expect a little more from Corey Feldman as to come up here and shake my hand or... Can I say, man? Corey's Corey. I have a huge grudge on my shoulder. I'm really pissed off, and it's not at anyone else but myself because of what I've done in my life. I am a lot of work, I know that, so it's going to take a while. It's good. This is giving me time to deal with myself with what I need to do, which is focus on my life and keep my life together. It's officially the end for the two Corys. And it's just a start for Corey Ham.